ある。Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 20th Interplantation Cricket Sixers 2023. And it's all happening here live, and you can exclusively you can watch this on Batsman.com. And beautiful weather, beautiful morning, and this is actually a historic event. Every year, year after year, you get the planters coming here, meeting and enjoying a fantastic game of cricket and two days of exciting cricket. That's for sure. To start the proceedings, we'd like to warmly welcome our chief guest. For the event, Mr. Anurabir Khan, Chief Executive Officer of Kalani Valley Plantation, and also the guest of honor for the event, Mr. Chana De Costa, DCO of Kotagala Plantation. <laughs> to start off in a traditional way, in style, we'd like to start with the lighting of the oil lamp. Would like to humbly invite the following dignitaries to light the oil lamp. Would like to start with the chief guest, Mr. Anurabir Khan, CEO of Kalani Valley Plantation. Our guest of honor, Mr. Chana De Costa, DCO of Kotagara Plantation. Mr. Ushira Udavatta, President of the Bull Athletic and Cricket Club. Mr. Kosala Vijay Sekhar, Vice President of DACC. Mr. Sarath Ranavira, Secretary of DACC. Yes. Can we also invite Mr. Anurad Sanayaka, Treasurer of DACC? Mr. Anurad Sanayaka. Mr. Kavinda Jayasinghe, a match referee. Mr. S. Dilukshan, last year's winning captain of Alpitya Plantation. Mr. Eranga Egaduvela, senior DGM Thalawakale Plantation and also the committee member. Mr. Nalin Kumara, Senior Manager Watagoda, also the committee member. Mr. Chandana Priyadarshan, DGM LPTA Plantation, committee member. Mr. Varuna Vijay Kohn, Group Manager, Mathurada Plantation, and also the committee member. Mr. Dul Shankar Jayatilaka, Senior Manager, Thalawa Kelly. Mr. Vendra Palpala, Manager Desford, also a committee member. And also to represent the umpires, Mr. Asanga Disanayaka. And also, who's been a pillar of strength and helping us in terms of all the preparation, Mr. Rajendran, our ground assistant. Thank you, gentlemen. Next will be hoisting of the flags. I would like to invite the chief guest, Mr. Vira Kohn, to hoist the national flag and the club president, Mr. Ushiro Dovatta, to hoist the club flag. That's the hoisting of the national flag and the Nibula Athletic and Cricket Club flag.
the national flag hoisted by Mr. Anwar Virakon, Chief Executive Officer of Kalani Valley Plantation. And the club flag has been hoisted by Mr. Ushiro Dawat, the President of DACC. Well, with that, now we declare the 20th Interplantation Cricket Sixers been officially opened and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, please kindly raise for the national anthem. will be the team introduction. For the team introduction, I would like to invite our chief guest, Mr. Anwar Virako, Chief Executive Officer of Kalani Valley Plantation, and also the guest of honor, Mr. Chana Nikopta, DCO of Kotamira Plantation, accompanied by the President, Mr. Ushiro Dawatta, Vice President, Mr. Kosala Vijay Sekara, Secretary, Mr. Sarat Gonavira, and the committee. Thank you. Team introduction will be followed with the team photograph, the group photograph. And soon after that, we'll be having the first match. And teams which are taking part in the first match, please be ready.
While we do the team introduction, kind request to all the captains. When the captains are called upon for the toss, please be here on time. And also, prior to our game, please kindly send the team representative to the table. Kind request to all the captains. Prior to our game, please kindly send a team representative to the table. Thank you. Morning at Radhella Cricket Grounds here in Nuarelia, or rather Radhella Nanoya, the 20th Interplantation Cricket Championships, and 15 teams taking part this year, and it's going to be an exciting event. And I can guarantee you there'll be some electrifying cricket, beautiful moments. It's one of the biggest events in the plantation sector. While the team introduction is in progress. Soon after this, there will be a team photograph and the first match. And that's going to be an exciting one. And this ground has been maintained really, really well. If you look at the grass, the turf, everything is fantastic. Recently, we had the national team. Uh, they're doing their preparations prior to the New Zealand tour. And you can see the quality and the standards of this stadium. That's for sure. And the beautiful, picturesque and also scenic view around here. And that gives an exciting atmosphere. Just in the early morning, you can see the crowd is gradually building up and also all teams who are here and um, they, 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 they have trained uh, really hard over the last quite a few weeks and this is something, a big event for the plantation sector and they'll be playing for the pride, that's for sure. You will be able to see some past, good past players from schools and clubs taking part in this championship. And I'm not sure how many of them are actively engaged in club cricket still, but most of them, they have been fantastic cricketers in the past. And the other most important thing is the mixture of, or rather the blend of youth and experience. And some of them playing their first year, some of them they've been playing in their fourth, fifth year, or even like you know, seventh year here. And 20 years on, this is one of the most prestigious tournaments in the plantation sector. While we are about 
like to can play the team introduction. Can you please have the teams lining up for the team photograph, the group photograph? Can you have all teams lining up for the group photograph? So last year's champions, Alpitia, walking in as defending champions and favourites for this championship. Keep an eye on them. And the homeboys, Thalakele Plantation, they'll be another threat. And Bogon Thalawa is another one. Okay, having said that, we're going in for a short break. Once you're back, you'll be joining the first game on the 20th Interplantation Cricket Sixes. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Go! 
Without shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills, switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill.
Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Location Rodello welcomes the 20th interplantation cricket sixers. Just cannot get any prettier than this. 15 teams are ready. Two umpires walking into the middle, surrounded by a mountain range, lush green tea fields organized and conducted by the Bulla Athletic and Cricket Club. The first match is between Bhogavan Palava Plantation and Watola Plantation. Two batsmen are ready. It's a picture of settings here. I really, really doubt if there's a prettier location to play high quality cricket in the country. Umpires are ready. So is the bowler. Dressed in colored outfit. Both the teams wearing predominantly green attires. Black screens, white balls, color clothing and things are ready here we go the first ball straight away lofted shot just a single this is the most explosive version of cricket six side cricket batters goes out there searching for boundaries from the word go and for the bowlers they just don't have Time to settle down, find their lens. They got to be ready. They got to be hitting the right lens, right lines, right from the word go. It's really pretty picture right in front of us. Here comes the right arm seam bowler, not striving for. Too much of pace, still a wide down the leg side. So it'll be six runs to the total. I'm sure you already know there are 15 teams taking part in this tournament. Slanting down the leg side, just took the pad. So far we haven't found any boundaries off the bat. Six extra courtesy of a wide ball. When it comes to six side crickets, bowlers most of the time not striving for too much of speed. Just focusing on maintaining good lines and lengths. And this man, gentle medium coming from the scoreboard end try to glide that one towards third man region in fact wicket keeper 
not been able to gather that one cleanly given away an extra in form of a buy left right combination at the center we've seen in all formats in all levels of cricket these days teams preferring to go for left right combinations when it comes to batting immediately unsettling uncomfortable for bowlers be it spinners or pace bowlers purely due to the reason it doesn't provide them enough opportunities to settle down for uh, one line this time however short of a length try to cut that one towards point region wasn't successful pretty good first over for there you go just cannot get any prettier than this lush green surroundings mountain range what else can you ask for just so pretty Tarindu and Chamod, the two batters, so far not been able to find any boundaries. Right at the beginning of our commentary, we mentioned about the fact batters straight away chasing the boundaries, but so far the bowlers had the upper hand. Another right arm seam bowler this time going in from the pavilion end gentle medium down the leg side I think that one took the thigh pad before it goes to the boundary line just just pulled inside of the boundary so it will be three leg buys in favor of the team batting first This is the explosive version of cricket, six aside, big hits right throughout the day in order. Just gentle medium, hit back straight down the ground and that's the first boundary of the day. Full toss, needed, no invitation. And pick the gap. Despite this ground looks very compact, boundaries are very decent size, just about 60 plus meters right around. So it'll be not too easy to clear the boundaries this time. A uh, in swinger straight to the pads, just a single. Though we were expecting boundaries galore, so far we have seen just a single boundary. The previous delivery beautifully hit down the ground. Both the teams wearing predominantly green attire, white ball usually flies over the face of the bat. Now it's the opportunity for the left handed stylish batsman. down the leg side another wide six more runs to the total tricky part of six side cricket is you just get six fielders to cover up the entire ground usually teams opt in to go for two fielders down the leg side and two fielders on the offside the exact scene field sitting the team bowling is opted for deep long on, deep mid wicket, deep point and long off. That's the fielding set. Now once again, 
the right arm seam bowler down the leg side another wide so far two wides it is over by the looks of it the track providing just a bit of swing for the bowlers who are prepared to use their seam with that the second over comes to an end The final delivery was wide. Fifteen teams stationed alongside the ground. Nanaway Creek flowing adjoining the ground adds to the picture of settings. As you get to feel very pleasant weather. It's bright and sunny as we speak. We are just hoping for a clear day of weather. Looks like we got another right arm seam bowler wearing a dark glasses. Once again, this time coming in from the scoreboard end, a better delivery little bit of swing and good curry to the wicket keeper it looks like this pitch got little bit of carry the same surface used by the Sri Lanka national squad for their practices this time touch to wider another wide six more runs to the total team batting they won't binding at all It's about maintaining right lens, right lines. This time, exactly a carbon copy of the previous delivery. Another wide, right handed back and sunny. But yesterday, what a delivery it was! Dancing down the track, not succeeding. He basically yoked himself, the delivery went underneath the bat, first wicket down. Forty two runs for the last of first wicket. Forty two runs courtesy of quite a few wides. Something all the teams should be aware of. Providing extras not ideal basically a game killer for team bowling for team batting they won't mind it at all now the successful bowler coming in from the scoreboard end yet another right hander big burly strong looking man This time much better, straighter, it's just outside the off stump, just dabbed away for a single. I don't think team bowling wouldn't mind conceding singles. This is six side cricket, yet another over comes to an end. Apart from bowling a couple of wides, very, very successful over, took the first wicket. Like I mentioned earlier, we are coming to you live from a scenic location, Rodella. Team Batsman YouTube channel bringing you the live stream. We will be bringing you this exciting cricketing action today as well as tomorrow. So I expect to see some fireworks for two days. Looks like another right arm seam bowler getting ready to start his first over measuring his run up
I think you cannot ask for better weather than this to play a game of cricket. Much cooler, very pleasant. A little breeze blowing across the ground, keeping the comfort levels even higher. So it's just a pretty pleasant sitting for the players to enjoy. Shorter pulled it away towards mid -ticket region. Just to be a single or misfield. But the two batters, they were ambling across the ground. So as a result, no opportunity for a second. It, w it wasn't their vigilance. They should have gone for the second run quite easily. It was a clear case of a misfield, but two batters. They weren't too keen. Looks like they are keen on getting boundaries. There haven't been too many boundaries so far. Just the extras ticking the scoreboard alone. Short outside the old stump, another wide. We were starting to speak about wides. The bowler decided to deliver another one. Six more runs to the total. Team batting largely benefiting from the extras provided by the team bowling. Bhagavan Talawa T Estate. The first six of the game, we had to wait for four overs to see the first big heave of a mid-wicket for a six. The left-handed batter had no trouble. It was in his arc, just beautifully lift that one over, mid-wicket boundary, sailing over the boundary for the first six of the 20th interplantation. Cricket Sixers. Bhagavan Talawa, the team bowling, the team batting is whatever the plantation for 55 runs on the board, three overs completed. We are in the fifth over of this first game. It's a matter of maintaining good lines and lengths when it comes to bowling in six side cricket. We have seen at times due to the fact the batters most often favoring the cow corner teams placing two plus fielders down the leg side once again this time down the ground should only be a single two batters not too keen on going for the second run just walk across for a single so far things have been good for whatever the plantation 58 runs for the loss of one wicket two batters out there looks like they are capable of clearing boundary despite providing too much of too many of extras team bowling Bhagavan Talawa plantation haven't conceded too many boundaries big heave bowler running after but had no opportunity of catching that one just a single if Bhagavan Talawa can keep their extras count down I think they can finish off this innings quite well but for them, extras count touch too high. In fact, way too high. Four overs done, 59 runs for the loss of four wickets. Taraka and Chamod, two batters at the center, doing the job for whatever the plantation. 
Here's the man. Looks very strong. We've got four right arm seam bowlers so far. Looks like to complete the fifth over, we got another seam bowler coming in from the scoreboard and short outside the off stump. A dot delivery. This is exactly what the bowlers are looking for. In six side cricket, dot balls are like gold dust. Once again, outside the old stump. Looks like this man seems to have figured out the pace, the line, and the length to bowl. Right hander. Favors the cow corner. This time, however, ball pitched outside the off stump, so the batter had no option other than pulling that one towards long off region. Something you not often see in contemporary cricket. Pulling over long off. Now it's an opportunity for the right handed batter, Chamod. Well pitched. Towards mid region and not a not the best piece of fielding. If I'm not mistaken, that's the second boundary of this game. We have seen a big six over mid region by this man. And picking up his first boundary. He looks like a key man for whatever the plantation. Ball is dipping, well bowled, a full toss, almost found the yoker length. Still much better than a length delivery, just a single. If you talk about six aside cricket, there's an art of bowling when it comes to keep enterprising batters down. Just like that. Outside the off stump, moving away. That's the completion of fifth over 66 runs for the loss of one wicket. What of the plantation? That's a good total. 12 plus runs per over maintained. They were ably assisted by Bhagavan Talav bowlers, quite a few wides, in fact. Not too many boundaries, if I'm not mistaken, just a solitary six over mid wicket region and a couple of boundaries. So what about the plantation? But at first, 66 runs for the last of first wicket. Now things are in readiness for the start of second game. The second game is between Kagala Plantation and Agarapatana Plantation. We will try our best to bring you the names of these talented players. Of course, the defending champions, LPT Plantation, they are through to the next round, courtesy of a bye. Team to watch out for. 14 other teams. They are looking to beat LPT Plantation and become the champions for 2023. Like I mentioned earlier, this tournament is organized and conducted by this time Dibulla Athletic and Cricket Club. This is their home, Rodala Cricket Ground, picturesque venue. Just cannot ask for a prettier venue than this to play quality cricket. White balls, color clothing, perfect wicket, perfect setting, perfect day. There you go. 20th Interplantation Cricket Sixers. Kagala Plantation wearing predominantly a dark blue attire with a yellow and white mix. And Agarapatan Plantation, a predominantly blue attire with a light blue mix in their t-shirts. Very, very pretty sight right 
here right in front of us. We haven't seen a spinner so far. Quite a few right arm seam bowlers. Looks like Agarapath on the plantation. They too have got a right arm seam bowler to start off the proceedings. He's coming in from the pavilion end. This time a left hander. He's ready. Full toss to start off. Just glided that one towards third man region. Interestingly, Agarapatana Plantation decided to start off the things by deploying a deep third man fielder. Something you don't see all that often in six side cricket. Looks like they are operating with a plan. Bowling outside the off stump should be the order of day. Twagarapatan plantation, deep third man, deep extra cover, and long off. Another full toss. Interesting to see the call from the umpire. Yes, a wide. First extras of the game for Kagal plantation. Gratefully accepted. Kegal plantation, right left combination to start things off. Another one down the leg side, another wide. Even during the first game, larger percentage of runs were scored as courtesy of wides. Looks like these bowlers and this game. Sticking to the same script. Interesting run up. Gentle Seema in the air. And over the boundary. For six for Kagala Plantation. Beautifully played. The bowler decided to pitch. It just fuller, stylish left hander just decided to go over the field for a six. Beautifully done. Once again, going back to the old habits down the leg side, six more runs. All the teams playing this participating in this tournament. I think this is something they should focus on. Not bowling too many wides. Another wide, six more runs. Kaggle Plantation, they are happy. Their score move up pretty rapidly. Six over long off and two wides to follow up. The support, the friends, the families, they are gathering slowly but surely. This is just the second game of this tournament. Kekala Plantation taking on Agarapatan Plantation. Agarapatan Plantation during their first over given away quite a few extras. Three whites if I'm not mistaken. Looks like another bowler. Another Zima. We are yet to see a spin bowler. The pitch looks dry despite the rain we had last afternoon. Once again, down the leg side, six more runs. These are bad habits. I'm sure the team management, the coaches, the supporters. 
they are hoping from Agarapatan plantation do much better that's more like it glided away for another single like I mentioned earlier this ground looked compact but these boundaries aren't the smallest definitely 65 meters plus and due to overnight rain the outfield not all that fast slowed down considerably straight hit over the bowler's head yes for a moment I thought that'll go over the boundary just pitch inside the line for the second boundary looks like a player some discomfort he was trying his best to stop that delivery but boundary conceded Kagala plantation they are moving along quite swiftly much straighter much better just a single I think if a bowler can keep he's over under 10 runs that's a fair enough achievement if you are staying away from bowling wides and no balls you can pretty much do that but as we're starting to talk about the extras another one down the leg side six more runs Kagala plantation rapidly moving ahead beautifully played there's no fielder to catch that one another boundary four more runs second over comes to an end Kagala plantation moving along like a bullet train that's Kagala plantation predominantly blue attire they are the happier side so far plenty of extras and in between very well hit boundaries the third over just about to start we are yet to see a spinner all the bowlers so far right arm gentle medium here comes the first spinner wicket keeper standing up third man extra cover long off and mid wicket the field set up it'll be interesting to see if spin bowlers getting a purchase out of this wicket look dry despite the rains we had throughout last afternoon and during the night pitch was covered and as a result looked reminding us of very interesting very nice action over the years we've seen the great Muralidharan adopting a similar action so it's not difficult for someone to spot the similarities between him and Muralidharan well pitch excellent bowling agonizingly close to the off stump but unfortunately for a moment I thought he got him all ends up but still spinners they should have some purchase of this track excellent ball there was an opportunity for a run out but the wicket keeper not too keen he didn't hurry things up just a dot ball exactly what Agarapatana plantation is looking for 
Pitch top down the ground. A boundary. A full dust. Enterprising right hander needing no invitation to go for a boundary. For a moment I thought there was a fielder doing his job down at the boundary towards long off region. Another one this time in the air. Big six. A boundary followed up by a six. Nicely done. The bowler. Right arm off spinner under pressure. Started off well. Couple of dot balls. But the batters taking the upper hand. I hope you can hear the music in the background. Another one over long of fielders head for a six. This is beautiful hitting. This is exactly what we are expecting. 73 runs at the end of the third over. Kagala Plantation. They are moving ahead. They are forging ahead really rapidly and nicely. I'm sure while two teams in the middle in action, the rest of the team keenly following to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the other teams as they're moving into the second round. So they will be in a position to strategize something, to work something out to keep this batsman quiet, this left-hander. Looks like a danger man. Good thing about his batting, not trying to hit the ball too hard, gets it into the gaps. If you compare his timing to all the other batters, during these two t two first games once again off the back foot towards Medica region just a single in fact just a single field down the leg side had no opportunity of cut that one off another boundary Kagala plantation 77 runs for no loss this is brilliant at the moment, they are maintaining a run rate above 20 runs per over. Very healthy. Once again, took the pad before moving towards Fine Lake region. Just uh, two more runs. Just two more runs, in fact. Kagala Plantation increasing their chance of winning this game just about. 10 more deliveries left. On the other hand, for Agarapatana Plantation, they will have to do something steady. Over the mid -decut. This time well fielded. Sliding effort. Keeping it down for just two runs. 79 runs. In fact, 81 runs. This is excellent. Kagala Plantation doing everything right. Ably assisted by the bowlers and the fielders of Agarapatana Plantation. Right arm gentle medium. This time better length. Towards point region for a single. Bowlers won't mind conceding singles in this format. It's the boundaries they are worried of. It's the boundaries they are trying to stop. 
in comparison to all the other bowlers, this man so far sticking to a better lines and lengths, not providing too many extras to the total. Already look threatening, 82 for none. Just too far outside the off stump. Six more runs to the total. This is not good. These two dangerous batsmen, they not needed any assistance from the bowlers, but the bowlers providing sundries, decreasing their chances of winning this game. Much better delivery. Played towards extra cover region for uh, another single. Fourth over ended just like that. 89 runs for Nolos. Kagala Plantation doing everything right. They are on top. There's no doubt. Now it's up to Agarabatana Plantation to slow the rate down. If Kagala Plantation go over 100 runs, which is just 11 runs away, and I'm pretty sure they will go over 100 run, and that will be a challenging task, challenging total for Agarapatana Plantation. Not going to be any easy. Little ones interested, having good time. This is, that's the whole point of conducting and organizing this tournament. Kagala Plantation, 89 for Nolos. Two openers doing everything right. Yet another right arm seamer. A full toss. Over mid wicket for a six. That was basically a gift for this man. Needing no invitation. Goes over mid wicket for a big six. 95 for Nolos. This will surely be a challenging task for Agarapatana Plantation. Anything over 100, not going to be easy. Like I mentioned earlier, the outfields, the boundaries aren't the smallest. So it's about picking the right spot, picking the gaps. Ninety-five runs for Nolos. Just about five more deliveries left. Much better delivery and appeal straight away. Found success. It's quite clear if you're prepared to pitch the ball in right areas, you can get batsman trouble just like that. Now the enterprising right hander walk back, battered well. I just couldn't stop mentioning the fact they were ably assisted by the bowlers of Agarabadana. Quite a few extras, too many wides, and on top of it, two openers done a fantastic job 95 for one at the end of 4.2 overs you'll take that any day in a six aside cricket competition I'm sure with this colder climate the viewers the supporters they are enjoying the Sun it doesn't matter which direction you are looking at it's a green surrounding lush green surrounding well pitched just short of a length went through the batsman in between the bat and pad just a single a by Kagala plantation 96 for one just about three more deliveries left. This man seems to have found the right line and the length. The other bowlers who are watching this game, if they too can stick to that line and length, they can have a better outing as a bowler. They can have batters in trouble. But for Kagal Plantation, 
so far, everything went their way. As we are trying to praise the bowler, going back to old habits, down the leg side, six more runs. For the first time in the tournament, 100 runs on the board. Kagala Plantation, 102 runs for the last of one wicket. Two more deliveries left. Glide away towards third man region, just a single. Two batters, not hurrying things up, just ambling across the sticks. And this will be the final delivery of the fifth over to conclude things. Kagala Plantation did everything right. Ably supported by the bowlers. 103 runs on the board. Much better delivery of full toss. Love of full toss. We have seen in, in even in international cricket these low full tosses. Very hard to hit for boundaries. So that will be it. Kagala Plantation. 105 runs for the loss of one wicket at the end of their allotted five overs. There you go, old fashioned way of doing the scoring. Pretty old scoreboard. Two umpires in the middle wearing a maroon, affair, maroon outfit. Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill.
Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. So we are at the beginning of the second over for Bhagavan Talava, 13 for 1. Chasing a target of 67 runs, if I'm not mistaken. They were supported by another wide, 6 more runs, 19 runs on the board. Straight to extra cover region for another single. Not too much of trouble there. Flighted. Pitch just outside the old stump. So Bhagavan Talava, despite conceding 66 runs in their allotted 55 overs, started off really well, 20 runs for the loss of one wicket. We are in the second over, chasing down a target of 66 runs. Looks like Bhagavan Talava given themselves a good chance of chasing down this total. Just 40. Five runs away from now. Right arm seam bowler, despite this being six side cricket, pretty much flighting his deliveries outside the off stump. Another wide cardinal error from a spinner in comparison to gentle medium bowler spinners expected to maintain good lines and length. This is a full toss. Down to the Dickert region. I was just about to say a good piece of fielding. They were trying a rallied out throw, but the fielder joining in went in the wrong direction. As a result, ball just rolling onto the boundary line. Four more runs, 31 for Nolos. One more delivery outside the off stump. Pushed away towards cover region. Just a single. Coming back for the second. This is good cricket. Bukavantala plantation under little trouble. They know what exactly the total they are chasing. There you go. Pretty surroundings. Lush green tea fields. I'm sincerely hoping this venue will become busier and busier as the year progresses. We haven't seen too much of cricket in this venue, despite being so scenic, beautiful location. 33 runs on the board, two overs done. Pukawan Talawa chasing a target of 67 runs. Found little trouble so far. Just about. 37 runs away, in fact 27, 37 runs, Thirty four runs I beg your pardon, they have got 3 more overs to spare, so Bhagavan Tala it just a matter of being smart, there you go, beautiful Radella. I'm just hoping those who are joining with this live streaming will be encouraged to conduct more 
cricket matches up here. Much better delivery also at the off stump, short of a length. Try to cut that one towards covers region, not successful. Today being a Friday. This time goes over mid wicket. Just a single. Adibullah Athletic and Cricket Club organizing and conducting this tournament for the 20th time. Previous winners, LPT Plantation, and this one nicely put away towards Square Lake region for another boundary. Down the leg side, he needed no invitation. Just flicked away really, really nicely. 38 for the loss of one wicket. We are in the third over. Bogowantala Plantation moving ahead really, really nicely. Right arm gentle medium. This time lift it away towards mid digger region. This time he looks like a danger man. Fine right hander for Bhagavan Talava. Expecting some fireworks from him while they are moving to the next round. I'm sure the target 67 runs well within their reach, unless, of course, they do something horribly wrong from this point onwards this game for them to be taken this time however not finding the field and find the boundary four more runs Bhagavan Talava doing everything right little trouble too many short stuff from the gentle medium bowler This man looks like a player, strong back foot player. So for this man, got no option but to bowl fuller. Much better, straighter, towards offside. Just be a couple of runs. Far better than bowling short stuff down the leg side. Still. Bogomantala Plantation, 50 runs on the board, having lost just a solitary wicket. Did everything right so far. Three overs done, Bogomantala in a commanding position. A wonderful camera crew catching the sights from these beautiful surroundings. Other strong right hander. Fifty runs on the board. Twelve more deliveries left. Just 17 runs to get in contemporary 50 over cricket this will be a, some sort of a trouble but definitely not in six side cricket pitched in line with the stumps flicked away for another single very neatly very swiftly done by the body language of Whatever the plantation, they've pretty much given it up. They are under the pump. Scored just 66 runs. Not enough. Outside the off stump, six more runs. Score moves to 57. Getting closer and closer. I think from what we have seen so far, score of around 80 plus will give a better chance for team batting first 
down the ground, well timed. But the fielder comes around, ball went through his legs, but somehow managed to keep it inside the boundary. Two runs taken, 59 runs for the loss of one wicket, Bhagwan Talawa. Moving along rather nicely, rather swiftly, very little trouble, like I said, to right-handers, calm and composed. They haven't made to do anything extravagant, just doing basic stuff like that, picking singles. And they were aided by quite a few wides. And as a result, just eight runs away, in fact, just six runs away from a victory. They got more than eight deliveries left. So that will be a pretty much wrapped up win for Bhagavan Talawa. They'll be very proudly moving into the next round to the cup round in fact pretty slow but found a good line just about the block hole flicked it away for a single 62 runs for the loss of one wicket just about six deliveries left seven deliveries i beg your pardon Nice rhythmic run up. Better piece of bowling, but definitely not a better piece of fielding. Went underneath his legs and conceding another single. 63 for one, Bhagavan Talawa. Just four runs away from a well earned victory. Four overs done. It's things looking pretty for Bhagavan Talawa. Looks like they will be the team, the first team, in fact, of the day, apart from LPT Plantation, who moved to the next round as a result of a bye. Now, Bogavantala Plantation, just four runs away from a victory. What will be the conclusion of the very first game of this 20th edition of Interplantation? Six side cricket tournament organized and conducted by Dibulla Athletic and Cricket Club. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves another spinner. Looks like a right arm Ofi. Very gentle stuff way outside the off stump, and that'll do it. 69 runs on the board, Bhagavan Talawa, victorious, moving to the cup round. This is in fact the conclusion of very first game. We had another game in between the completion of Bhagavan Talawa's bowling inning. Now two batsmen, done the job. They are keeping their hopes alive. Hopefully moving into the cup round and becoming champions and by looking at the draw looks like they'll be taking LPT plantation in their next game but we were instructed by the organizers and the game committee there could be a possibility of a change of a draw when it comes to the second round of matches how we are getting an opportunity to join the resumption of the game between Got shock saying all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns.
Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. So this is the resumption of uh, the game between Kagala Plantation and Agarapatana Plantation. Kagala Plantation batted first score some hefty total. 105 runs for the last of one wicket. Now for the first time in the day, we got a left arm seamer. He was treated by a well played pull shot over deep square leg region for the first boundary for Agarapatana Plantation. Didn't bowl well but started off well with the bat. Short enough. Nicely done. Four runs on the board. This is the first over between. This is the first over of, in fact, Agarapatana Plantation's inning. They are chasing a big total 105 runs. Not going to be any easy. So it will be up to Kagala Plantation bowlers to maintain good lines and lengths. A short one this time. Over the boundary for a six. Way short. In fact, pretty much the bowler pitched that one in his own half. That's one rock back and lifted that one over Midwicket region for a big, big six. Ten runs on the board. This time, much better delivery on a fuller length. Two batters had a very little problem for crossing for a couple of runs. Very steady, very enterprising beginning and very lethargic in the field, the Kegal Plantation. Two was on, but the three wasn't. The bowler wasn't too happy about the fact conceding three runs instead of two. Looks like these two batters, in comparison to all the batters we had so far in this tournament, very keen on picking up extra runs, pitched outside the leg stump, took the pad, moved towards third man region, another couple of runs. I don't think Kagala Plantation bowlers and the fielders not too worried about conceding singles and twos. As long as these bowlers can stay on good lines, they can pretty much assure a victory because simply they have got a big total on the board. 100 plus runs. Another misfield resulting another extra run. The bowler wasn't too happy. That's the completion of the first over. Seventeen runs for the lost of none. So pretty good start for Agarapatana Plantation. They're needing something like twenty plus runs per over to cross over the target, to cross over the line. 17 runs just under that so that they should be on the look for getting something above 20 runs in this over. Take a plantation bowlers bowling straight. No wide so far. All the runs have been taken by way of boundaries. Quite a few twos inside the first over now this man who got a beautiful six over Midwicket region getting ready looks like we got ourselves another gentle medium bowler going out from the pavilion end 
two wins are scoreboard end and pavilion end. Off the back foot, much better delivery this time. Couple of runs taken, but if I'm a bowler, I'd rather stick to that line and length if bowling gentle mediums. Because when you're bowling gentle mediums, you are not providing too much pace for the batsman to work off. So the batters will have to do everything to hit the ball hard or time it really, really nicely. Much better the inside edge. Will it go all the way to the boundary? It looks like and just cross over the boundary. Four more runs. This outfield despite being smaller, not the quickest. Quite a thick layer of grass cover. Not helping the ball to travel to the boundary all that quickly. I think that's very fair. Because if you get an outfield where everything goes to the boundary, that'll become an unfair contest between bat and ball straight in line with the stumps umpire had no hesitations in line with the stumps playing across the line not succeeding first wicket down for Bhagavan Talava I beg your pardon for Agarapatra plantation Few anxious faces in the Agarapatana camp simply because they know they are chasing a very stiff total. 100 plus runs, never easy. The first over yield just 17 runs, and the second over went for a boundary in the first ball, but the second delivery lost the first wicket. So Agarapatana plantation. New batsman pretty much covered himself, a headgear, arm guard. If I'm not mistaken, he's wearing a pretty big chest guard as well. Big shot towards the cow corner. And finding the boundary. A big man, strong man, picking another boundary. At the beginning of their innings, Agarapatana Plantation needing 20 plus runs in order to stay in contention to chase down this target. First over, just 17 runs. 8 runs so far in this one. Straight to the long on region. Just a single. The bowlers wouldn't mind. This man with a slingy action gets the ball pretty much upright. to go for fuller lengths most of the time another one almost found the yoga length towards square lake region just a single Kagal will be the happier team at the end of the second over much better one for Kagal picked up a wicket Kagal plantation very smart Bowling straight, not conceding any extra so far, which eventually make the task of Agarapatana Plantation a tough one. We are expecting to see quite a few supporters to flock into this beautiful venue to support these plantation teams, 15 of them. at the beginning of the second over the third over in fact 
अगर वो तरफ लॉन्ड एशन बैटिंग सेकंड नॉट इन अ गुड पोजीशन लॉस्ट द विकेट अब द स्क्वायर रामेश एक्शन एंड द फर्स्ट वाइड्स कंसीडर्ड बाय क्या गलत लॉन्ड एशन डाउन द लेग साइड वे डाउन द लेग साइड इन फैक्ट सिक्स मोर रन्स टू द टोटल Right arm, gentle medium, off the back foot, just a single, nothing more than that. This is good bowling. First one down the leg side, a wide, straight away, deciding to change his ends. This time coming over the wicket. And straight away finding the right length. In fact, he came round the wicket. I think I did it right. I said it right. Came over the wicket and found the right length. Much better delivery. A little bit of swing away from the batsman. No runs. A dot ball. In six side crickets, dot balls are like gold dust. Kerala plantation knows that they have got a big total on the board. Hundred and hundred plus runs on the board. So they will have to stick to the baties. Another one, fuller length. Looks like the bowler starting to enjoy himself, enjoying his bowling. Found the right length, found the right line. Batters not finding their mark. Most of the time, batters go for the cow corner. This time, however, towards deep square leg region, fielder comes around, keeping it down for just two runs. Good effort. Like I mentioned earlier, just four fielders to cover the entire field. So your strategy, your lines, is the key. This time outside the all stump, well within the guiding lines that conclude the third over. Much better one. Just a wide down the leg side, despite that wide, much better one, much better over for Kagala Plantation, and they are slowly but surely tightening their grip on this game. Now all of a sudden. Agar wat plantation, abey ke pad. Agar apatan a plantation, abey ke baad. In trouble, chasing a total of hundred plus runs. Not too many runs on the board. Three overs done. Kagala plantation being smart, bowled straight. Pretty much kept the batsman under check. Having lost just one wicket, now they will have to score something like thirty plus runs to stay in contention. That's pretty stuff. White to start off the over. Six more runs. Agarapatana plantation needing plenty of extras like that. This time over mid wicket region. Goes over for the six. Much needed one. Previous delivery was outside the off stump, so the bowler obviously trying to correct himself, straighten his line, but that was way too short, and the batter gratefully accepted and goes over mid wicket region for another six. The cow corner, most favoured region for the right-handers as well as left-handers. Another one towards wide mid on wide long on region. In fact, poor piece of fielding, let that one go through his legs. Never a pretty sized. 
we are just hoping to see better efforts from all the teams as the day progresses bright sunny perfect setting slower towards wide long off region just a single much better delivery Kagala Plantation so far doing everything right. Fuller delivery, big heave over mid wicket region. Fielder got under that one, but ball just coughed out of his hand. Goes over the boundary. Not the best piece of fielding for sure. Kagala Plantation, despite scoring 100 plus runs, they got to be aware of their fielding and uh, maintain high standards in field this one over long off region fielder comes around nifty footwork to keep the ball inside the line so it'll be just a couple of runs it doesn't matter which way from which angle you look at this ground it's pretty all around scenic location ideal location for photography because you can't ask for a better backdrop to take quality photographs. A lovely camera crew giving us these wonderful views from all directions. The drone flies around and what a place. Just cannot ask for a better place to play cricket pretty all the way around Agarapatana plantation in trouble looks like they are just about find themselves short towards wide long arm region once again footballing skills comes to the rescue just two runs I think if the bowlers are keen enough much better delivery Yorker length the fielder not hurrying things up they never needed they know they got themselves a really good total on the board 100 plus runs never under any trouble throughout the game Kagala plantation much better delivery pitch just about a foot outside the off stump and moved in between the bat and pad into the hands of the wicket keeper for a dot ball Agarapatana plantation supporters anxiously hoping for boundaries but boundaries aren't coming their way by the body language you can pretty much sense Agarapatana plantation all but given up. Now, the right arm gentle medium, straight to wide, long arm region for another single. This is the fifth over of their innings, Agarapatana plantation looks like given up all their hopes of reaching the cup round this one played straighter in the air long off fielder had ample time to come around and keeping it down for just a single and that's the conclusion Kagala plantation dominant victors had little trouble from the moment they've started their batting goes over the 100 runs pretty much in this ground if you go above 80 plus runs you have a chance and uh, it's uh, it was proven by Kagala plantation comfortable victors Agarapatana plantation never in this game never had any chance started off pretty well with the bat but as they move along their pace their enterprising behavior the adventurousness pretty much faded away 
Good thing about Kagala Plantation, just conceded a few extras, just about three, if I'm not mistaken. That's good enough. Kagala Plantation elated, the happier side, moving into the cup round. Young and old coming in, supporting these 15 teams from the Plantation Sixter leading planters in the country what an occasion this would be beautiful pictures doesn't matter from which angle you look at it there are the team huts 15 of them around the ground Looks like we are ready to start things off for the next game between Namunukula Plantation and Kotagala Plantation. Both the teams wearing blue attire. It isn't difficult, it isn't uh, easy in fact, figuring out oh, which team wearing which. Pretty identical. We got ourselves a right arm offy to start things off. Well bold, very well bold. In fact, just glide away towards point region. As usual, there were no too many fielders outside the off stump, so the wicket keeper had to run across all the way. The batters completed four runs, ran all four. Stylish left-hander glided that one towards third man region. Was a good delivery. Looks like this man with the ball in hand got something to offer for his team with his bowling. Two fielders on the offside, two fielders on the onside. That pretty much the customary field setting for team bowling. Flight of delivery and straight away finds success. Beautifully bold. If you find the right length and the lines, rewards are waiting. Stumps are rattled. The batting lost their first wicket. This an eye the man got out, very well bowled, fuller length, flighted, uh, dipped on it as the ball approaches the batman, a little bit of dip. So as a result, batter who was trying to sweep that one went underneath the bat and stumps are rattled. Now the new batsman looks like another right-hander, interesting looking head attire. It's sunny, it's bright. We are just hoping the weather remains the same until the completion of the day. Quite a few matches to be played. Flight of delivery flicked away towards Midricot region. Only be us. A couple, in fact. We haven't seen too many enterprising fielding efforts from any of the teams playing in this tournament. Understandably, not professionals. They may have played a good quality crickets in their school days or perhaps played for domestic clubs. Just a single wicket keeper had to do plenty of runnings. But this man, the right arm Ofi, doing a fantastic stuff, haven't conceded any boundaries so far. Bowling good lines and lengths, which is exactly what 
the team management and the coaches expecting from you stick to right lines and lengths not conceding too many boundaries outside your stop slightly too wide slightly too wide six more runs to the total with that the first over comes to an end That's the pretty surroundings of Radella. Like I repeated many a times, it doesn't matter which direction from which angle you look at, it's pretty. Our drone operator giving us some interesting looking bird's eye view across the ground. Looks like we got ourselves another gentle medium bowler. By his grip, you can pretty much say that he's a seam bowler. Very short run up. The wicket keeper. So far has done quite a few running. Wearing number 10 jersey. This time, much better delivery, short of a length, not providing too much room to the batsman. Anyway, just pushed to long off region for a single. We got ourselves a left hander. This is the second over of this game in progress. Team batting done pretty well. Short of a length, pretty much got to the mid drift for no run. The bowler is happy, so is the fielders and the supporters. As you can see, this ground very well maintained. Nice thick layer of grass towards long off region just a single good field placing from the skipper these are the supporters very keen very eager comes down the track to the inner half of the bat just didn't go beyond short mid digger region so that'll be another single good over so far no boundaries no extras as long as the bowlers can maintain good lens and not conceding boundaries oh we are started speaking about sticking to good line and lengths the bowlers pretty much goes against it and another wide six more runs first over comes to an end the second over comes to an end uh, not too many runs on the board team bowling so far conceded two wides 12 runs of extras we haven't seen too many boundaries being scored against the bowlers which means the team bowling shouldn't be too unhappy about it. Now the right hander wearing a stylish head attire. Dancing down the track, pretty much a gentle dab for a single. Very little trouble. For bowlers, it's just about being smart, 
as long as you are maintaining good lines and lengths without bowling wide you are in a pretty good chance of completing the, uh, your over well another one straighter towards long off region wide long off fielder had to run around a long way pretty easy two runs Throughout the day, we haven't seen any genuine quick bowlers. Askaya, nobody comes under that one. And two batters very easily completed the second. This is good bowling. Saw the batsman dancing down the track, slow the ball, shorten the length. And the batter had no option but to go in the air for, luckily for the batsman, just filled in no man's land. This is 20th interplantation cricket sixes. We are coming to you live from Rodel. First wide of this over, outside the off stump, way outside the off stump. In fact, the batsman had very little trouble judging that one. Let that one go. Six runs given. Team batting. They are happy. Before the delivery, try to upset the rhythm of the bowler, but right at the end, feel down the down at the boundary, keeping it from going into the boundary. Two more runs. The other leg side, six more runs. That's the completion of the first uh, third over, in fact. Apart from conceding a couple of extras, a couple of wides, general, decent over. That's the Dibul uh, Athletic and Cricket Club Pavilion. It doesn't matter which direction or which, from which angle you look at. It's lush green surroundings, the ground, the tea plantation, the mountains, the forest. Everything soothing to your eyes. Another leg side, one more wide, six more runs. Team betting, not doing anything enterprising, anything extravagant, but they were ably supported and aided by the team bowling. So far, if I'm not mistaken, four wides given. Four wides means 24 runs, uh, six more runs into the total, courtesy of wides. In this game, team bowling conceded more runs in form of extras than the runs taken from the bat so, so the batters having pretty good time this one however a flat one the fielder pretty much took off guard flat hit powerful i think the fielder took a evasive action rather than uh, fielding the ball that was on to him way too earlier than he expected. Another one, surely a big six. Big man favors the cow corner. Short enough. Beautifully picked that one over Bindigat boundary for a six. Now gather, gathering momentum. During this over, two wides, a six, and a boundary. This one, Fila gets under it, but 
Like I mentioned throughout this tournament, we haven't seen any enterprising, excellent fielding efforts from any of the teams. That's a pretty forgettable fielding effort. Got under the ball, he had the pace, but unfortunately not the hands. Where he finally got himself to a bit of a tangle, bit of a awkward position. Boundary, nevertheless, down the leg side, very, very expensive over. Quite a few extras and boundaries. Team betting just speeding things up. Excellent stuff. During the first four overs, we mentioned the bowlers being a bit steady despite conceding too many wides. The batters did very little with the bat, but last over, two sixes and about two boundaries and a six over mid wicket region. Haven't seen best pieces of fielding from the team fielding. Not ideal, not something the supporters and the team management comes to expect from this plantation teams. Not professionals, but those are pretty simple stuff. Another right arm seamer, much better line and length, just a single. Two batters, not too keen on taking the second run. Looking at the way the team bowling plays their fielders pretty much everywhere two runs are av available unless of course you hit pretty much straight to the fielder now the enterprising big man taking on right arm gentle medium short stuff rather slowish delivery I think he played the shot before ball arriving at him not made any contact, a dot ball, rare one. Six side cricket, dot balls are rare. Simply due to the fact you got only four fielders to prevent singles. This time, finds the off stop. Big man goes for a big heave over cow corner. But for the bowler, reverted for bowling straight. The way to go. I think this game is between Kotagala Plantation and Namunukula Plantation. Uh, we are trying to identify which team bowling and which team batting. Now the successful bowler, right arm gentle medium comes in from the scoreboard end. Similar stuff, straight, loopy delivery, just a single. I'm starting to wonder what exactly the reason behind the fielder not staying at the boundary. Now the wicketkeeper decided and uh, give an instruction for him to saying, buddy, stay right on the boundary right at the edge of the boundary this is six aside cricket comes down the track flat batted shot just yielding a single opportunity for a run out but the ball uh, very lethargic very lackluster effort from the fielder as well as the bowler there was a clear case of an opportunity for a run out Seventy-eight runs, good total on the board, and it will be eighty-six with that six runs. 
So at the completion of the innings, team batting first 86 runs. Wait a second, we got a one more delivery left. Despite that one gone down the leg side and given the batting side six more runs. Now once again, gentle medium bowler. Pretty good stuff. Short of a length. Not providing too much of room. I'm starting to wonder why exactly the reason behind the fielder uh, who was doing his fielding duties at Midrigat region not throwing the ball to the hands of the bowler. That's the come. 86 runs. Going by the ground, commentary team batted first was Namunukula, managing to score 86 runs for the loss of one wicket. So we will be moving into the next match between Malatavelli Plantation and Muskeli Plantation. These are the leading planters in the country. 15 teams, to be precise, taking part in this prestigious tournament. Interplantation Six Aside Cricket Tournament. This is the 20th edition. Like I mentioned, next game is between Mallat Valley Plantation and Muskelia Plantation. Looks like we have got ourselves a left-right combination once again. Another right arm, gentle medium bowler comes in and delivers a one down the leg side, way down the leg side. In fact, six more runs. We are expecting to see an improvement in the lines these bowlers are operating. Quite a few interested spectators. Malat Valley Plantation taking on Muskelia Plantation, game number six. The first half of the game number six. When it comes to six aside cricket. You need to be really, really well equipped, well prepared when it comes to fielding. But so far we haven't seen quite a few slack fielding efforts from all the teams. Not too keen on coming on the higher ball. That was a full toss. Touch too high. Two umpires looking at each other. Yes, that's an, uh, that's an over ball. So that will be six more runs to the total of team batting first. Of the right hander taking guard, we are in jersey number seven. He's getting ready. A right arm, gentle medium bowler operating from the scoreboard end. Could have been a wide, but the right hander decided to go for a wide cover drive. Just a single.
it doesn't matter which format of cricket you are playing left right combination are troubling bowlers not very easy Askaya an edge behind the wicket keeper for four more runs Team batting first, Malotha Valley Plantation, the happier side. This live stream reach you through Team Batsman YouTube channel. Much better shot towards wide long off region for a couple of more runs. Once again, not a best piece of fielding. Thirty runs inside the first over for Malot Valley Plantation. The happy side first over done. Thirty runs for Nolos. Lairu, who's on one, Manoj, ten runs of six balls, and courtesy of few extras. Malot Valley Plantation now taken their total to thirty runs. Healthy start. Much better start in comparison to all the other games, but the two batters had done very little. There was a no ball, there was a couple of wides, 18 runs altogether. The batters have taken only 11 runs from their bats, the rest 19 runs, extras. The spectators, the supporters enjoying this pleasant weather. One more wide outside the Ostam Mihidum, the bowler, right arm off. Much better line length, went underneath the bat. This is the second over. Now, Muskelia Plantation. Looking at the avenues of walking back into this game. Expecting the right arm of spinner Mihidum to come up with a better over. He didn't start it off really well, conceding six runs in form of wide. That was much better. Towards cover region. Or the sweeper cover region, just a single. This is the second over in progress. Malata Plantation, Malata Valley Plantation, already 37 runs on the board, moving along really, really nicely. Once again, going back to very bad habits of bowling wides. Six more runs, 43 runs on the board. Batters had very little trouble. Scored just 12 runs out of 42. 43, in fact. Loud shout. Umpire indicating the ball was moving towards the leg side. So it'll be a couple of more runs as a result of an overthrow. 40 five runs of the board on the board and the Malata Valley Plantation the happier team out of the two so far this is the game number four in progress earlier on we had Bhagavan Talao Plantation moved on to the second round and Kagala Plantation had very little trouble against Agarapatan Plantation now Kotagala Plantation taking on Namunukula alongside this game and Malat Valley Plantation and Moskalia Plantation in action as we speak. Two batters taking much needed drinks despite being pleasant. It's pretty dry and humid. So as a result, the players, the batters needing to hydrate 
themselves pretty regularly 46 runs on the board just two overs done 23 runs for over that's a healthy run rate interplantation sixes 20 20 true 2023 uh, beg your pardon and Guyan the new bowler starting a new over from the scoreboard end for those who are joining just now this is interplantation sixes cricket tournament organized and conducted by Nibula Athletic and Cricket Club the home of Nibula Athletic and Cricket Club Radalla Cricket Grounds we are coming to you live batsman.com bring you the live coverage that was pulled nicely towards Squalic region for four spanked it big strong left-hander Manoj moves to 14 runs with that take a name twin uh, 10 deliveries to get 14 runs Lahiru on the other hand taken four deliveries to score two runs which means taken 16 runs of 50 34 runs in form of extras that's nowhere near good I think moving along Moskelia plantation will have to do some serious corrections when it comes to their bowling that was a much better delivery straighter there you go if you are prepared to bowl straight hit the right line lens rewards to be taken much better delivery first wicket down for Malata plantation 50 runs on the board good comeback from Guyan a dangerous left-hander walks back some consolation for Muscali Plantation they of course didn't got off to a good start started off bowling too many wides first over yielding 30 runs for Malatta Valley Plantation new batsman coming in Malaysia another left-hander it seems never an easy thing for a bowler to adjust your line and length to a right-hander as well as a left-hander now Guyan comes in very very poor piece of wicket keeping down the leg side six more runs but additional run being taken by two batters being vigilant call came in from the non-striker straight away deciding to go for it and the wicket keeper he was well within his capabilities and his reach to gather the ball and throw the thumb stumps down much better delivery outside the off stump glided away towards cover region for a single more deliveries left in this over by Guyan will Malaysia yet to get off the mark that costly first over pretty much killed the momentum for Muscali plantation 30 runs so it's a better comeback by the next two bowlers just given away 28 runs inside pretty much two overs which is a good effort in comparison to the first over with that third over comes to an end 58 runs for the loss of one wicket Malata Valley Plantation moving ahead really really nicely lush green tea plantation surrounding us nice cool breeze blowing across the ground keeping all our comfort levels very high for some it's too cold but for the players as well as the supporters who are on the ground this breeze much welcomed 
lovely camera crew giving us some lovely pictures the bird's eye view by the drone operator this time once again down the leg side six more runs I think that one touched some part of the batter's body as reaches the wicket keeper so that's not a wide just a single too much of sing not settling into a right line and length Arjuna the bowler this is the fourth over of Malatu Valley Plantations innings not too much of bounce kept very low I think the bowler wouldn't mind repeating that delivery again and again because if he can keep the ball that low that will be a uh, big trouble for the batters this time however comes down the track lift that one over for a boundary just a single bounce before reaching the, the boundary line so the bowler straight away adjusting his field four deliveries done three point four overs completed 69 runs on the board Malata Valley plantation looks like th they too can go beyond 85 runs if they bat the same way Arjuna I'm sure as a bowler had other ideas this one almost almost not quite I thought the fielder comes around pretty well almost within his range to stop that one but unfortunately not been able to stop that one from going into the boundary four more runs 74 runs on the board we are still inside the fourth over on lot valley plantation doing everything right not a big heave towards mid region that was beautifully taken for the first time we are seeing some excellent fielding efforts from the team fielding Moscow plantation haven't had a good outing so far but I think that excellent catch will provide some confidence for the Moscow plantation fielders four overs done 74 for two Malata Valley plantation maintaining close to 20 runs per over just about 18 runs in fact exactly 18 runs per over which is a healthy run rate Malaysia who's on one Duminda just coming in who's on nod six more deliveries left Chamod is the one looking to start the final over an important one for Muscalia Plantation if they can keep this over under 10 runs it will be a manageable score for them to chase down and if one of the plantation one of the valley plantation in fact can score something like 15 runs in the 15 16 runs that will make their score something like 90 runs so that will be a psychological disadvantage nicely played over mid -decad. oh that was an easy catch but somehow touches the ground not our best not the best piece of fielding I'm sure when these teams getting ready for their next game should improve drastically with their fielding comes down the track and surely Oh, what a catch! I thought for a moment that one will go over the boundary line, but the fielder down at the boundary made amends for the previous miss. He was well inside the boundary line and very well taken. Excellent fielding effort. Two excellent catchers and another easy catch being dropped so mixed bag for Muscadia Plantation in the field during that over four more deliveries left Malaysia who's on one 
Chamod, the successful bowler, so far given away just two runs, which is good. I mentioned at the start of this over, if Moskali Plantation come back into this game by picking up a few wickets and a few bowling, a few dot balls, they can keep that score within manageable proportions for them when it comes to chase down. Avishka, the new batsman. Just four more deliveries left. Chamod, the successful bowler, adjusting his fielders. Two on the onside, two on the offside. Left handed Avishka, who's on strike. Looks like a powerfully built player. Now Chamod. Full toss. Over mid wicket for another big six. Full toss. Spanked it. This is six aside cricket. Batters pretty much looking to hit everything over the boundary line. So giving away juicy full tosses. Abishka. With a big six. This time. Well bowled outside the off stump. Coming back for the second, I don't think that sort of a throw can stop two batters from completing that single. And just like that, fifth over comes. Uh, we are still in the fifth over. Just about two deliveries left. 84 runs on the board. Can Walat Valley Plantation go beyond 90 runs? Good shot. Gets under it and takes it nicely. Feel it down at the boundary. Catches that one really, really nicely. 84 runs on the board and fifth over completed. So it will be 84 for four for Malot Valley Plantation. Good comeback from Chamod. Just given away 10 runs. Much better over. I mentioned at the beginning of that over if they can keep down to 10 runs inside that over they will be able to keep their total to a manageable proportions and uh, they have managed to do that which means Malata Valley Plantation will be defending a total of 84 runs it will be a target of 85 runs for Moskali Plantation these are the tea plantations surrounding this beautiful venue Rodella If these lovely pictures aren't appealing, nothing will. I'm sincerely hoping this venue will become a very busy place for cricketing fraternity in the country, be it clubs, be it schools, be it mercantile sector. If they can bring more matches. Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. We are at the beginning of the next game between Malata Valley Plantation and uh, I beg your pardon. This is the resumption of game between Yes, much better delivery. Fuller length. Driven down the ground for a couple of runs. Easily taken in fact. Namunukula Plantation, the fielding side which means batting team Kotagala Plantation. Very well played towards the cow corner. Just be a single fielder down in the deep. Ambling across. Not too sure exactly how much is the total Moskali Plantation is chasing down. Big man gets that one towards cow corner for another single. 
Namunakula plantation taking on Kotagala plantation, Kotagala plantation, the chasers. This is the resumption of that game. It'll be interesting to see how much is the total team betting is chasing. Full toss, a river sweep. All that trouble for a single. These days, river sweeps, switch hits are common sights. Got two fielders on the onside two fielders on the offside which is the try and trusted formula when it comes to setting a field if I'm not mistaken a couple of games ago we have seen a team pretty much bowling outside the off stump by deploying three fielders outside the off stump plan worked for a while the moment the batters starting to adjust their stance and hit everything down the leg side they will eventually go on back to the old try and tested formula of deploying two fielders either side now Kotagala plantation doing the chasing fuller delivery driven down the ground I'm also starting to wonder why exactly the reason that fielder at long of almost halfway in almost always you've seen the fielding sides deploying their boundary ranges right at the edge of the boundary but for a change there's a fielder pretty much halfway inside something not often you see in T20 cricket I beg your pardon in uh, six side cricket just four fielders almost always almost always you got all the fielders down at the boundary gone past the outside edge good piece of bowling bowler asking the wicket keeper and the fielders to keep things calm good piece of bowling we found out if the batters if the bowlers in fact can hit that length often enough it's not all that easy to go for big runs this time however a full toss flicked away towards midwicket region or the cow corner we are commonly known as now the right hander is ready looks like a powerfully built lad much better delivery on a good length towards square leg region just a single this is good cricket Kotagala plantation the team batting chasing a big total courtesy of their bowlers conceding too many extras and uh, Namurukula plantation so far haven't conceded too many extras sticking to a good line length straight hit fielder at long on region pretty much ran across and keeping it down for just a single good effort something pleasing to see that so that's the completion of first over for Kotagala plantation not too many runs a good one for Navanakula Plantation. just found out that Kotagula Plantation is chasing a target of 87 runs inside five overs and if I'm not mistaken large percentage of runs during that innings while a Namunukula Plantation was betting 
came off extras quite a few wides in fact way too many wides this time hits back past the bowler good effort from the bowler got his hand slowed the delivery down to batters couldn't exchange their ends more than once so it'll be a single 14 runs on the board this time trying a switch hit or a river sweep so score remains 14 runs for the loss of no wickets Kotakala Plantation chasing a total of 87 runs we are in the second over this is the resumption of game between these two teams took place just a while ago coming down the track just glided away for a single 15 runs on the board moving towards the target rather slowly 87 a stiff one it's always nice to start off things on a good high note straight away found the base of the stumps first one goes down for Kotakala Plantation chasing a target of 87 not in a good position just 15 runs on the board lost a big man big enterprising right-hander first strike from Namunukula Plantation Kotakala Plantation in trouble chasing a target of 87 runs just 15 runs on the board so new batsman left-hander looks like a adventurous player now he will have to find the boundary on a regular basis to chase down this target or to keep their hopes alive to keep to take this game to the last over well played Loved that run over the bowler. Good effort, but it was well within. It was well out of his reach. In fact, these are the teams doing their stretchings, warm-ups right before the start of their games. Always good to see. Playing games in colder climates need a bit of a warm-up. Otherwise, you will be uh, subject to a uh, niggles, hamstrings, and uh, quite a few problems. This one hit back past the bowler, definitely a boundary. Well hit by the sound of the bat. You can straight away figure out that that one will go to the boundary. Uh, forehand swat past the bowler for a boundary. Score moves to 20. Having lost one wicket, two overs done. Kotakala Plantation chasing a target of 87, just 66 runs away. 21 runs for the loss of one wicket inside two overs. Now Kotakala Plantation looking for three big overs. That's the total. Kotakala Plantation 21 for one, three overs done. Nishantan, who's on strike. Lasita, 14 runs taken in. 10 deliveries, Ninuka the man who's starting a new over from a f from the pavilion end. This is in fact the game number three between two teams, Kotagula Plantation and Namunukula Plantation. Interesting action, a full toss a wide way outside the off stump in fact it, that was too high as well but umpire decided to give that one a wide six more runs score moves to 27 i don't think Kotakala plantation minded at all receiving sundries like that this one fuller driven down the ground for a single 
nothing more than that fielder was sufficient came in from the boundary keeping that one for just a single 27 runs on the board we are in the fourth over of this game between Kotagala Plantation and Namanukula Plantation Dinuka the bowler gave away six run in form of wide altogether seven runs so far well bowled if you are bowling straight you will be rewarded we have found that right throughout this tournament so far bowlers who are prepared to bowl straight maintain good lines and lengths and Dinuk reaping benefits 28 runs for the loss of two wickets 3.3 overs done looks like their target looks looks like their task of reaching 87 becomes harder and harder each minute just about nine deliveries remaining unless otherwise of one of unless otherwise of course one of these two batters can come up with some miraculous performance it'll be a game to wrap for Navarokula Plantation and move to the next round Sun Nasuria the new batsman coming down the track and ricocheted off the pad straight to the stumps losing the third wicket by the body language you can pretty much see Kotagala Plantation given it up they had no option but for going for boundaries each and every delivery just about eight deliveries left 28 for the loss of three wicket didn't got the successful bowler two wickets inside four deliveries started off by bowling a wide but came back found right lines and lengths and ripping benefits 28 for three particular plantation looks like they are ta their task of reaching 87 is, is pretty much out of contention unless of course the bowlers deciding to bowl all remaining deliveries wide outside the off stump or down the leg side still Kotagala plantation in the towns of still uh, Namunukula Plantation is in the chance of winning this game because just about eight deliveries left, left eight into six means 48 runs so that way Kotagala Plantation will have a chance for them to do that with the bat six us her delivery required. Robert, the new batsman, the nook goes out. Clip that one towards Squalic region. The sliding effort, he has to do it. Uh, repeat it twice. First time, didn't time his dive all that well. The nooker, the successful bowler, so far given away just eight runs, including a wide. So score remains 29 for 3. Big win on the cards for Namnukula Plantation. They're pretty much going through the motions. They know they have wrapped up this game. Full toss towards mid ticket region. Just a single. Coming back for the second throw wasn't a good one a better throw would have given the wicket keeper a chance to break the stumps and four overs done particular plantation 31 for three in trouble
our drone operator we will be getting those beautiful pictures from him robert the man on strike nishanta nishantan who's on four taken in four deliveries charit just about to start his first over this is the fifth flat batted swat towards wide long or wide long off region in fact just a single so now not even a miracle can save Kotakala plantation just about 50 plus runs to be scored within five more deliveries down the leg side big heave but not didn't timed all that well just a single Nishantan, the man on strike, Charit. So far given away just two runs. Left arm spinner. Spinner or seamer or quick bowler. Ball straight. That's the name of the game for team bowling. A dot ball. Pretty well ball, Charit. Looks like a very accomplished left arm spin bowler. Those are the beautiful pictures of this surrounding areas. Big heave over mid wicket. This time over the boundary line for a six. A six after quite a while. But all too little, too late for Kotakala Plantation. Just 39 runs on the board. Just two deliveries left. This is Interplantation Cricket Sixers 2023, 20th edition of this tournament. This time coming down the track, missed that one altogether. Still 39 runs, it'll remain. Just eight runs given. Another one. Final ball of their innings and Charit deciding to pick another one. Big win for Navanukula Plantation moving into the cup round very proudly. best part of our production is to look at the surroundings because this surrounding as I mentioned very pretty we are going to the break catch you with the live action at the end of this break got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills switch to hutch and be shock free reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non-stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Take a look at the breathtaking waves of the surroundings. Rather like cricket grounds. Lovely waves from the drone. In the middle, things are ready for the resumption of game between Balot Valley Plantation and 
Muskelia Plantation. Malata Valley Plantation had very time, scored something like 84 runs with their effort. Much better delivery, very cheeky little shot towards Fine Lake region for a couple of runs. Good start. Muskelia Valley Plantation knows that they are up against it. Any score above 80 will be challenging. You've seen throughout the tournament so far. If tournaments are, if teams are prepared to score 80 plus runs, pretty much 85% of the game will be wrapped up right there. Now Muscadia Plantation in with a stiff task of scoring 85 runs. Just two runs on the board, two deliveries done. Madeira, big man, comes in from the pavilion end down the lake side. Took the pad before moving towards Fine Lake region. Just two. Not the best piece of running. Three deliveries done, just given away three runs. Good stuff from Madeira. Team needs 81 runs of 27 balls. Boundaries, big shots in order for Muscalia Plantation. This time of full toss, spanked it towards long off region, just a single. At times we have found the full tosses aren't the easiest delivery to hit. But to Madeira's credit, so far operating pretty straight in toward the stumps most of the time. Just five rounds of four balls, pretty good stuff. Something we haven't seen throughout the tournament so far. Samal of the Valley Plantation looks like a team well prepared, well strategized, well thought of. Got two fielders on the offside and two fielders on the leg side. There you go, straight away, ripping benefits. Bowling straight, you miss, I hit. Five runs on the board, Muscalia Plantation. Losing their first wicket in trouble early on. Madeira, the successful bowler. So the team management as well as coaching staff is watching. The instruction should be for the bowlers to bowl straight at stumps. You may go for runs, but more often than not, you will be rewarded because most of the time these batters, be it right-handers, be it left-handers, looking to hit over the cow corner. So that'll give you a good opportunity to strike the stumps like Madira just did. To complete a fantastic over, Madira. Full toss. Fielder comes around and good effort, keeping it down for just a single. Fantastic first over for Madeira, just six runs and a wicket taken. Pretty good stuff for Malato Valley Plantation. Just take a look at the surroundings, lush green, no matter which direction you're looking at, no matter from which angle you're looking at, pretty as, as a postcard. Madeira just completed a fantastic over, given away just six runs, 
Now Guyan and Mihidu with a tough, ta tough task in their hands. Daminda, the new bowler, comes in from the scoreboard end. Another good over from here will pretty much seal the deal for Malato Valley Plantation. Outside the off stump, well within the judged line, just a single. Simple formula, ball straight, not give away extras. Because according to the tournament rules, a wide delivery, yielding six runs for the batting team. Similar with a no ball, so teams not giving out too many extras will keep their chances of winning pretty high. Well bowled, big turner. Daminda, despite this being a six-a-side tournament, pretty much operates with a two-day line and lens. Flighted, hit back straight. But the fielder was waiting, just a single. Good effort. Good bowling from Daminda as well. Following up a fantastic over from Madeira. Mihidu moves on six, taking him six deliveries, fine delivery, a little bit of turn, came in towards the batsman who had no option of playing, going for a big shot, took the inner half of the bat, just a single eight runs, not moving towards the right direction at right pace, Moskelia plantation, they got to do something special to up their run rate because they know they are chasing a target of 84 runs, a stiff one. Full toss, big six, our mid -decat. Daminda, we were crediting him for bowling, flighting the deliveries, but this time, Mehidum deciding to go under that one and spank it over mid bridge on the cow corner for six, 15 runs on the board. Moskali Plantation needing quite a few sixes. Much better delivery and straight away. Excellent piece of stumping by the wicket keeper. Quick hands. What a comeback for Daminda. Throughout this over, all his deliveries were flighted ones in line with the stumps. Previous delivery lifted over mid region for a six, but what a comeback. This time shorten his length, straighten his line and the wicket keeper. What a fantastic work and I'm sure these pictures are appealing for the entire cricket fraternity in the country, if not the overseas. Chamot, the new batsman, who's on not Guyan, who's on two, taken him three deliveries, not ideal. Moskalia Plantation, as I mentioned earlier, in trouble, two wickets down, third over just about to start. Looks like Manoj just about to start, another over from the pavilion end, bearing jersey number 10 from Alata Valley Plantation. 70 runs of just 18 bowls. Pretty tough. Played down the ground. Good effort by the fielder. Just given away two runs. Oh, slack fielding effort. Conceding another run. Now they're needing a 67 runs inside 17 deliveries. Unless, of course, they are going to get quite a few sixers or boundaries back-to-back. -back. Their chances of winning this game is pretty slim for Moskali Plantation. 67 runs of 17 deliveries. Still possible, but they will have to do much better than that, Manoj, in his second delivery. Inside edge went in between the stumps and the wicket keeper. 
another couple of runs. Manoj, oh, Malata Valley Plantation wouldn't mind that conceding singles and twos. It's just the boundaries and sixes they are worried of. So far, Manoj and the rest of the bowlers doing a fine job. They have not only taken two wickets, they keep the runs down. Much better delivery, much slower, in line with the stump, a little bit of turn. Gayan, who's on five. Chamod, who's on two. Got no options but to finding the boundary. This time coming down the track over mid wicket region. Fielder comes around, keep that one for just two runs. Twenty runs on twenty two runs on the board it should be. And Manoj in the middle of a good over. Slowing things down. Flight at delivery once more towards Cow Corner. This time two. Finds the fielder. Just a single. If you slow things down main while maintaining good lines. You can make things tough for batters. Much better delivery. Fuller took the outside edge towards Koalek region. Just a single and he tries to come back for the second. No is the call from the striker. Another good over completed. Just eight runs now. Inside 12 balls, 61 runs. Very, very tough. Not impossible, but very, very tough. Muscalia Plantation needing a miracle. Chamod and Gayan, can they do something special? Very unlikely, but Muscalia Plantation supporters as well as the team management keeping their hopes alive. Malata Valley Plantation, meanwhile, calm and composed they know they don't have to do anything extravagant anything special just stick to basics like their bowlers did right throughout the innings Avishka the new bowler coming in from the scoreboard end gentle medium shorter outside the off stump will only be a single needing 60 runs inside in fact, he managed to find the boundary. Well timed. To start with, I thought that one will straight away goes to the fielder, but this man angled his bat and find the placement. Four more runs, 28 runs on the board. Nice rhythmic action. Goes past the outside edge. Uh, dot ball. Rare one. Ten more deliveries left. Fifty-seven runs to get. Moscow Plantation looking down the barrel. Comes down the track. A big heave. Couldn't come under the catch, but given away two runs. Avishka, a gentle medium, nice rhythmic approach towards the stumps. Using the seam pretty well. School kids very interested. It's not often they get too many matches here. That was a big one. One of the biggest ticks we have seen so far. Nicely, neatly hit over the head of the bowler. A big one. Avishka conceding first six of his first over. Moscow Plantation, 36 runs on the board. Trying out another big one, a wide. Six more runs to the total, 42 runs on the board. Moscow Plantation gathering some momentum. Uh, only question is, will it be enough? Eight deliveries, 49 runs. Tough task. Big heap towards Long on region, neat. Solid piece of fielding, given away two more runs. With that, four overs done. 
Moskelia Plantation, 44 runs for two, needing 41 of just six balls. Guyan quite quickly moved to 20 runs. Previous over from Avishka, just 14 runs. And Chamod, who's on five, taken in four deliveries. Now the task got to impossible proportions for Malata Valley Plantation. Uh, beg your pardon for Muskelia Plantation, Malata Valley Plantation. The happier team. You can tell that from their body language. Not worried, not rattled, relaxed mood in the camps. Malata Valley Plantation conceding another single valiant effort, but somehow not being able to manage that. Four more runs, 48 runs on the board. That boundary came off Chamot's bat. Lahiru. Coming in from the family and then the comes down the track towards Mintigat region. Will it be almost but not quite? To start with, he judged that one pretty well, got underneath, but somehow ball slipped out of his hands and goes past the boundary. Four more runs, score moves to 48 for two. Muscular Plantation needing 33 runs inside four deliveries. Almost impossible. Now down the track. Mid off fielder. Good effort. The same fielder who dropped the previous chance. This time Avishka comes around and keeping it down for just a single. Very well done. Lahiru. In his first over, three deliveries for nine runs, 53 for two. Mass needing 32 of three. Another one back past the bowler, long off, had no trouble coming around and stopping that one. 54 runs. It's not happening. Moscalia Plantation looks like the first game is a loss for Moscalia Plantation. Not an ideal start, but they will be moving into the lesser categories, the bowl, and that's the six. And that's the end, 60 runs on the board. I think Muscalier Plantation started the charge slightly too, too late. Five overs done, Guyan who's on 21, better Will and Chamo who's on 20. Muscalier Plantation pretty much stick to the task ball straight not too many wides not too many no balls fielding in general not too bad and as a result the winners by a handsome margin Malata Valley Plantation moves to the next round <laughs> Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. production is comes out from this region of Sri Lanka rather the green tea lush green tea fields I'm pretty certain quite sure you're not gonna find a prettier setting than this to play cricket 
back with live action this is a start of a new game between Kahavat Plantation and Mathurata Plantation team in green batting first team in blue and red doing the bowling first wide of the game bad habits that can cost you the game we have seen that happen just about five games in if the team bowling can take example from the previous game Mallat Ali Plantation pretty much bowled straight but the bowlers from the other teams pretty much trying everything try to move the ball away from the batsman trying to move the ball into the batsman ultimately ends up bowling too many wides Kawata Plantation and Madurata Plantation they too like others looking for their spot in the cup round that's a big heaved towards deep square leg region for Ra boundary first runs on the board for Kahawat Plantation just four deliveries in 22 runs on the board this time on the offside cut that one towards extra cover region for a single Lakshan moves to four now if you're looking at the score you can straight away figure out 18 extras four runs of the bat 18 runs in form of wide so if you can stay away from bowling too many wides you will increase your chances exponentially that was much better in line with the stump a little bit of movement away from the batsman first over comes to an end a good one for Kahavata Plantation 23 runs for no loss Yasita the man who just completed his first over This is game number five between Kahavata Plantation and Mathurata Plantation. Kahavata Plantation batting first. Very good first over. Courtesy of three wides. 23 runs on the board. Straight away off to a good start. Now Gayan. Bad habits. Six more runs down the left side. Another wide. Very short run up towards long off region just a single that's pretty regulation stuff all you need is to bowl straight and pitch the ball on the right areas that too down the leg side and a very good fielding effort keeping it down for just a single 30 runs on the board despite starting off with a wide guy on coming back into his spell another one touch outside the off stump might be a harsh call but umpires in six side cricket pretty strict outside the off stump that one could have been a wide head that had he left or missed just given away a single 37 runs on the board Kahawata Plantation moving on pretty good start for them haven't lost any wickets Gayan loud shout but most probably hit him outside the off stump with that Gayan completes a pretty decent over 
apart from bowling a couple of wides, 38 runs on the board. Kahata Plantation, 38 for none. As the day progresses, interest among the players as well as the supporters grows. Kawata Plantation team pretty much glue to the boundary line. Waiting in anticipation, looking forward to their players to perform well. Two overs, 38 runs, decent stuff. Now Lakshan starts another over. Good runs to start off, little bit of bounce, short of a length, went pretty much over the stumps. Lakshan trying out uh, uppercut, didn't work. Bowler supporting the batter to tie up his lace. This is Interplantation Cricket Sixers 2023 coming to you live from Radhala Cricket Grounds. Batsman.com production team is here to bring you all the live actions. You can join this stream on Team Batsman YouTube channel. Similar delivery, almost a carbon copy. Short, rising delivery. Lakshan trying out the same stuff, same old uppercut. Didn't work. 2.2 overs done. Excellent start for his spell. Is over rather Lakshan. Similar stuff. Three deliveries, no runs. He found straight away Lakshan trying the same shot twice. Didn't work, and why not slipping in someone similar? Good intelligent cricket from Lakshan. Kahawata Plantation. All of a sudden on a halt. Similar stuff, but this time, however, Lakshan managing to get the middle of his bat and towards extra cover region for a well hit boundary. Kahawata Plantation moves to 42 with that first boundary of Lakshan's bowling. Still, decent effort, four deliveries, four runs. Similar stuff, straight to the field and well taken. This is good cricket. I mentioned the word intelligence right at the beginning of this over Lakshan. I just had the fielder and slipped in a similar delivery and the batter couldn't resist the temptation of playing the same shot and straight to the hand. A 42 for the loss of one wicket. Kawata Plantation all of a sudden hits a break. Adhashankar, the new batsman, looks like a, a left-hander. We'll have to wait and see for, for a little while, yes, a left-hander. Excellent over, Lakshan. Five deliveries, four runs and a wicket. Just what the doctor orders, just what the team is expecting from you as a bowler. Good stuff. Towards offside, no third man to cut them off for more runs. Good cricket, Madhushanka playing the field. Despite that boundary, excellent over, just eight runs. Kahawata Plantation all of a sudden, 46 for one at the end of third over. Madhushanka was on four and Kanishka was on one, utilizing three deliveries. First two overs wasn't too good for Maturata Plantation but came back really well with that over from Lakshan. Given away just eight runs and picked up a wicket. Pretty much put the brakes on Kahawata Plantation scoring. Now 
they got 12 more deliveries left it'll be interesting to see what sort of a total they can come up with Mathura plantation good comeback this is the fifth game excellent delivery little bit of swing there moving towards the batsman pitched outside the off stump just about the same stuff tried by the previous bowler Ashri Kant excellent delivery two dot balls back to back straight away Kahawata plantation under pressure if I'm not mistaken first very first over yielding them something like 20 two plus runs but Maturata plantation came back really really well another excellent delivery towards cow corner only be a single feeling is good from the field at midwicket boundary but two taken nevertheless Madhushanka who's on for Kanishka started off scoring who's on one interestingly taken in five deliveries Shrikant first runs off the bat other one this time towards five backward square lake region fielder comes around had no chance four more runs Shrikant conceding first boundary six runs of four balls still a good over now it has been proven if a team can score something like 85 runs 85 runs is the threshold 85 plus will give the team betting first a great chance and ripping benefits for bowling straight hits the back length yorker length under the back pad Kanishka Kanishka's innings comes to an end we are in number 99 Freikant rewarded for bowling straight Kawata Plantation 52 for 2 still a delivery left in uh, Srikant's first over good comeback from Maturata Plantation despite giving away 20 plus runs still only conceding 30 runs for pretty much three overs that's pretty good stuff Dushmanta the new batsman right-hander another powerfully built player Ashri Kant straight away I think that one hit him touch outside the off stump only a leg by another fine over comes to an end the streak can't give away just six runs 53 for two Kahawata plantation at the end of fourth over Like I mentioned earlier, this is the fifth game so far. A few teams progressed into the cup round. Bhagavantala Plantation, Kagala Plantation, Agarapatana Plantation and the last game won by Namunukul. Yes, Namunukul Plantation. They have moved to the cup round as well. This is the fifth over, the last one for Kahawata Plantation. Towards Long of Region, Basnaika gave away two more runs. Maturata Plantation fielders, in comparison to all other teams, doing a pretty decent job. Their catching has been good, their ground fielding. Short stuff that where it ends almost to the creek, just the fence to prevent it. These balls are expensive. 
Our the plantation moves to 60 runs for two. Good start for the last over. I just mentioned this man, Dushmanta, strongly built lad. Another short stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, he in fact tried to hit that one too hard. Luckily for Basnaika, Dushmanta not finding his timing. Now it's the opportunity for Madhushanka to find boundaries at least a couple of times. Three more deliveries left. 61 runs on the board. Looks like they are not going to go past 80 runs. That's a better delivery. Will only yielding a single, a leg by. And it before goes on to hit the pad, that one must have taken a little bit of edge. Bosnaika. Four deliveries for nine runs. Dushmanta, who's on eight, taken him four deliveries. And Madhushanka, who's on five, taken him just two deliveries. Two more deliveries left. What can Kahavata Plantation can ends up with? Much better one. In line with the leg stump. On a yoko length. Pretty tough to hit. Throw comes in, but touch too late. Two more runs to the total. Just one more delivery is left. Kahavata Plantation, 64 runs. So far we found 80 runs or 85 runs being the pass score. Cover the plantation. Looks like this uh, they are gonna fall behind. 64 runs on the board. Even a six can uh, take them only to 70 runs. So which means Maturata plantation in with a chance. A dot ball. Certain run out. An easy one. We got keeper sending in a loopy throw to the bowler. And he had no trouble of dislodging bales and Basnaika ending up on a high. Just nine runs. Kahawata Plantation, 64 for the loss of two wickets at the end of their allotted five overs. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. It's a very pleasant and pleasing experience for the production team as well as all the media people. Lovely sights all around us. Looks like we are ready to start things off for the game number six. Horana Plantation taking on Pusalawa Plantation. Two very colorful outfits, light blue and dark blue. Team batting first and green and blue for team bowling. Starting off with a wide little bit of swing moved further away from the batsman. Umpire had very little trouble calling that one a wide. To keep up with time organizers deciding to move ahead with two games parallelly just a moment ago we saw a completion of the first innings between Kahawata Plantation and Maturata Plantation now it's the beginning of the first innings between Horner Plantation and Pussel Lava well hit towards cover region for a boundary straight away 
you can figure out from the sound that was timed really nicely fuller delivery got the placement and looks like he got the power too the one for Pussel Lava Plantation team betting first Now for the plantation, loft it off drive, very neatly taken, very well done. First of all, he has to come underneath that one, then to catch it. He did that pretty neatly. Pussel, Pussel our plantation loses their first wicket and Horner plantation strikes first. Just 10 runs on the board. These birds I view giving us a different dimension. Always good to see. And now Kawat Plantation having lost their first wicket. Looking to continue to do the right things. Horn the plantation didn't start things off right foot. First delivery went for a wide. And now, having struck the first blow, they are looking at the opportunities of walking back into this game. Lovely drive. Well fielded, just a single. From time to time we can see few batters using their technique instead of power. Previous shot was one such example. Ravindra, the man on strike. Sanjeeva, who's on one. 11 runs for the loss of one wicket. Good completion for Bandara Zova. Uh, given away just 11 runs despite conceding a wide. So, decent start for Pusalava Plantation. Good comeback for Horna Plantation. For those who are just joining us, this is the game number six between Horner Plantation and Pusalao Plantation. Pusalao Plantation batting first, 11 runs on the board, having lost one wicket. So far, few teams made to the cup round. Bogavantalava Plantation first off, and Kagala Plantation and Agarapatana Plantation. Now, Kawata Plantation touch down the leg side. Now, not by much, but it wasn't a wide. In fact, uh, came off the clothing. So umpire rightly decided against his first decision. Much better delivery. Little bit of bounce and movement for Dinesh. Another right arm gentle medium bowler. We have seen plenty of them throughout the tournament so far. This is the game number sixth. This time outside the Ostam, but well within the guiding lines for umpire. So that'll be a legitimate delivery. Good stuff from Dinesh. Two deliveries. Given away none. This time off the back foot. Not reaching the fielders in the deep. Just be a, s a couple of runs in fact. Dinesh gave away his first crunch. Four deliveries. This is good bowling. Similar stuff. Down the ground. Just be a single. Almost lost. Awkward bounce but pretty much had the presence of mind to regather that one for Salah Plantation. Slowing down. 
Just 13 runs, second over. Little bit of a way movement there. Pitched just about in line with the off stump. Excellent over, just three runs from Dinesh. Uzala Plantation looking down the barrel. Two overs done, just 14 runs. Sanjeeva was on four, Ravindra was on none. In addition to the teams who moved to the cup round, uh, just I mentioned a while ago, Namurukula Plantation also made their way into the cup round pretty comfortably. Australia Plantation. And Mathurata Plantation battling it out. And Horna Plantation and Pusala Plantation in action in the middle, a boundary. Subash, the new bowler, straight away, spanked it for a boundary. Puts the lava, need to get things moving. Haven't started off well. Third over, clearly a wide, just about foot outside the guiding line. One of the easiest decisions for the umpires. Two right-handers in the middle, Sanjeeva and Ravindra Subash. Better delivery. An easy catch, but not taken. Sometimes this tend to happen. But just a while ago, we have seen the same fielder in the same position taken a much better catch, but not on that occasion. Lucky batsman. This time sliced that one towards cover region. Only be a single. Little bit of movement. Ravindra still on north. Sanjeeva. Most to 11. 27 runs. Third over just about to complete. Puzzle our plantation. Looking to get things moving. Easy decision. Took the back pad straight in line with the stump. Subash strikes. This is the reward for Subash doing the simple things right. Bowling straight in line with the stumps. And Pusalawa plantation. R looking down the barrel. Two down for 27. Just about three overs completed. This is a good one for Shubhas. Given away seven runs and uh, picked up a wicket. Sanjeeva, the enterprising striker who's on the middle. Yapa, the new batsman. Big burn on his shoulders. Left-hander, always useful. To keep things difficult for the bowlers to settling down to a good line and length. Subash, meanwhile, doing things right for Horana Plantation. Straighter hit over the bowler, but just a couple. Another fine over for Horana Plantation. They are pretty much made very serious inroads into this game. Three overs done, just 27 runs. Pusalava Pus Pus Plantation looking down the barrel. A run rate under 10 runs, not ideal, but they got two more overs left mm. to resurrect things. Yapa who's on two and Sanjeeva 
both these batters got their work cut out. Shehan just about to start his first over of this tournament, in fact. Looking at how things unfold in this game so far, Horner Plantation definitely the happier side, keeping Pusala Plantation under uh, on a tight leash. Another fine delivery, just about a foot and a half outside the off stump, a little bit of away movement. Looks like another bowler who bowls uh, slow leg cutters. Always useful, turning the ball away from the batsman. This time, a little faster. Finds a fielder who's on cover region, doing the sweeping, just a single. Pretty good stop for Shehan as well. Zanjiva, who's on 12, taken him 12 deliveries. Pusalawa plantation slowed down considerably. They should at least looking at the possibilities of reaching 70 runs. But looking at the way things panned out so far this time, Askaya, can someone get under that one? Not quite. Fells in no man's land, couple of runs to Yapa, who moves to two, score moves to 30 for the loss of two wickets. Salawa Plantation needing something serious, something substantial. Sanjeeva looks like the man to do it. Yapa, a left-hander who's also very capable. Towards cover region will only be... Ah, yes, he finds the boundary. Boundaries needed and Yapa got one. Shahan conceding his first boundary into plantation 6s 2023. 20th edition, previous edition won by, of course, LBT Plantation. They are waiting in the semi finals. Another big one, one of the biggest so far. Pusalava Plantation needed someone to put some impetus to their scoring, and this man, Yapa. Back to back boundaries of four and a six. Scoring rate is up 42 for the loss of two wickets. We are in the fourth over, just about to complete. Shehan, despite two back to back boundaries, just given away 13 runs. A good one under the circumstances, but Pusalao Plantation needing something even bigger, hopefully, in the next over. Now, Shehan. Coming in from the pavilion in the better one this time. Hits along the ground, along off fielder. Very neatly done. Just a single. So that's a fine conclusion for Shehan's over. 14 runs of six balls. Four overs done. Just an over remaining. Pusala plantation just 43 for two. Now Yapa with that two back-to-back -back boundaries moves to 15. Taken him just five deliveries. Sanjeeva, meanwhile, lot slower. 12 deliveries, just 12 runs. All they got, just six more deliveries. Got just about three wickets in hand, which means uh, they got to go for boundaries after every deliveries, Gunasekara getting ready, coming in from the scoreboard end, adjusting his field accordingly. Yapa, he's capable of clearing the boundary, surely. Comes down the track and edge. Will it found the boundary? Yes, in fact, he found the boundary. Much needed boundary for Yapa's 
47 runs on the board. Pusalawa Plantation getting a move on. Yapa the man providing it. Moves to 19. Kunasekara, his first delivery taken for a boundary. Now the sweeper cover being moved to the point region. Once again comes down the track. This time over mid wicket region for a huge one. This is excellent. Yawa, Yapa should have been opened the innings for Busala Plantation in my opinion. One, he's been a left-hander. Two, he's a very good timer. Comes down the track this time, however. Outside the off stump, touch too much. Six more runs to the total. Now Pusala Plantation are all of a sudden getting a move on. 59 runs for the loss of two wicket. Three more deliveries left. What can Yapa done? What can Yapa do? Six more. Fine strike. Over long off. Comes down the track and beautifully done. I think if I am Pusala of a plantation skipper, I'll be sending this man to open the battings because in city side cricket, just five overs. Like I mentioned earlier, it's about starting things off from the word go. Comes down the track, just be a single. Good comeback from Gunasekara. Sent in a good throw, giving it down for just a single, just a couple of more deliveries left. Pusala Plantation goes to 65. 66, in fact. Can Sanjeeva finish things off with a boundary? Gunasekara comes in. Much better delivery, but too wide, in fact. Managed to get past the outside edge, but goes beyond the guiding line. Six more runs. Score moves to 72. Kanasekara, expensive over. 17 runs. This time, however, a much better one to complete the innings for Vusalava Plantation. 66 for the loss of two wickets, five overs done, Sanjeeva was on 12 and Yapa, the enterprising left-hander, 32 runs of just 10 deliveries, Gunasekara, expensive over, 22 runs. So, 72 runs is the total Pusalava Plantation got on the board. Horner Plantation chasing down 72 runs for the victory. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. <laughs> Kandaya Matara Cricket Tanagavali Kandaya Pahalavak Tanagava Dinami Tanagavali other than Mepatum in Tibene, Paswini Tarange, Paswini Tarange, Devene Inima Crida Kirimata Sudanam in Tibene Tarange Patene, Kahavat the plantation Kandam Saha, Matura the plantation Kandaya Matara, the Mirada Crida Piti, Tamatma Alankar, Watapita Bakap and Laklerbano, Badana, Sri Lanka, Jatika Kandam, Navasil and the Sanchari de Pere, make Crida Piti the Peminonge, Punuim Katitsukara, Navasil and the Kalaguni, Natam Dejaguni Tonge. Hurim Hadagan, Mena Palam Pandu, Pasuni Targe, Devon Inima Kridakaran Metaragavia Pandua, Pahaka Tarangia, Tarangia Koshenta, my Taranga, Pavetini, 
ඉතාමත්ම උණුසුම් තරඟ කිහිපයක් අපි මෙන් පෙර තරඟ හතර තුලදී අවසන් වූ තරඟ හතර තුලදී අපි දැක්කා දැන් මේ පස් වන තරඟයේ මෙයත් උණුසුම් තරඟයක් වෙනවා නෝ අනුමානයක් ලකුණු හම්බා යමක් අපිට දක්නට තිබෙන්නේ කඩුල කෙලින් පන්දු යොමු කරන්නේ මේ තරඟ රටාව නැත්නම් මේ අඩු පන්දු ආර සංඛ්‍යාවක සහිත තරඟ රටාව තුල අපිට ඉතාමත්ම හොඳින් දක්නට මේ ඔවුන්ගේ සහෘදයෙන් මේ සියලුම ප්ලාන්ටේෂන් නැත්නම් අපි කියනවා තේ වතු නැත්නම් තේ කර්මාංශාල මේ සියලුම සේවකයන් මේ ක්‍රීඩා කණ්ඩායම් වලට සහාය දැක්වීම සඳහා දින දී පැමිණ තිබෙනවා ඉතාමත්ම උණුසුම් ක්‍රිකට් සැනකලියක් අද රදල ක්‍රීඩා පිටේදී අපිට දක්නට ලැබෙන්නේ අපිට පෙර සඳහන් කරා සමේ පන්දියවන්න ඉතාමත්ම හොඳ ඉලක්කයක් ඔහු සතුව තබාගෙන පන්දියවන්න ලකුණු ලබා දෙන්නේ ඉතාමත්ම අඩු වශයෙන් එක් ලකුණ බෙගින්ද අවස්ථා තුනකදී ලබා දෙන්නේ මේ ක්‍රිකේන් ඉතාමත්ම හොඳින් මොකද උන් දන්නවා උන්ගේ දුරුවල පන්දු පන්දු යැවීම බොහෝ විට මේ තරඟයක් කන පිට ගසන්නට පුළුවන් තත්ත්වයක් ඇති කරන්න පුළුවන් මෙන්න එවර තරම අපිට ඉන්නේ නිවත පැමිණි පන්දුවට ඩ්‍රයිව් කිරීම පන්දුව සෑහෙන වේලා වග්ගුවනේ තිබුණා එක් ලකුණකට පමණ අවස්ථාව ලැබෙන්නේ දැන් පන්දු හතරක් පළම් පන්දු වරේ අවසන්ව තිබෙන්නේ මුල් ලකුණු සංඛ්‍යාව ලකුණු හතරයි මිලක පන්දුවත් ලොන්ග් ඔන් කලාපයට ඇදිය නැතතුර ශ්‍රීකාන්ත් එක් ලකුණක් ලබා ගන්නවා ඒ පස් වන ලකුණ ලබා ගන්නේ දැන් ලකුණු 5යි මුල් ලකුණු සංඛ්‍යාව ගයන් සමගින් ශ්‍රීකාන්ත් ආරම්භක පන්දුව පිටිකරුවන් වශයෙන් ක්‍රීඩා කරදී ලක්ෂාන් තමන්ගේ සාර්ථක පන්දු වරේ අවසන් පන්දුව යොමු කරනවා අයත් පෙර පරිදිමයි ලෝන්ග් ඔන් කලාපයට සහ මිඩිකට අතරට පන්දුව ස්ථානගත කරන්නේ එක් ලකුණක් පමණයි පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනා ලබා ගන්නේ සමගින් පළමු පන්දු වරේ අවසන් ලකුණු 6යි එක් පන්දු වරක් අවසානයේ මදුරට ප්ලාන්ටේෂන් කණ්ඩායම මේ තරඟය නැත්නම් මේ තරඟාවලිය දින දෙක පුරාවට අද සහයට දිනය පුරාවට මේ ක්‍රිකට් සැනකෙලිය තරඟ 23ක් රාදැල ක්‍රීඩා පිටේදී පැවැත්වීමට නියමිතව තිබෙනවා මේ තරඟ 23ම batsman.com සජීවී විකාශයක් වශයෙන් ඔබ විතර ගැනීමට අපි සැදී පැහැදි සිටනවා දින දෙකේම දැන් දුෂ්මන්ත කෙඳවා තිබෙනවා අනිත් අන්තයෙන් පන්දු වීම සඳහා ලකුණු 6 එක් පන්දු වරයක් අවසානයේ සාර්ථක පන්දු වරයක් අවසන් කරනවා ලක්ෂාන් දුෂ්මන්ත සූදානම් මහුගේ පළමු පන්දු යොමු කිරීමට ඉතාමත්ම හොඳ පන්දුවක් ඉතාමත්ම හොඳින් වයිට් සලකුණට තරමක් මෙහෙයින් පිටිකරුවා සම්පූර්ණයෙන් ආසරණ වන ආකාරයේ පන්දුවක් යොමු කරන්නේ දුෂ්මන්ත විසින් තවමත් මුල් ලකුණු සංඛ්‍යාව ලකුණු 6යි දෙවන පන්දු වාරයේ ක්‍රියාත්මක වෙමින් තිබෙන්නේ ගයාන් පන්දුර පහර දෙන ක්‍රීඩකය තරමක් හැඩි දැඩි ක්‍රීඩකයක් මෙවැනි තරඟ රටාවට රටාවකට අවශ්‍ය ඔහුගේ ශරීර ලක්ෂණ තිබෙනවා නැවතත් ඉතාමත්ම හොඳින් පන්දුවේ පතිතය ඒ පන්දුවේ පතිත ඒ පිටිකරුවා සම්පූර්ණයෙන් පරාජයට පත් කරනවා කඩුරකින් ආතර මොහුගේ පන්දු වාරයේ පළමු පන්දු දෙකම පිටේ නොවදින පන්දු දෙකක් සාර්ථක ආරම්භයක් ලබා දෙනවා දුෂ්මන්ත තමන්ගේ පන්දු වාරයට නැවතත් පෙර පරිදිම ඉතාමත් හොඳ ඉලක්කයක් සහිත නැත්තම් අපිට පෙර සඳහන් කරාසේ වයිඩ් ඉලක්කය වයිඩ් වයිඩ් සලකුණ ආසන්නයෙන් පන්දුව යොමු කරනවා වයිඩ් පන්දුවක් සටහන් කරන්නට විනිසුරු තුමන්ට අවස්ථාවක් ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ ලකුණු ලබා ගන්නට අවස්ථාවක් ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ සාර්ථක ආරම්භයක් දුෂ්මන්ද තමන්ගේ පන්දුව වරට ලබා දෙන්නේ තවමත් කිසිඳු ලකුණක් නැහැ 
මේ අපි කියන අසය සමාජික ක්‍රිකට් තරගයක මේ වෙනි පන්දු වාරයක් කියන්නේ ඊටමත්ම සුවිශේෂී පන්දු වේ මේ හැකියාවක් ඊළඟ පන්දුව ලෝන් ඔන් කලාපයට පන්දු වැදී යන්නේ 1 ලකුණයි एवर एवर इलाके थरमक आसार्थ का वाइट पंडुवक लाखुनु हाय एक वाइट पंडु के लबा देने वाह में तरंगे नीति रीति अनुव यानो देन लाखुनु हाय के इन मुलाकुनु संख्या भी हैलेना लाखुनु दहातुनाई सार्थ का पंडु आर एक्ट्रियत में करें मिसिटी दुश्मन तो नमूत इलाखुनु संख्या वे लाखुनु हाय एक वार में लबा देने वाह मतुराटे प्लांटेशन कंडे में दें मुलाकुनु संख्या वे लाखुनु दहातुनाई देवन पंडु आर इतावत एक पंडु वक इतिर बत्ती बिनो श्रीकांत समगिन गायन पंडुर पहर देने आरंभ के पितिकार वंदे देना एवरत वाइट सालकुन आसन ने पंदो ये मुकरण ने पिते पिटदा अग्रे वधिन पंदो थर्ड मैन कलापे इन हाथरे सीमाओं पास करें न वाइट समगिन तावत लाखुनु हाथर के इन लाखुनु सरहन शक्ति मत्वने लाखुनु दाहताई देन मूल लाखुनु संख्या अब पंदो आरे देखा कावसन करने वाइट सार्थ का पंदो आरे एक दुष्मंत पंदो तुनक नीलकुनु पंदो वशे नियम कर दे आवसन पंदो तुना तुल ओ होटल आपुनो एकोला हाँ ओ होटल हेरी वाला बागन ना वाइट गायन समेत गिन श्रीका लाखों नुदा हताई मूल लाखों नुदा संख्या वा पंद्रह रात देखा कावसाने मतलब एक प्लांटेशन कंडाय में तेन तब वत पंद्रह रात तूना कितने रोती बना उनके इलाके ऐसा पूरा करने टे शालिका केंद्रवाती बने तुम्हें न पांडवारे क्रियात में किरी में संधा कहाँ वाता प्लांटेशन करना है मैं वर वैरेन पहाड़े लेकर ने पांडवाय दिया ना मिड विकट कला पेन पांडुरा किन्हें करने दी सिटी ने लाखों हाथर आए ये लाखों हाथर अच्छा मिकिंद ने मूल लाखों संख्या वे लाखों विषय का तक पहले ना आमतौरा प्लांटेशन गायन के पिता एक रात में कौन है दें गायन पांडू अटक कटे मोहन देवी लाखों नौ अटक लबागे नहीं थी बिना था वहाँ मत किसी दुकान डूल लग देवी गोस्ने हैं मतलब एक प्लांटेशन करना है में ये वाला तरमाक थाना तुरुवे दी यान पांडू पहाड़ तीन यान में पिते यातीन यान पांडू लाखों नौ लबागे नहीं था वस्ता वक्ले बिने ह� मेरे निपंडु इतामत आते आवश्य है मैं तारंगर रटा आवत हूँ लर निलकुनु पंडु इतामत में वैधगत पीड़ ने लकरण रपिति करूं आंट उटे इलाक क्या खंबाया न रहती बिन्ने दर मूल लकुनु संख्या वाला कुनु विषय का ही तुम्हें न पंडु आरे क्रियात में कवाने लगा पांडव है दिया ने स्क्वायर ले खाला पेट एक लाखुना है ये विषय देवन लाखुना शालिक होगे पांडवारे तात पांडु तूना कितने रोते बिना में तारंगरा टाव थुले पंद्रह अनंत पास दिन एक तमाम टेक पंद्रह एक बगी नियमी आवस्था बती बिना पंद्रह अरे पहाड़ क्रियात में किरी में दी ये वर्ष स्वीप किरी में पंद्रह ऐडिया ना कड़ुआ की नागे हिस्से टे इहलीन फाइन ले कला पे लाखों हाथरे सीमा पास करें ना दें तब लाखों हाथरे के लाखों सटाहन शक्ति मत वेने लाखों विसी हाय आई मूल लाखों संख्या � तुलना लाखों नामे अक्षाली कटेरी हीवर 
දැනට එකතු කරගෙන තිබෙනවා මේ ක්‍රීඩකීන් එවර පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනා අතර සන්නිවේදන යම් ප්‍රශ්නයක් වුණේ නමුත් කඩුල්ලට බාධාවක් නැහැ පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනා මා ආරක්ෂාකාරීව තමන්ගේ සලකුණු සටහන් කරගත්තා ශ්‍රීකාන්ත් සමගින් ගයන් කිසිවිට අත අතරේක ලකුණක් එකතු වෙනවා ලකුණු 27යි මේ පන්දුවරට ලකුණු 10ක් ශාලිකට එරිව ලබාගෙන තිබෙනවා මතුරට ප්ලාන්ටේෂන් කණ්ඩායම අවසන් පන්දු ඉතිරිව තිබෙන්නේ ශාලිකගේ පන්දුවරේ හොඳ පන්දුවක් එවර කඩුල ආසන්නයෙන් පන්දුව කඩුල කින්න ආතට යන්නේ. ඒත් සමගින් තුන්වන පන්දුවරේ අවසන් වෙනවා පන්දුවර තුනක් අවසන් මතුරට ප්ලාන්ටේෂන් කණ්ඩායම ලකුණු 27යි කිසිවෙක නොදුවේ. මෙන මාදු සංක කැඳවීමත් සමගින් යවු පළමු පන්දුවෙන් පන්දු කෙලින්ම කඩුල්ලේ වදින්නේ පළමු කඩුල්ල දැවි යනවා යනුව ශ්‍රීකාන්ත් ආරම්භක පිටිකරුවන් දෙදෙනාගේ නෙක් අයෙක් ක්‍රීඩාගාරයට හරවා යවනට සමත් වෙනවා කහවත් ප්ලාන්ටේෂන් කණ්ඩායමේ මාදු සංක දැන් ඔහුගේ පන්දු වාරේ ආරම්භයේ තාමත්ම සාර්ථක ආරම්භයක් නෞක පිටිකරුවා ලක්ෂාන් පන්දුර පහරදීම සඳහා පැමිණි නේ පැමිණි විගසේ වූ පළම් පන්දුවට ඒක ලකුණු දෙකක් ලබා ගන්නවා ඒ ලකුණු දෙකත් සමකින් දැන් මුල් ලකුණු සංඛ්‍යාව ලකුණු 29යි කඩුල්ලයි මොන සංඛ සාර්ථක ආරම්භයක් සහිත පන්දු වාරයක් කිමි ක්‍රීඩකයා පන්දු යමින් සිටින්නේ ආලංකාර ඩ්‍රයිව් කිරීමක් ලක්ුණු හතරක් ලබා ගන්නවා අලංකාර ස්ථානගත කිරීමක් එවර දෙක්ෂා කවර් කලාපය සහ ලොන් ඕෆ් කලාපය අතරින් තාමත්ම 
मेनविन पंदु स्थान का तकरा लक्षण होगे पीते क्रियात्मक विधि बने मेवन विट दें मूल्ला कुन संख्या वला कुन तीस तुनाई हाथर वन पंदु आरे क्रियात्मक विधि बने मत संख्या के पंदु आरे तवत पंदु तुना कितर विधि बनो देरा दूर ला पंदु रह की माँ एक लाखों ना वन नट थी बुपान दुआ के लाखों देखा के बाद परिवर्तन एक रगन वाला लक्षण समग्र गायन ए दूर ला पंद्रह की मार खाम हुए दन मुल्ला कुनु संख्या वाला कुनु तीस पहाई ए लाखों देखा के समग्र मेनी में तुला तवत पंदु अटक पमने इतने व्यक्ति बिन्ने वर्ष पीटे ने निवेदन अन्न पांच दुस्तान का तकरन वा बैकवर्ड पॉइंट खाला पेट ने लकुना ही लक्षण गे पीते न ये लकुन लेबे दी मूल्ला कुन संख्या वा लकुन तीस हायक तक वा हेले अन्न वा मधु संक ओगे पांच दुआरे सार्थ कव आवश्यक करन टाइ दें सूदन अवन्ने तब तक पांच दुआ कितर व्यतीत बनवा नेवतात होगे पंद्वारे आवश्यक करने चार्थ का पंद्वारे कटे मग के में मध्य संक देवन कडूल दबागन नवत समगिन दें गायन के कडूल लाही में आरंभ कपित करवान दे देना हमें विनेट क्रीड़ा करे ठहरवाए अपने समाप्ति तिबे ने कहा वत प्लांटेशन खंडाय में लाखों नतीस खाए ही कडूल देखा ही पंद्वारे खतरा कवसाने प दैडी शक्ति आकर्षण वाहों के पंद्रह एम आवश्यक पांडुवारे क्रियात्मक वन अर्थ तिब्बत नेतावत लाखों विसीना में आवश्यक है आवश्यक पांडुवारे तुलसी तारंगे जयग्रहणे क्रीम अट में प्रधान क्रीडागारे रादल क्रीडापीठे दिबुल एथलेटिक एंड क्रिकेट क्लब में रादल क्रीडापीठे सहन पहले निकाता माला वक्त सही तकरीर आप इतिया गया शान केंद्र वाती बने आवश्यक पांडु आ रहे हैं न तम लाखों नवीसी नामे एक बेर आ गया निमसंद हाँ कहावत प्लांटेशन कंडाय में पालम पांडु सार तक आई पाई ने निवेदन न पांडु पीती करो आगे पावर ने तरमक वैदी खड़ों के नातरे आने तबाद पंदु पहक की तिरवती बनो लाखों विषय ना में इलाके हाई पहर पहक नेतम वाइट पंदु पहक नवता ड्राइव करने ड्राइव करी मार लक्षण के पीते ने पंदु वैदी अनवा एक्स्ट्रा कवर कला पेटा यात्रा वारे लाखों देखा क्लब आगन वा मात्रा डे प्लांटेशन खंडाय में इस समय की मूल्य क आरंभ कर पहाड़ अक्ला कुनु हाथर अक्ला बागन नवा लक्षण के पित्ते इन्हें वेता क्रियात्मक वन्ने इलाकों कुनु हाथर अत्सम गिन्दे मूल्ला कुनु संख्या वला कुनु हाथर लिस देखा ही खाड़ोलु देखा ही तबाद पांडु तुना कितर व्यतीत बना वला कुनु विसितुना किलक है मैं आविनिशी तक क्रिकेट क्रीड़ा वे उ 
विलंगर पांडु स्थान का तकर ना फाइनल कलापे न लाखों हाथरा है तबत लाखों हाथरा ए लाखों हाथरा सम गिन्दे मूल लाखों संख्या वे लाखों हाथरे सहायक बाढ़ पत्तवन वा लाखों हाथरे सहायक खड़ू देखा ही तबत पांडु देखा किधर होते बना लाखों दहाना में इलाके बाढ़ पत्तवते बिन्ने गायाशान के पांडु आरे तामत लक्षण पंद्रह टक्के दिला कुनु दाहना में इतामात में होंडी इन पंद्रह पहर देना तबत पंद्रह देखा इतर व्यतीत बने लकुनु दाहना में इलाके आलंकार पहराक नवता ड्राइव की रिमसात का लॉन्ग ऑफ कलापे लाखों हथराक ये लाखों हथराक समेत दें लाखों पनहा वार्ता करने वाला मधुरा का प्लांटेशन खंडा है में लाखों पहाई लाखों पनहाई खाट लो देखा यावसन पंद्रह इतिहास बिना वाला लाखों पहल वक्ला बागे नहीं मटे हाँ हाँ यावसन पंद्रह नेतम तारंगे यावसन पंद्रह नडत पुल पहाड़ लाखों हाथ रखला बागन नवा लक्षण के पित आवश्यक पंद्वारे मानरम पंद्वारे बढ़ पत करनवा नमूत तारंगे आवश्यक वन्ने कहावत प्लांटेशन खंडाय मटल लाखों दहाईक उन तमत्तियों ने जायग्रहण यकला बाद में दें पंद्वारे पहा आवश्यक ने लाखों पना सात रायला बागन नट आवश्यक वाले बने मधुर प्लांटेशन खंडाय तीनों जगह लगाने कहाँ वात्त प्लांटेशन करने में टाउन सुधुकम लगाना आवश्यक महातरंगे संधायन गमने आवश्यक पूर्व वाटे टे सुधुकम लगाना टे Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. So we are back with a resumption of game between Horner Plantation and Pusala Plantation. For the first time during this tournament, we've seen a team scoring less than 65, winning a game, previous one. Kawata Plantation winning against Madurata Plantation by just 10 runs. That's a good game. Now it's the opportunity for Pusalawa Plantations to defend their score of 70 plus runs on a plantation. It will be interesting to see what's in store with a batting for Horner Plantation straight away benefiting from a wide six runs to start things off for Horner Plantations. Much better delivery, fuller, straighter, just a single. Wide long off comes around, preventing that one from going to the boundary, but two runs quite easily taken. As you can see, as the day progresses, crowd gathering in, interest going up, and the games getting closer and closer. Another fine delivery came in with the arm, an opportunity for two more runs. These two batters quite contrast to the all the other batters we've seen so far in this tournament. Very keen on running, accumulating runs instead of forcing for it, even in sixes. You just cannot hit everything out of the ground. Uh, that's a better delivery. 
a little bit of movements away from the bat left hander had a no chance of gliding that one towards fine um in fact towards third man region so no runs chaminda right arm seam bowler straight away looking at his calf by the looks of it yes he's quite keen and determined to, to finish his first over a good one so far that one down the leg side six more runs not ideal from what we have found out so far extras wides no balls momentum killers good game killers for quite a few sides found out first hand day warms up so does the crowd everyone eagerly anticipating their team to reaching the cup round fuller delivery what a beautiful shot played through the line straight bat presented lofted off drive magnificent way to conclude the over for horner plantation That's a cluster of Horana Plantation supporters, team management, encouraging their team. The drone as well as our cameraman giving us some very beautiful pictures from the surrounding, like I mentioned right throughout the commentary. It doesn't matter which direction you're looking at, from which angle you're looking at, this place is beautiful. So we are at the beginning of the second over. Another right arm gentle medium bowler wearing jersey number six starting off a new over from the pavilion end. Fusalava Plantation taking some time to adjust their fielders this time onto the hips just a single a leg by so as long as Pusalava plantation not conceding too many wide no balls and uh, boundaries they are still within a chance of fighting it out just like the way Kahawat plantation did scored just 64 runs inside their five overs somehow came out victors by just 10 runs and Kahawat the plantation moving on to the cup round now Horana and Pusalava battling it out nice shot straight a one perhaps hit outside the off stump another leg by as you can see these two batters quite keen on picking up singles Twenty four runs on the board. Another wide six more runs. It has been proven. Wides, extras, six of them quite naturally. Game killers, momentum killers for the side bowling. This time, however, much straighter. Glide that one towards point region, just a single wicket keeper running after the ball quite a long distance in fact due to the reason this game six aside just four fielders the fielders got to be efficient got to be very fast they need to cover a lot of ground and the drone covers beautiful scenery of the surroundings This one goes to wide square leg region. 
Another couple easily taken. Out of the plantation, not in any hurry. Calm, not hurrying things up. Just the second over in progress. 33 runs on the board, chasing 70 plus. Uh, in a while, I'll let you know the exact number of runs Kahawat need to chase down. These are the states where best tea in the world comes from. Radhal Estate. Beautiful looking Nanoya Creek flowing across. What a beautiful place. I'm surprised. Not too much cricketing action to reach us, Radhal, uh, more often than not. Second over concluded. 33 runs on the board for Horner Plantation. Now it's the opportunity for Nuan to start off his first over. These two batters not doing anything special because they know extras coming their way. Six more runs, score moves to 39. When your opposition providing you opportunities like that, you don't have to sweat too much. This one, two down the leg side. It'll be interesting to see the umpire's call. No wide, says the umpire. So it'll be just two runs. Gone down the leg side, uh, perhaps for the reason batsman backing away too much towards the offside must be prompted the, the umpire to not to give that one wide 41 runs on the board out on a plantation just about do, doing everything right and uh, they are looking at the opportunity of moving into the cup round two runs easily taken wide open spaces doesn't matter which direction you are playing at 41 runs on the board and Bandar who's on one Subash 12 runs no one in his first over not given away too many runs so far the one went down the leg side not being called wide a little bit of in swing nicely adjusted by Bandara just a single Bandara the calm more Steady partner, Shrubash, the one doing the heavy duty for Horna Plantation, 43 runs. They are chasing a target of 72 runs. Not too tough. Got off to a decent start. Wickets in the bank and a couple of more overs left. So Pusalava, they will have to do something special this time towards Sky Lake region and reaches the boundary. But for a moment I thought the ball touches the boundary. There's a cry from the supporters but two umpires sticking to the word of the fielder. He says I did all right and one in the middle of a decent over and Shubash looking for some big shots comes down the track all along the ground just to be a single decent over just given five runs so far no one in fact a great over just six runs for a plantation 47 for none reaching and chasing a target of 72 if i'm not mistaken we'll have to wait and see for a moment to give you that confirmation
This is, like I said before, game number six. Horner Plantation and Pusalava Plantation battling it out to reach the cup round. He was started and straight away found success. Another example, if you are prepared to bowl stump to stump, you are in the chance of creating success. Prime example, Ravindra, straight away, took the off stump. And dangerous batsman walking back on the plantation, all of a sudden, under a little bit of pressure, is because they need to score something like 24 runs inside two overs. Nothing much, 12 and over. But losing a dangerous batsman for them earlier on in the fourth over, not ideal. Ravindra now with newfound confidence, first ball taken a wicket. Gunasekar, the new batsman, another right hander taken his guard, Bandara, who's on the four. Now it's up to him to be attacking, aggressive. Whichever way you may call it, Bandara, he's the man to do it for Horner Plantation. Previous game we saw Kahawatha Plantation came out victors by just scoring 64 runs, which means Pusalava Plantation in with a good chance. Another dot ball. Ravindra doing everything right so far. Gunasekara yet to get off the mark, just a solitary delivery taken. Even in six side cricket, you got to be a little smart. That one outside the off stump, loud shout. Very close for being a wide. Fortunately for Ravindra, three deliveries, no runs. Wicket taken, excellent stuff. Now Horner Plantation under pressure. 24 needed. Just nine deliveries left. Still a possibility, but they will have to bat really well from this point onward. Gunasekara, who's on not taken him two deliveries. Not ideal. Bandara is the man to take the initiative for Horner Plantation. Just a single. A Ravindra won't mind. Pusalava won't mind. Excellent over. Two more deliveries left. Now it's the opportunity for Gunasekara to do something special. Now they will have to find few boundaries to stay in contention. Another dot ball. All of a sudden, Horner Plantation hits, breaks. They aren't moving, 48. We were hoping for a close finish, but that was pulled away nicely. Still only be a single, well fielded. And now Trouble and Bandara moves to Five with that and 48 runs on the board. Excellent over from Ravindra. Very well done. Just a single and picked up a wicket. Excellent stuff. You not often see these type of spells in six-a-side cricket. Basically brought Pusalava Plantation right back into this game. Now they are in with a good chance of winning this game. Now they are now the enterprising batter who finished off nicely for Pusalava Plantation. Yapa, if I'm not mistaken, he scored something like 34 runs within just close to 20 deliveries. Pretty much brought Pusalava 
plantation right back into this game. They too weren't moving that swiftly until Yapa arrives. This one in the air. Someone should come under that one. Yes, goes over the boundary. Much needed six for Horana Plantation. Score moves to 55. They still don't have an exact idea how much is the exact number of runs required, if I'm not mistaken, something definitely above 70 runs. And edge found, Yapa strikes. Bandara walks back, Horana in trouble, just five deliveries. Looks like Pusala Plantation, one foot in the finals round. All of a sudden, Horana Plantation outsmarted looks like empty minds pretty much luxury to the new man walking back with a very big responsibility on his shoulders 16 runs required just four deliveries left can luxury do it for horna plantation or oh, gunasekara yapa meanwhile being hit for a six of his first delivery came back very very strong this one pulled away towards the cow corner for a single coming back for the second fielding wasn't up to the mark and uh, in fact the fielders as well as the bowler not too keen on preventing the second all they are worried about is preventing the boundary, which they did. And Horana Plantation, 57, 14 more runs required. Down the next side, a wide. With that wide, hopes of Horana Plantation goes up. They move to 63 runs and chasing. They are needing seven runs. Big heave towards the Digot region. In fact, Skylik region coming back for the second. Successfully completing. Two more runs added. Just five runs. Two more deliveries. What a game it turned out to be. Now Yapa under a little bit of pressure. He just couldn't concede another singles. A full toss finds a man, just a single, which means Pusalava Plantation, the victors, the happier team, elated. Just a formality and two close games where team batting first, not scoring too much, winning. It means if you're prepared to put the ball in right areas you are still in with the chance of preventing score something like under 70 which is tough good work by Pusala plantation <laughs> Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. So next two teams searching for the spot in the finals round, Kalani Valley and Talawa Kale. Match number seven. Just a moment ago, Pusalawa Plantation walked their way into the final round of the cup segment. Will it be Kalani Valley or will it be Talawa Kale? This should be an interesting one. Looks like we got ourselves a left arm seamer. Seamer or a spinner, tough to spot. We've seen quite a few bowlers uh, utilizing very short run-ups. Uh, looks like a seamer. Short one straight up. Missed opportunity. B 
big heed towards the cow corner. Lost his shape altogether. He was expecting to spank that one towards the Dickert region to earn a boundary. Good stop for stop. The left arm seamer. Not a good run this time, however. One of the biggest for sure. Big man goes over mid Dickert. Big six. Now the left arm Seema being treated with a big six under a little bit of pressure. Another one this time straight up finds a boundary, back to back boundaries. Excellent stuff. This is exactly what you are expecting from your batters, openers to get the team off to a good start. Using all his power to good effect. Much better delivery, little bit of away movement. Well within the guidelines. So good comeback after being hit for two straight boundaries. Six and a four. Dot, six, four, and a dot. Ten runs on the board. Still, first over in progress. It is pretty usual to see batters going towards the left side. This time not making enough contact for the first time in this game. Opportunity for a left-hander. This has been the strategy with many teams left right combination starting things off left arm bowler comes in neatly guide that one towards sweeper cover region two easy runs taken but the bowler or the fielding side won't mind just 13 runs on the board first over done Now, to start off the second over, here's the big man, dangerous batsman, very, very capable of clearing the boundary with ease. Just a while ago, we saw one of the biggest sixers in this tournament pretty much reached the car park. Now, we are seeing a bowler with a slightly lengthy run up. Delivery to start things off. Two teams. Kalani Valley and Talawa Kelly Plantation. Kalani Valley batting first. Decent start. 15 runs on the board. Haven't lost any wicket. For a change, now we see a bowler with a lengthy run up. Good approach to the stumps. Very well done, in fact, towards cow corner. Should, should be a boundary, and it is a boundary. The fielder tried out some of his fancy footworks. Didn't work. Goes over the boundary for four more runs for the big man. For Kalani Valley Plantation. Moving along nicely, 19 runs on the board. 
was second over in progress. They found a few batters in each side who can be enterprising, who can do all the heavy duty, do all the heavy hittings. Certainly, this man on your screen, he's one of them. Unfortunately, backing up too much towards the offside and trying to paddle that one towards Fine Lake region and rattle the stumps. Now the big man got to walk back. A few really nicely hit boundaries, but Kennedy Valley Plantation losing their first wicket, their most enterprising batter so far. Talwakale Plantation for the first time being rewarded for straight bowling. This man operating from the pavilion end, quite a lengthy run up, and he's maintaining good lines, good lengths. And straight away picking up a wicket and putting his team in a better position than it was. A moment to go. 19 runs on the board. First over done. The second over just about to complete. A wicket down. All of a sudden, a momentum loss for Kalani Valley Plantation. New batsman. Now he will be eyeing a possibility of building a partnership, a big one. Played back straight. Excellent fielding of his own bowling. Just a single. Call came in from the non-striker. Striker obliges. Single completed. Good piece of cricket all around. Good piece of bowling. Good piece of batting and good piece of fielding from the bowler. The eagerness, the enthusiasm, the effort goes up from all the teams as the day progresses nicely glide that one for another single look at the bowler running after trying to prevent the second and almost took the run out good cricket all around once again good piece of bowling and two batters excellent running between the sticks two more runs to the total score moves to 22 for the loss of one wicket Second over still in progress. A man with a lengthy run up coming in from the pavilion end. This time a better shot, but finds the fielder who's halfway down. In the long on region, just a single, a good one. 23 runs on the board, which means he conceded only 10 runs in his over. Fantastic over. Picked up a wicket. Sent back the danger man for Canada Valley Plantation. Two overs done. 23 for the loss of one wicket. We are at Norelia, close to Nanoya, not too far away from Norelia town, just about a uh, 10 meter radius from the city center, Norelia. Left arm spinner, big heave towards Medica region, and he reached the ball very well, but got the hands in the wrong place almost. Got his chest. Yes, touching the chest. No harm done, but opportunity gone a begging. Other left hander goes over mid digger region and finding a boundary, much needed one for Canada Valley Plantation.
This is 20th Interplantation Six Side Cricket Tournament. This tournament will be on today as well as tomorrow. Tomorrow, most probably, we will be walking into the final rounds of the bowl, plate, and cup. Much better delivery, little bit of away movement, but touch too much. Umpire waited for a moment and decided that was wide enough. Six more runs to the total. Much welcome six runs for Kalani Valley Plantation. Score moves to 36. Third over in progress. Much better delivery, little bit of turn. Took the midriff of the batsman. No chance for a single. Nice rhythm, nice action. This time goes over. Oh, that wasn't a good piece of fielding at all. Went in the air. A plunge inside the boundary. Fielder comes around not managing to get his body behind conceding another boundary 40 runs on the board and Kennedy Valley gathering momentum back this time a much better strike but goes straight up almost a brilliant catch bowler decided to chase that one Pretty much got under that one, but unfortunately slipped out of his hand. Could have been a brilliant catch, but not to be. With that third over completed, Kennedy Valley Plantation, 42 runs on the board, having lost one wicket. For those who are just joining us on Team Batsman YouTube channel, this is 20th Interplantation Six Side Cricket Tournament organized and conducted by Dibulla Athletic and Cricket Club. This is their home, Radhala Cricket Ground, beautiful surroundings. And another off spinner, or perhaps a seam bowler. Just Quite clearly a seam bowler towards Square Lake region. Just a single, well-positioned fielder at Square Lake. Fourth over in progress. Score moves to 43 for the loss of one wicket. Kalani Valley Plantation in with the chance of posting a good total on the board. Two, just about two overs left. 11 deliveries to be precise. comes in from the pavilion end goes through the offside just a single not too keen on going for the second run which isn't on any case Calvary plantation haven't found too many boundaries S started off things quite enterprisingly but unfortunately that second over was a good one for Talwakale Plantation in the air. Can someone get under that one? Not really. And in fact, he was way too wide to reach that one. And he, as a result, couldn't stop that one from going to the boundary. Four more runs, 48 runs on the board for Kalani Valley Plantation. Getting a move on, a much needed one. I think score of around 80. Proven effective. This one towards wide long on region just be a single that fielder understandably wider well positioned for that particular shot now the left hander just about the same field but long on was touched straighter as we speak quite a stiff cold breeze blowing across the ground straighter 
towards Vidigat region. Can he stop it? Very well done, in fact. Keeping it down for just two runs. Good effort. He had to run around just about uh, 15 to 20 meters to cut that one off. He did that efficiently. The fielders, the captain, team is happy. The one thing all the teams participating so far, we haven't seen the teams putting up too much of an effort to stop singles, to stop additional run. This time goes towards Cow Corner. He had the possibility of reaching that one, decided to not to go for that, preventing the second was in back of his mind, not succeeding, doing any of it. Two more runs taken, 53 runs on the board for Kennedy Valley Plantation at the end of 53rd over. So this will be the make it or break it over for Kalani Valley Plantation. 53 runs on the board. If they can add just about 20 runs, it will make their total 73. I think decent enough total. But whenever teams have gone past 85 plus runs, they were proven easy winners. That's how things panned out so far, at least. And on the other side, we have seen two teams scoring 70 runs or under, winning twice. Which means, still, if you are prepared to bowl well, feel well, even 65 runs can be prevented. Final over. Talva Kelly's TA State adjusting their field according to the bowler's plan. Two fielders on the onside, two on the offside. Pretty regulation stuff. Off spinner comes in. Pretty short. Definitely over mid cut for a boundary. A big six. Gentle off spinner, pretty much asking to be hit. Hit me, written all over that delivery. And powerful right hander, needing no invitation. This time, much better, fuller, straighter to long off region, just a single. So bowler should be smart enough to figure out that exactly the length he should be sticking with, that exactly the line he should be sticking with. We'll find that out. Four more deliveries left. Once again, short stuff towards mid digger region valley and effort nevertheless couldn't prevent four more runs. Score go past 64 runs. Three more deliveries left. Looks like Kalani Valley Plantation in with a chance of getting over 70 runs, which will be ideal. This time gets it finer. Definitely a couple. Very easily taken. And they are in fact gone for the third. Very lethargic, lackluster fielding effort. Going for the fourth, unfortunately, wasn't on quite clearly. Non-striker, quite keen on getting to the other end. The response was from the batter wearing jersey number seven. Wasn't spot on. First instance, he decided not to go for that fourth run. Probably tired after uh, completing the third. Nevertheless, just three runs, 63 runs on the board 
four overs done two wickets have been lost Kennedy Valley Plantation decent score two more deliveries left if they can finish things off with a couple of more boundaries the total will be a def definitely be a decent one this time much better delivery a little bit of inward and another run out totally unnecessary but losing another wicket on the other hand, Talawakele Plantation benefiting from very foolish running, I must say. Single wasn't on, fourth wasn't definitely not on. Now just a couple of more deliveries left. Talawakele T Estate still in with the chance of keeping the score down below 70 runs which will be ideal it was proven throughout the tournament throughout the seven games we had so far only one team have been able to go past the century I think Kagala Plantation managed to go over 105 runs. That's the highest score so far. This time, once again, towards the cow corner, just a single. Coming back for the second, misfield. Made it all that easier. Two runs easily taken, and that's the conclusion of Kalani Valley Plantation's innings. 68 runs on the board lost three wickets will it be enough that's the question Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. So we are at the beginning of the next game. Right arm Seema. We let you know what are the teams competing against each other in this game. Last game. Kennedy Valley Plantation batted first scored something like sixty eight runs inside their loaded number of overs. Onto the pads, nicely flicked away for a boundary. Excellent shot. Right throughout the day, we've been getting some fabulous pictures, pretty surroundings.
plenty of people showing their interest coming down here supporting their respective teams looks like we got, got ourselves a uh, game between two li two losers of the first encounter of the day once again down the leg side six more runs being added not ideal just bear with us for a moment till we let you know what are the two teams competing against each other right at the center straighter nicely driven to yes two more runs taken fielder comes around and keeping it down for just two runs very well done down the leg side took the edge fielder big burly man tried his best but unfortunately slipped out of his hands two more runs to the total the supporters under the shade supporting their team Radel beautiful surrounding batsman.com is here to bring you the live actions straight hit just feel nicely got under that one keeping it down for just a single looks like this is the game number eight this sh should be between Elpitia Plantation and Bhagavan Talava Bhagavan Talava lost their first game yes, in fact Elpitia Plantation 15 runs on the board at the end of the first over Asala who's on two and Alavihare who's on seven I got to mention I mentioned this uh, prior to this occasion Elpitia Plantation the defending champions is here with one thing in their mind to become the champions for the second consecutive time and Supun a big heave over the cow corner for a big big six Asela gets things move looks like LBT plantation well seasoned well oiled machined of course that's exactly what you're expecting from the defending champions play like champions meanwhile Bhagavan Thala plantation under severe pressure they're under the hammer 21 runs on the board just seven balls this time goes to the same direction this time along the ground and finds a boundary powerful hitter our sailor reaches the double figures 12 runs for him just four deliveries Supun under huge pressure Bhagavan Thala plantation lost their first game first very first game of this draw this time a better delivery a dot ball after a while Bhagavan Tala plantation needing quite a few game few of those I just need to correct myself Bhagavan Tala plantation is the winner of their very first game played really well against whatever the plantation and uh, this one straight fielder comes around does a good job keeping it out for just two runs goes back to the previous game Bhagavan Talawa plantation played against Valley, uh, whatever the plantation I beg your pardon easy winners Bhagavan Talawa plantation now 
meeting the defending champions once again. Goes through the cow corner for another boundary. A sailor motoring alone. 18 runs, just seven balls. Very pretty, rather uh, exciting six side cricket taking place. If you happen to be somewhere around, somewhere close to this place, this is the place you want to be. Very pretty, scenic settings to play exciting six side cricket. 31 runs on the board. Now, Sailor this time goes straight. Will only be a single, very hard hitter. From what we found out, Alvihari on the other hand, uh, seven runs. He's taken just four deliveries. Supun under severe pressure, completes his over. So at the end of second over, Alpitya Plantation, 32 runs for Nolos in a strong position. To our viewers, it is pretty clear. LPJ Plantation, defending champions, team to watch out. Opener, Sailor, already 19 runs off, 8 deliveries. Quite a few lusty blows over the cow corner. Once again, this time, glide that one towards third man region. Now stopping, 4 more runs. Smart cricket. Shamat. Having seen this man, Asela goes over cow corner quite successfully. Slip that one outside the off stump and Asela, even smarter, intelligent cricketer, just glide that one towards third man region. That's a better delivery, a Yorker. Not even Asela can do much about that. They did well. Two exchanges for two runs. Well played. Asela moves to 23. Chamat in his first over. First up give, gave away a boundary and came back well. Just two runs. A nice yorker. Once again goes toward. Now stopping that one. Four more runs. Little finer this time. This time by... None other than Asela, moves to 29, 11 balls, very well done. Chamat, straight away under a little bit of pressure. It's not easy bowling in six-a-side cricket. You know, for pretty sure, the bowlers looking to go big. This time straighter, not reaching the fielder on full, just to be a single. A sailor moves to 30, just 12 deliveries. Quite clearly, one of the batsmen so far. Very smart, powerful. He got all the ingredients to be a good six aside batsman. And Chamat. Straight a one, got the inside edge before hits the pad. A dot ball, a rare one. 43 runs on the board. LPT Plantation in a strong position. Still, the third over in progress. Looks like they are in a strong position to reach that 85 runs mark. Much better delivery. Wide Yorker. Just found the line and length. Excellent piece of fielding. Throw down the stumps straight away. But two batters had no interest of going for the second uh, with that third over concluded Chamath came back pretty well just 11 runs 12 runs in fact so LPT plantation at the end of third over 43 runs for Norlos in a strong position can they go past 85 runs Aluvihare 
the partner for a sailor faced six deliveries I think the plan from LPT plantation is to get a sailor on strike as much as possible he's the man in form he's the man who finds the touch Now Himanta comes in from the pavilion end. This time Aluvihare with a nice lofted on drive towards wide long on region for the couple. Clear indication that Aluvihare and Asela prepare to occupy the crease, prepare to face as many overs as possible and just as we starting to praise these two openers, Himanta strikes. Stumps rattled. Once again doing simple stuff and ripping benefits. Himanta, just two balls, two runs and a wicket. This should put some breaks on LVT Plantation scoring. But as defending champions, I'm sure there is firepower left in the tank for LPT Plantation. There's a reason why they are the champions and Himanta came back pretty well. Straight, simple stuff. Finding the right length and right line. Kamidu, left-handed batter. He's on strike straight away. Another dot ball, a good one. Loud shout from Himanta. But umpire, not too interested. An ambitious shout, quite clearly. Nowhere near the bat. Asela Hoson, 30, and Himanta in the middle of a good over. Looks like they are going for the second, quite easily taken. Asela straight away calling for the second, and Kamidu obliges. 46 runs on the board still fourth over in progress Himanta trying to put some breaks on LPT plantation scoring now wide long on fielder comes around and keeping it out down for just a single 48 runs on the board this is a good over so far from Himanta gave away just four runs this is exactly the type of bowling the skipper and the team management is expecting from a bowler in this format. This is good stuff, but it is found. Looks like that one got the legs to go all the way or not. Held up inside the boundary line, so it will be two more runs to a sailor. Three, in fact. Excellent over just to give away 11 runs and picked up a wicket. Good comeback from Bhagavan Talawa Plantation. First two overs, very, very costly. And Himanta came back really well. Gave away just 11 runs and picked up a wicket. 55 runs on the board. F four overs done, just a single over remaining. A sailor who's on strike. For those who are just joining us, this is Interplantation Cricket Sixers 2023, 20th edition in fact. And defending champions in action, LPT Plantation, 58 runs on the board. This is the fifth over. Amila is ready. Coming in from the scoreboard end. Asela, big heave. Edge is found. Sweeper cover fielder had to run around quite a long distance to cover that one. Two 
two runs nevertheless. Arcelor who's on strike, 33 runs, just taken him 13 balls. He looks like the main batter for LPT Plantation. LPT Plantation expecting him to score heavily in this tournament. This is a good shot. India, can someone get under that one? Very well done. Excellent piece of fielding. He was right at the edge of the boundary. Saw that one charging in. Got under the ball, composed himself and caught that one really, really nicely. Azela walks back. Much needed wicket for Bhagavantala Plantation. 60 runs on the board. Two wickets down, just four more deliveries left. All of a sudden, scoreboard, read, scoreboard, scoreboard reads. If, however, Amila and Bhagavantalava fielders can keep LPT Plantation under 70 runs, that will be a huge achievement against defending champions, powerful hitters. Dilukshan, the new batsman, another left-hander, two left-handers in the middle, Dilukshan and Kamidu. Kamidu, just three runs, taken him three deliveries, he pretty much giving a strike back to Asela and Avila. In with confidence, having picked up a wicket. Bukavantalava, this is their second game, won their very first game against Watavala Plantation comprehensively. Dressed in green. Very good team. This time, hit straight. Man who took a beautiful catch down at the long off, sent in a fine throw, the but just couldn't prevent the second. 62 runs on the board. Three more deliveries left. Without any trouble. LPT Plantation looking to go beyond 70 runs. And uh, Bhagavantala on the other hand. Trying to keep them under 70 runs. That's definitely a no ball. There's no question. So it'll be six runs for the no ball. And four for the wide. Just exactly what LVT Plantation is expecting. Amila. Perhaps the ball slipped out of his hand. Not quite sure. But that was not a good effort from the bowler who's just about to complete his over. This is much better. Played back and a run out. Kamidu. Kamida, in fact, pretty much sacrificed his, his wicket. Dilukshan hit straight back at the bowler. There was no opportunity for a single. Now with just one more delivery left, LPT Plantation, 72 runs on the board. That 10 runs of a no ball will be crucial in the outcome of this game because Definitely, quite clearly, Bhagavan Talawa Plantation had the opportunity of keeping LPT Plantation under 70 runs, but with that 10 runs in a delivery, that was well bowled. Strong finish, nevertheless, just 14 runs with that 10 runs. 73 will be the target for Bhagavan Talawa Plantation. Can they create an upset? Can they win against the defending champions? What win? What a win it will be if they can manage to do that. So at the completion of the fifth over. At the for three. Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill.
we got to thank our drone operator for providing us these fabulous pictures from a bird's eye point of view lovely surroundings and he makes things even more beautiful with this footage I'm sure the viewers they are enjoying now we are back with Kalani Valley with a ball in hand Palo Akari T Estate with a bat straight away back cut just a single starting off with a well drilled plan of course Kalani Valley Plantation with the bat started off really well didn't manage to go beyond 80 runs one runs on the board Jeff and Ravishka in the middle straight hit yielding just a single a Roshan sticking to good lines and lengths paying no attention to bowling quick that was the proven way so far for team bowling. A couple of runs easily taken. Long off fielder had to come around quite a long distance to cut that one off. So it will be three more runs, uh, two more runs in fact. Three runs, four runs on the board. Three deliveries done. Eroshan doing a steady job. This time a big hit. Reaches the field, uh, catches it beautifully. Talwa Kareti Estate strikes first. I beg your pardon. Uh, Kalani Valley TS, Kalani Valley Plantation strikes and Talwa Kareti Estate loses their first wicket. Still inside the first over, four deliveries done. Not an ideal start. We will let you know exactly what exactly the score Talwakale Plantation is after. Quite contrary to the start, Kenley Valley Plantation had. They had a really good first over. Scored something like 17 runs in their first over. And as the innings progresses, slowed down especially after losing this man big man the big hitter now doing his job with a ball very well bowled little bit of swing in the air just a single fantastic over so far it's just a matter of completing things off it is over for Eroshan Jeff who's on one and Sarath also on one this time goes towards wide long on region this field allows the second quite easily completed seven runs on the board very very good over so far and is the completion of the over Eroshan did really, really well target 69 runs Not a tough one, but sort of in between. So Talavakale T Estate will have to bat really, really well because they have got just seven runs on the board, which means 62 more runs to be scored within four overs. is the man who's starting off the second over bowling from the pavilion end another gentle medium bowler Jeff who's on three and Sarat with that single on one seven runs on the board 62 more runs required as I've just mentioned Palakere the estate did pretty well with the ball 
to restrict Kalani Valley for just 69, 68 runs. In fact, the target will be for Talavakali the estate, 69 runs as a result. In with a good chance, but they will have to make this over count because the first over, not a good one for Talavakali. Just seven runs and Vijit starting things off really well for Kalani Valley. Just a single. S conceding singles never a problem in six side cricket as you all know this time fine leg glance can feel the comes around no he can't four more runs to the total much needed one for Talva Kelly D estate from Jeff's bat he moves to seven with that TTE or Talavakale T Estate will have to score something like 15 runs from this point onwards per over to reach the target. 69 runs for the victory and the plays in the cup round. This prestigious cup round. There will be bowl on offer, plate and the cup Winners of each stage will progress. Now, as a result, Bhagavan Talawa played LPT Plantation and Kennedy Valley playing their first game. As we looking up at the skies, dark clouds looming in. Just around the same time, we had a little bit of rain, not a little bit of rain, in fact heavy downfall and throughout the night there was rain but to conclude this beautiful tournament we are expecting this bright weather right throughout the day as well as tomorrow much better delivery played towards call call in fact sweeper cover region now oh, that was a poor effort in the field, I must say, because he was well within chance of reaching that delivery with his bare hands. Trying off footballing skills goes wrong. Four more runs to the total. Talavak LAT Estate moving along, much needed impetus. 16 runs. They only need 69 runs to move to the cup round. A full toss, big heave over mid -decut. Definitely a six. Vijit all of a sudden losing his calm. A little bit of nerves settling in. Jeff, the scorer, 17 runs, just five deliveries. Quite clearly, he's the one to do the job for Talavak LAT Estate. This time wide outside the off stump. Six more runs. Score moves to 28. First over wasn't a good one. Second over definitely is a good one for Talavak LAT Estate. Which it started off well, having conceded a boundary. Give away a six and a wide. This time much better. Outside the off stump. On a yoker length. Very, very hard to hit. 30 runs on the board. Slowly but surely. Talavak LAT Estate moving towards the target. Very productive over indeed. Jeff doing the bulk of the scoring. Sarat supporting Talavak LAT Estate. There are hopes. Goes up exponentially with that over. Now with three more overs remaining, they just about 
needed to score 39 runs which means just over 10 runs just under 10 runs in fact which shouldn't be too difficult having analyzed all the games have conducted so far under 10 runs team batting second pretty much got one foot inside the finals round it'll be interesting to see against which teams they will be competing LPT Plantation next up concluding their innings outside the old stump close enough says umpire so it'll be a dot ball Vijit the bowler I beg your pardon Omesh the new bowler Palavakere T Estate 30 runs on the board lost a wicket third over in progress very productive third over keeping them in contention single taken Jeff who's on 19 and Sarath who just came in who's on 2 they still will have to play really really well Towards the latter part of these matches, we've seen team batting first as well as teams batting second slows down considerably towards the last two overs. In fact, it should have happened the other way. Even with the defending champions started off brilliantly, towards the latter part slowed down considerably other than that no ball which concede 10 runs to them. They will. They could have easily ended up scoring just s under 70 runs, but somehow managing to go past 70. I think we are at the moment witnessing a same scenario here, Umesh. So far, given away just a single and slipped in four deliveries altogether. Jeff trying to hit the ball too hard, losing his shape. 31 runs on the board, still. 38 runs required that's a good shot finds a field just a single no time for second sending in a good throw which is the man who taken some beating during his last over and Umesh settling in nicely just about a delivery left yes given away just two runs this is excellent stuff for Kalani Valley. So he just couldn't complete it. Gave away six runs in form of a wide, which means Talwa Kareti Estate moves to 38 runs at the end of third over. As we speak, school big math season on full swing atmosphere around Rodella grounds pretty much similar i hope you can hear the proper band as well as teams with their flags supporting their teams loudly cheering talavega lt estate in the chance of reaching the final round for the cup segment just 31 runs needed two overs remaining 12 deliveries to get 31 runs just over 15 runs per over required <coughs> in comparison Sarath much more quieter he pretty much out there to support Jeff who's a capable batsman who can clear the boundaries with ease once again down the leg side six more runs and plenty of instruction from the bowler to umpire as we all know umpire's decision is final so it'll stand six more runs 44 runs on the board for 
Talwa Kaleti stayed moving towards the right direction. Big heave over mid wicket. Goes over the boundary, just managing to do so. Six more runs, 50 runs on the board for Talwa Kaleti stayed. Excellent stuff. I think the bowler should be someone other than Umesh. Umesh is the one who completed the previous over. First one, a wide. Second one, six. Things getting a little easier for Talwa Kale Estate now. This is the benefit of batting second. Knows exactly what you're chasing. This time, straighter, much better. A dot ball. Asan to the man who's operating from the pavilion end. Gentle medium stuff. Straighter, much better. Will be a single. Will they go back for the second? They are going for the second and quite easily taken. No problems there. 52 runs on the board. Just 17 more runs required. Should be pretty regulation stuff, but who knows? This time down the leg side, this should go to the boundary and it will. Fifty six runs on the board, needing just thirteen more runs. Things getting a little easier for Talwa Kale T Estate now. Wide <laughs> made things worst for Kalani Valley. Talwa Kale needed just 13 runs and this man, Asanta, gave away six runs in his final delivery. Now pretty much Walk in the park for Talwa T Estate unless of course they, they, they do something terribly wrong. They should be their game. 62 runs on the board, 4 overs done, just 7 runs needed. This is the last over for Talwa Kaleti Estate. Straight away. Was close enough, not a wide. So good start for Kalani Valley. They got only seven runs to play with. 69 is the winning target. Kanesh is the man. This time, depth dot run down towards point region, just a single. Four more deliveries left. Six runs needed. You'll back, you'll bet on the team batting for sure. It's just a matter of getting one boundary over the line for Jeff. Sarat, meanwhile, catching up 16 runs of 13 balls. Now, Jeff spanked that one towards. Square leg region quite easily that was asking to be hit. Uh, hit me written all over it stuff from Kanesh. And Jeff moves to 24. Not needing any second invitation to go for that one. Three more deliveries left. Only two runs required. Pretty 
much a walk in the park for Taluk LAT estate unless of course they do something terribly wrong and unless Kelly really do something incredible this will be game wrapped up for Taluk LAT estate and moving on to the next round yes single taken little dab comes back for two wins a game quite comfortably at the end with two balls to spare Talavak LAT Estate the new entrant to the cup round very well played Jeff 24 not out Sarat 16 not out Kanesh just got too little to prevent at the on the other hand having not scored enough runs now Kalaniwali moving to the lesser rounds winners Talavak LAT moves to the cup round Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Eta Plantation Cricket Sectors coming to you live from Picturus Rodella. Kegal Plantation taking on Namunukula Plantation match number 9. But if I'm not mistaken, this game should be between LPT Plantation and Bogontala Plantation. The resumption of their game, LPT has scored something like 72 runs in their allotted 5 overs. Now Bogontala into the chance. Flick that one, almost a brilliant catch. Unfortunately slipped out of his hand. Very well done. Getting high fives for his effort, the bowler, the Lukshan, needing 70 more runs, just about 29 deliveries left. Alpidia, needless to say, the defending champions expecting to win this one and moves to the next round in the cup segment. What a delivery, little bit of outswing. The batter expecting that one to come in towards him. Settled himself nicely, eyeing the cow corner. But the bowler, smart, slipped in an outswinger. A dot ball, a good one. Look, Sean. A much better delivery founds the edge straight to the wicket keeper. LPJ Plantation draws first blood, needing 72 runs of 22, 28 balls. In fact, Bhagavan Talava off to an awful start, losing the opener with just one run on the board. Look, Sean getting his outswinger right. Brilliantly done. So is the wicket keeper. Moves towards to his right outstretched right hand. Takes the catch. Now Miranda, the new batsman, walks in a little earlier than he expected. Amila, the one not out on the other end. The looks on the successful bowler. Beaming with confidence, taking deep breaths. Settling in nicely, defending champions got 72 runs to play with. Bogavantala plantation needing a special effort from someone. Comes down the track, hits back past the bowler. Should only be a single, it is a single. 
too bad as Miranga and Amila had no idea of going for the second run comparatively they are starting to see some good fielding efforts in the morning there were quite a few slacky efforts in the field understandably lot cooler but now trying out a deal scoop came off his pads if I'm not mistaken just about two runs being added should be leg buys came off the bat is the signal from the umpire four runs on the board needing 69 more runs just 25 balls remaining Bogowantala plantation this is to upset the defending champions LPT plantation looking for their second consecutive title very well rounded very well oiled team to spur surprise Bhagavan Talava will have to bat really really well this one an out swinger found the outstretch and founds to start with I thought that one didn't tind well but found the boundary eight runs on the board not a ideal start having lost a wicket Dilukshan did well at the end of the first over eight runs on the board for Bhagavan Talava Now you can quite clearly see the equation 65 runs of 24 balls not easy left arm spinner Dilukshan I beg your pardon yet to find his name Vimukti the left arm spin bowler spinners have, have found success so far in this tournament coming down the track is straight away I think the batsman was very very lucky to stay there little bit of too much eagerness from the wicketkeeper he gathered the ball and drops it before dislodging the bales so as a result Mihiranga getting a second chance second life now we Mukti got plenty of turn in this previous delivery this one's so basically Miranga out first ball was lucky to be there and very next ball hit it back to the ball of Vimukti straight away found success I think spinners as the tournament progresses will have will find some success we've seen even in the last ball prodigious turn for Vimukti prepares to toss the ball up hits the right area and getting plenty of turn difficult very difficult proposition for right handers in fact needing still 65 runs with only three more wickets in hand Bhagavan Talava in trouble Vimukti straight away finds success keep towards mid region only be a single nothing more than that feeling has been good from LPTA so far it's just their intent it's a different feeling when you're approaching that a tournament as a defending champions you will have to do in everything efficiently everything right and from 
LVDA Plantation's point of view, things working well, fielding up to the mark, bowling so far, really good, good first over and Vimikti in the middle of a good second one. And Vimukti strikes again. Straight one went on with the arm and Amila playing all over. Rash shot from Amila. Not working well for right handers. Always searching for a boundary, always going trying to go towards the cow corner. Not succeeding and Vimukti within four deliveries two wickets for just one run this is excellent there you go Bhagavan Talawa three down for just nine runs in deep deep trouble they are needing a miracle to come out of it all of a sudden sun goes behind the clouds Things got a little cooler. We are just hoping there won't be any interruption from rain. Himanta, the new batsman, 64 runs of 20 deliveries. Very, very tough. Someone will have to bat out of their skins to pull this one through. Bhagavan Talava already three down just two wickets in hand they haven't been smart there's a particular way you should play a quality left arm spinner but to remove this advantage all the batters so far got out playing across the line and paying the price Once again, Vimukti. There you go, once again. Was it a miss stumping? I think LPT Plantation needing a better effort from his wicket from their wicket keeper. There was another clean clear case of miss stumping opportunity. A little bit of bounce make things a little difficult for the wicket keeper for Albert here. 64 runs on the board. 64 runs needed, in fact. Found the middle of the bat on that occasion and over the boundary. Himanta shows the way for the rest of the batters to follow. Got under that one really nicely and hoiked it over mid wicket for a six. A big one. 15 runs on the board. Three wickets lost, two overs ended. The third over just about to start. Man up Peruma, the new bowler, comes in from the scoreboard end. 15 runs on the board, 58 runs required. Bhagavan Thala Plantation. This time, got that on over. Third man region and very well fielded. Prevented that one from going towards the boundary. Still, very very tough task 58 runs of 56 runs in fact of just 17 balls Marna Peruma loud shout and given umpire had no doubt whatsoever better dancing down the track with the hope of hoiking that one over mid digit region but Marna Peruma decided to go straight Go at the stumps and picking up another wicket. So Bhagavan Talawa in deep trouble. Just one more wicket in the hands. Needing 57 runs. Will it be the lowest total by a team 
of the tournament. We'll find that out in a moment. Now new batsman Salinder on strike. Wide. Just definitely too far. Just too far. On the offside. Nowhere closer to the batsman. Had no opportunity of reaching that one. 16 runs. Alpitya Plantation just needing a single wicket to wrap this off, but another poor piece of wicket keeping by Alpitya Plantation wicket keeper. A little bit of bounce, but he ha should have had the presence of mind to get his hands behind. Unfortunately, not managing to do so, conceding four more runs in the form of wides. Still in no danger of losing this game. 14 balls, re 14 balls remaining and. Uh, 47 runs required, that's pretty tough. Just one wicket in hand and Mana Peruma bowling pretty well. There could be a case of a game ended in the third over. Much better delivery, little bit of bounce. Reaching the wicket keeper this time. Excellent, efficient glove work. So far, from what we've seen, LBTA Plantation looks like the team, a polished side. Gets it over, cover region. Will only be a single. So this will pretty much be a formality. Excellent over from Marna Peruma. Picked up a wicket, gave away just three runs. Excellent stuff, Bhagavan Talava. Their chance of reaching finals pretty much gone. Super knows. Supun is on one run, taken four deliveries, Malik is on two, needing 42 runs to win this game. Very steep equation. Fifth over. In fact, the fourth over, Marna Peruma just completed excellent over. And now it's the opportunity for Asala. Asela, in fact. A mixed up name with a member of our batsman team. This time, gets it over and straighter for another boundary. Much needed one for Bhagavan Thalava but they will be needing quite a few. Just one wicket in hand. They will have to get everything right from here. If one of these batters get out, that will be the conclusion of Bhagavan Talawa's end and for the first time we are seeing it if that happened. Misses it, big heave, nowhere near the ball. Very well done by a sailor. Good comeback. There you go for the first time. Team bundled out inside five overs. Just 31 runs, 42 runs. Winning margin. Defending champions made a statement saying... This is why we are the champions and we are here to win it once again. A sailor pretty much going straight in toward the stumps and batter playing across the line had no chance of getting that one in the middle of the bat or no we are near in fact. Bhagavan Talava, 31 runs all out, lost by 40 plus runs, biggest winning margin so far in the tournament and who else but the champions LPTA Plantation doing everything right
Not shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Still very bright and sunny things here at Radalla. Now it's time for the winners of first round matches meeting each other. Kagala Plantation taking on Namunukula. 20th edition of Interplantation Cricket Sixers. Batsman.com coming to you live from Radalla Cricket Stadium. Match number nine, we are fast reaching the business end of the tournament. From this point onwards, team will be moved to their respective rounds in bowl segment, plate segment as well as in the cup segment. Now the two winners, Kagala, starting things off on a high, straight away a boundary. Namunukula Plantation, uh, if I remembered correctly. Played against Malato Ali Plantation and won their game. And Kagal Plantation scored something like 100 plus runs. And oh, I thought for a moment he took that one. Got under the ball really well, but unfortunately didn't stick. Chance gone a begging. Left hander You're getting a second life. Two more runs being added. Well bowled outside the off stump. A little bit of movement. Left handed batter. Had no opportunity of gliding that one towards third man uh, region which was the intention originally Kagala very very strong batting outfit and they've been just assisted by another wide Sajit the bowler right arm medium cousin who's on six that one towards Square Lake region, just a single, very well bowled and nicely flicked away by Cousin who's on six and Sajit conceding just seven runs off his first four deliveries, doing well, 13 runs altogether, not too bad against a team like Kagala Plantation. This time way down the leg side six more runs 19 runs on the board this is not good such it lovely sceneries tea plantations mountain range what more can you ask for i'm quite certain you will not get a prettier setting to play cricket this is the place to be the prettiest surroundings. Mm -hmm. 
There goes the quick non wear. Second over just about to start. Kagala Plantation got off to a good start. 19 runs on the board already. Courtesy of that last wide. Cousin who's on 7, Himal who's on naught. Pretty much extras doing the job for Kagala. This was the case when they played their first game. So they can consider themselves a very lucky team. A recipient of quite a few extras now. Starting off on Iwawa. Full toss. Can someone get under that one? Not quite. A six. A full toss. Well dealt. Kasut moves to 13 with that. Twenty-five runs on the board. We are at the beginning of the second over. Kasun doing everything right. Himal taken two deliveries, no runs so far. Lack lost a piece of wicket keeping, conceding two more runs. This is not good. When you are playing against a team like Kagal Plantation, you will have to be vigilant prevent every possible run with Harana, the new bowler. When your bowler does the stuff for you, the wicket keeper will have to back him up. This time straight up. Very well taken. Reversed cuff technique. Working well for the fielder. Kagala Plantation losing their first wicket. Kasun walks back. So far he has been the danger man for Kegala Plantation. Now he walks back. Something Namunukula was expecting with Arana, the successful bowler. Three balls, six runs, a wicket. Second over in progress, Kegal moving ahead really nicely until the last of their opener. Out for 13. Will this be the opportunity for Namunakula Plantation to walk back into this game? With Arana, the successful bowler. Another straight one, driven back, will only be a single. Good effort in the field. A bit of a knock, but two batters never intended to go for the second run. And as a result, score remains 28. This one straighter, firmly driven towards sweeper cover region, just a single. So good stuff coming up from Vitarana. Picked up a wicket, four deliveries. Just gave away seven runs. Excellent stuff. All you need to finish it up. Just one more delivery is remaining. In fact, he has given away eight runs, which is good. Looks like he will complete his first over really well. Just nine runs. Excellent stuff. So at the end of the second over, Kagal... Uh, 30 for 1.
Kegala having scored 30 runs of their first two overs, expecting something over 75 at least. Good start, but good previous over for Namanakula Plantation. Pulling things back for them. Himal and Shavin. Himal is the new batsman. In fact, Shavin is the new batsman. Another wide, six more runs, just what Kagal was expecting. Taruka started off well, the second delivery just too much outside the off stump. Six more runs conceded. Another one, six more runs, this is not good. Kagal getting enough assistance, enough sundries. They won't mind it at all. Himal who's on one and Shavin just came in who's on two, Taruka. Inside two deliveries gave away 12 plus runs. All extras, not ideal. Now score moves up to 42 runs all of a sudden. Another one, way too much. Six more runs, this is not good. Namanukula. Didn't start it off well, came back with that good previous over and Taruka once again conceding 18 runs inside, 19 runs inside, 3 balls. Not good at all. Their chance of reaching the next round is fast diminishing as a result. To make things worse, a boundary. 23 runs so far. And still a couple of more deliveries left. In fact, a single delivery is left. 23 runs. That's way too much. Comes down the track this time. Little straighter. One more boundary. Himal benefiting from all the full tossers. 53 runs on the board, expensive over 27 runs. Way too expensive for Namunukula's liking. All of a sudden, they've lost the initiative. Now, Kagala moving ahead. With that exp expensive previous over from Taruka. Kagala in with advantage. Namunukula making things worse for them. Six more runs added just like that. 50, 63 runs on the board, in fact. As expected, Kagala. Moving towards the direction and moving up. Looks like 80 plus runs on the cards. Edge is found. Easy to, if not for three runs. Just coming back for three quite easily. Very well done. Good running between Shavin and Himal. They look at the new bowler. Started off with a wide and now gave away three more runs, which means nine runs off two balls. Bowlers for Namanukula Plantation not doing anything special to extend the flow of runs for Kegala. They've been the recipient of extras in the first game, which they easily won. It looks like Namanukula following the same script. White long off does the fielding, just a single, a good one. This is exactly what they should be eyeing. Dinuka, 10 runs so far, 3 deliveries, Himal 
This time, straight hit. Definitely a boundary. Shavin gets things moving. Strong man. Well struck. He moves to nine with that straight hit. Dinuka conceding 14 runs inside five deliveries. 71 runs on the board already. Still in the fourth over. This time towards Midigat region. Fielder cannot come around. Four more runs. Very, very expensive indeed. 18 runs so far and a delivery to go. 75 for the loss of one wicket. Kegala Plantation. Merrily moving forward. Got so many extras in their first game and luck is on their side this is definitely goes over almost out of the ground not quite himal most of 16 runs 24 runs taken very expensive one for dinuka and kagala already 81 runs on the board having lost just one wicket at the end of the over number four Fifth over, just about to start, and uh, the batsman on strike, Himal, who's on 10. Kegala Plantation moving like a bullet train, 81 runs on the board, 20 plus runs is the run rate per over. Now, Himal taking on leg, left arm spinner, well bowled, in fact. Little bit of turn, pitched in line with the stumps. Charit, the man. If he can repeat the same delivery again and again, I think success will on the line. Similar delivery. Very well fielded, in fact. Very well fielded. One handed effort, keeping it down for just one run. And uh, 82 runs on the board, and Himal. Who's on 10 and Himal is on 11 and Shavin on 19 taking strike. Haven't had strike for quite some time now. Sharit, good first two deliveries. Much better this time. On a Yorker length. In line with a foot outside the off stump. That's the line to go if you're a left arm spinner. Just a while ago, we saw a left arm spinner throw. LPT Plantation does a good job coming down the track and a full toss. Only be a single. Charit still doing really, really well. Fourth delivery, yielding a single. Very well done. Charit pulling things back a little bit. Three more deliveries left. 83 runs on the board. Oh, excellent bowling. Plenty of turn. As the pitch dries out, spinners get plenty of purchase. This is excellent. Charit, given away just two runs, just about to complete. In the air. This is an excellent over from Charit to conclude things for Namunukula Plantation. Still too much. Still a lot Kagala Plantation to reach that all-important 85 runs. So it will be a difficult task. It will be a stiff task for Namunukula Plantation to reach that target. We know Kagala Plantation got some good bowlers. So... It'll be interesting to see the reply from Namunukula Plantation and 
Just like that, we are moving on to the next game. Just about to get that game number 10 underway. Ball of the plantation taking on Kahawata plantation. Kahawata plantation having won the toss, deciding to bowl first, which means they will be getting a chance to chase down the target. So they'll be heaping, hoping to keep things under control. So far, it's been proven a score of around 85 is challenging. Anything under that, I think Kahawata Plantation will be the happier side. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. give more returns get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company LOLC finance imagine the possibilities got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills switch to Hutch and be shock free reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days non-stop social media and unlimited calls to any network manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill give more returns get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company 
LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. I won Suba Sandak, Pratana Kanaka Dalli Silum, Hito Tunta Hito Tiante, Sundara Radala Cricket Krinagani Sita, Obeta Mea Pi, Saji Vidrivatkarana, Andar, Beverly Harwangi, Sangame, Varshika, Cricket Taranga, Ritim Taranga, Batsman.com, YouTube Nalikava, Facebook Pitu, Evagima Dimbula, Cricket Saha, Malakrida Samaje, Facebook Pitu, Se Obatapulu and Saji Vanarimi Mata, Medahana Taranga, Batin Metaranga, Malata, Kandama Sahagi, Samagi. Malata kan dah mati, hebat. Kahwat tak kan dah mati, rai meh tarangge bayatin ne. Visin orang time meh mana, antar beveli karu angge sang meh tarangga beliye kriyat magawan ne. Meh tarangga beliye visi mana, tarangga beliye palamudi ne, meh kriyat magawan ne. Iti meh kriyat magane dah mana tarangge. Malata kan dah mati, pandu deh gadi, lakunu haya crash keringan sini ne. Suda nam. Darshan ye flick kiri mak, pandu sekolah kelab itu mukhera bin lakunu hata rai. सार तक आराम ब्याक माला तक आंडा है मटे पांडु तुनो के दी मैं उन्हें डोंड लाखों ने दहाया क्रेस करें ऐसे दिन ने पांडु मुकुन के लिए क्या लक्ष्यां तरह मोहन द आराम ब्याक ने भी ओहोट नाम मैं उन्हें टेला बीती बने मानो जिता मन मोहन दिन पांडु के बाहर दिन मैं उन्हें टे पांडु तुनो के दी � पंद्रह में किन्हीं मटे लक्षण, फुलडोस पंद्रह आँख, निसिया खारे एंड उठे, आवश्यक खारे में पीले के निम्न ढक के लबुने एंड है पीठ खरुआ टाइप के सेदत, लखुन देखा करा, पैदे हो मारु खरे के निम्न डे पहाड़ आदिशय में प्रमाणवाद, उल्लंघन संख्या लखुन दोला है में समगिन, तारम का तामत मोहंद प्रतिचार है मेरे उनके प्रयेक्षिक प्रतिचार या क्रीड़ांगने प्रयेक्षिक या संख्या वक दक्षिण लेबेनो विशेष में कांडा या पहला वक में वर्ता रंगा वाली क्रीड़ा करी मन्नी में दाई मैं कदा का नवकाश एम पांडू है रिजु अम्म कांडू लगा रास्ता आ गया मैं समग्र दवियन आराम का पिता करूँ आमानोज तमान तारा में क्या डैडी प्रहार एक डॉ हुला कुना किसे तत तामन मो होंद नवत पैमिनी मार्क पांडव मो कुने क्रिडेगे आएगे ना पिता ना पाल मो का डुल्ले माला तक अंडा है में मेरा तारा का अलिया संधा कांडा यं पहल वक क्रिडा क्रीम बटन नीमते होते बिना विशेष मदा के लिए तो ये में श्रीलंका वटे शेम अगना आग आदाय राशि आगे ने वैविल घरुंगे प्रधान अध्यम पहले वैविल घरुंगे आये थे न पहलवाक तो हमें अधिदिन ये दिन में क्रीड़ा करने 
සූදානම් මලේෂ නවක පිටිකරෝ වමත් පිටිකරුවෙක් තවත් වමත් පිටිකරුවෙක් සූදානම් ලක්ෂංගේ පන්දුවරේ අවසාන පන්දුව පිළිගැනීමට अवसाने श्रीलंका अतिशय उत्साह लाहिरुगे ये पहाड़ नवताली मटर हाय बहराक मुलाकुन संख्या वाला कुन विसिद्ध देखाई दिवेना दुश्मन तर नवतात पीवर की ही प्याकी दी रटे गोस लॉन्ड ऑफ कला पेटे हरें तारमक देवंत बहारे आख प्रहारे आख लकड़ी मटे उत्साह देरो के सेदात पंद्रह तारमक एलपी मक्ते बुना पीते करो आ बाला पुरुतु आठ वड़ा अबदे न पंदो थर्ड मैन खाला आप इटे होमोना आई जोमू भी कल रखने क्रीड रखे आ थर्ड मैन खाला आप इटे दिवगो उसने वह तो पंदो बार न करना अवकाश शेन लाखों तो ना करा पर तो हमारे को रखना लाहिरु साह मालिश दे देना मुल्ला कुन संख्या में ऐसा मगे लाखों विसी पहाई पादे दे बटी के लाखों ले सराई एमल लाखों साने ठ इवर रौंद विकेट आखारे पंद मुखरी मट दूष मंद सूदान आखारे पेनिया पंद पसन बंद मेधा इन पंद वेगे अडाल मीन इवे मंद इलपी मकल बागे मीन दाकुना पीति कर बलम दूष मंद आखारे मे वम पीति कर आटे पंद मुखरा की सूदान रौंद विकेट आखारे नवता 
ඒවර පා ආවරණේ පාවරණේ වැදිය පන්දුවක් කිසිදු ඉල්ලීමක් කරේ නැහැ පන්දු යවන්නා විසිනුත් තවත් එක් නිලගුණු පන්දුවක් හොඳ පන්දු වීමක් මේ දක්වා දුෂ්මන්තගෙන් තමට පාලනය කළ හැකි වේගයකින් පන්දුව මොකද නකාරය පෙනියන්නේ නම්බර් 1 දරන ජර්සිය පැන්ඩසින දුෂ්මන්ත තාමත්ම හොඳ පන්දු වීම මම මේ දක්වා සූදානම් අවසන් පන්දුව මලීෂට එරෙහිව वरा विकट विकट पंदुआ इल्ली मार करना वह कैसे होता है इल्ली मनीष प्रभाव करना कैसे होता है क्या लोग नहीं हैं निलंगुन पंदु तूने किन समान नित्य में में पंदु आ रहे हैं होंदा पंदु आ रहे हैं दुश्मन दागे लाखुनु आटा कर सी माँ हुआ में देवन है पंदु आ रहे हैं मोलंगुन संख्या लाखुनु विशिष्पहाई एक कड़ नीलगुणुआ वैरेन पंदुड़ भारा के लगे रहने के सेवा दात सार तक नहीं में दाग वाह इतना मत मोहन दिन पाल ने खरे के निमित्त सिर ना खरे पेनी अन्य में दाग वाह कहावत तक खंडे हैं में के सेवा दात अनवश्य लाखुना पंदुरा के नाम विषय में पीठी करना खंडे हैं बट माला तक खंडे हैं बट लाभ दूना सुधारा पंद्रह मुखरी मटा दाखुनात पिटा दाग पंद्रह यावन नेक मने दाने हो तारमाक दूर टा में अगले आश्रित होता मा पंद्रह दांके यूं मटे उत्साह दरन ने फिंगर्स पिने की नेक लखनऊ इसी आटा एक खड़ू लाए पंद्रह वर्ष देखा है पंद्रह तुना कासा ने होंदा बांधुआ, होंदा बांधुआ। मलेशिया में उन्हें तारा मक दूर टा पीड़ने का ढांस हुई थी बिना खारे पेने ने में दागवा हुला कुनो अदर टा बीसी ने है में उन्हें डबू में में बांधुआ रे पहाड़ी इन समान नित्य क्रिकेट तारा गावली में क्रिकेट तारा के बांधु हाथरा के ढमुन दिया वसना है बांधु ते हैं बांधु हाथरा के ढमुन दिया वसना है तामत लाखों वातर डे बीस ही मटर और उटे आवास सारा क्लब आदु ने नहीं प्रतिवादी पांडु और ना नितांम अब मोहन दिन पाल ने खन्ना खारे अपने अन्य सुदानम एवरा सार तकाए हाय बहाराक एवर मलेश के पीतर पांडु पाती तकर के नहीं मटर पांडु इस पार शक मैं पांडु है अनिवार्य मैं हाथरे सीमा वे अभी बवाया मटे प्रमाण वात लाखों हो या मूल्यांकन संख्या लाखों दिस आदराई पांडु आरा देखा है पांडु भागा से मैं तारमक का विराम एक नाना दूर है ना तो तालाक में हाये पहाड़क में बाउंड्री का माला तक हंडे मटे हमी हुई है सुधा नम तूने पांडु है तूने प कहावत का नंदा है इतना मत मोहन दिन पाल ने करेगा ना खारे तब मैं अपनी अन्य में प्रतिवादी माला तक नंदा है
सुंदर क्रिकेट क्रीडांगण एक अभी के में ड्रोने आने लेबिन दर्शन तीसरे इम्म सुंदर क्रिकेट क्रीडांगण एक श्रीलंका वे पीठ आती बिना विशेष इम्म में वकाल गुने के वके में देश गुने के तत्ते वके में में वाटा बीटा वाती तीसरे इम्म सुंदर आए मैंने तो ने क्रिकेट क्रीडावट में उचित तानाद सेवन बंदू आ रहे प्रथम बंदू उड़ा बंदू अगले से रहती है अन्य कैसे होता है थाई बहारक मधुशांक का वसादर एमपीली करने वाला बंदू यों मुखिरी मट है तूने ने हाथरों ने बंदू आ रहे प्रथम बंदू है थाई बहारक मुलाकुन संख्या में समग्र लाखों हाथली है में क्रियान मुखवार ने सेवन बंदू आ रहे मधुशांक � दाखुनात माधुर्य के फंदे और यमुना ने खरीदा क्या नंबर हाथरा दर्न जैसी इन ओह सरसे सिरी ने सुधा नाम देवने फंदू है नैवादात पिते पीटा ताकर दारे आदि ने किसे होता आरक्षित है पिते का रुवंदे देना लाखुनु देगा करा पैते हुमारु को रगान ना मुलाकुनु संख्या वाला कुनु हाथले देखा है मैं क्रियाद Lahiru, lakunu dah nama ay, pandu nama ay kedai meja kuah, malah takkan dah mula lakunu wedi emeras kena kiri dekaya, tawat paharak, everat, nisia karen, kalau alam ini masar tak gue nak kesel itu, tawat lakunu dekak, malah takkan dah mula, honda haram dah mula pandu arah itu, malah takkan dah mula pertama pandu tu nota paman nak lakunu dah ayak kontras kira kata. Mula guna sanksi awal aku nuhat dalih satu ramai kerja anda kan ni semua na pandu arah. Mereka orang ini pertama ini me. Lahiru, aku nuh visi ekai. Mereka kerja anda kan ni, oh mohon dengan kelosan pandu. Evera sar takai, evera sar takai. Sekolah ek kelap ya, desin aku nuhat rak. Madu sanksi, prahar ek dalak itu bina kahre penian ni pandu hat rak di aku nuh dah hat rak kohge pandu arah itu. Oh, wicket wicket pandu yang mukura, oh, keti pandu yang mukura, nama itu mes saya mau pandu agama. Allah yang rugi lembu ni, aku utara ya, eh, dari prahara ya. Lagu nu hatarai, pandu hatarai, lagu nu dah hatarai, mandu sangka ke pandu arai. Mere ada lekrik lekrik orang ni, awat apa risa raya, buat apa mes saji sambat dengan ni, ati syaim masun darah, ati syaim masun darah darshan ya. Sudah nama tu siangkan. Tama ke pandu arah, pas tanu pandu yang mukiri muda. Lahiru evarat sar takai, hai baharak. Honda aram beak, Honda aram beak. Pandu arah itu, dewan pandu arah, sahatu nuna pandu arah. Me piti kerana kan dia, malat takan dia, mat tarama ke dua rata piti negara lakua, kahwat takan dia, me pandu yang mana. Wedding kesel itu, tapi ni anak tu orang siu mana pandu arah, mei mana betul aku nu visa kontras kerana tu bina pandu bahagia tu bawa mana mohon tu bini lahiru Frida piti istawa rivi sini ada event ya, nanti bila aku nu tisikai pandu dolah bahagia mohon tu bini sudah nama siu mana pandu arah, awasan pandu yang mukiri mata madu siang kau dah kiri aja, me pandu arah honda akhari ni mukiri mata, tawa event tu baharak, ani warim honda akhari ni mukiri mata sama dengan dekua lahiru event tu hari baharak. मैं सामग्री इनमें पांडू आ रहे हैं लाखों विसी हाया क्रेस कर गन वाला हीरो मूल्ला कुन संख्या वाला कुन हटाई मैं निमाव दो टुवे सेव वन पांडू आ रहे हैं सेव वन पांडू आ रहे हैं देवन तो पांडू आ रहे हैं अखमाल तक हंड्रेड में डाउन पीर ने घड़ा सुविधि बुने कैसे था लाखों विसी हाया Pandu arah rescue ini mana semanggi meon itu tamu anda mohon dengan istana yang kai malah takkan dia marah di sini ni lakukan hatak meon itu pandu arah hatara kawasan yang kadul lak paman ay orang kini binti beti itu binne mohon dengan istana yang Malaysia dan pandu arah bahar di mana sudah nama hub pandu hai ke di lakukan hai ay lahiruan yang kantein pandu dah tu nak di lakukan di sana mana ni Malaysia meon asta wedi utsa hai kat itu Kesehoh, tamangnya ante, hoh marukurake ni mana tamanta, 
දැවැන්ත පහරකට යාමට මිසි ආකාරයෙන් කල් යල් මැඩ ගැනීමට හැකියාවක් නොමතුනොත් ලහිරු සිටින්නේ තාමත් මොහොඳ ෆෝම් එක ලහිරු තාමත් මොහොඳ ස්ථානයක මෙවනට සිටින්නේ දැන් පන්දු යන්නන් පීන්නට හසු වී තිබෙන්නේ නොමර 18ට පන්දු මු කරන ක්‍රීඩකයා කසුන් සුදාන පන්දු මු කිරීමට වස්සන පන්දු ආරය සුදානම් දිවෙනවා එවර නිලගුණු පන්දුවක් මලේෂ්‍ය උත්සාහ දැරිය යුතුයි තමන්ගේ අන්තේ හුමාරු කර ගැනීමට අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම ලහිරු මේ අවස්ථාවේදී ඒ අවිය යුතුයි තමන්ගේ සගය අඩ ප්‍රකාශ කරේ මට දෙන්න අවස්ථාව මං ගහන්නම් අනේ දැන් ඒ ඇයි ලහිරු මේ වෙද්දී කිව්වේ සුදානම් පාසන පන්දු ආරේ දෙවන පන්දු යොමු කිරීමට පොල්ඩස් පන්දුව කෙසේ දාත් පහසු ලකුණු දෙකකට අවස්ථා තිබුණත් ඉතාමත්ම සෙමෙන් මන්දගාමීයි මොන තමන්ගේ අන්තේ හුමාරු කරගත්ත එක් ලකුණක් මේ සමගින් මල්ලත් ඉනිමට එකතු වෙනවා මම හිතන්නේ ඔවුන්ගේ සැලසුම් සාර්ථකයි දැන් මේ පන්දු ආරය අවසන් පන්දු 4ට මුහුණ දීමට ලහිරු සූදානම් පන්දු 13කදී ලකුණු 37ක් රැස් කරගත් මේ දැවැන්ත ක්‍රීඩකයා සූදානම් सुदानम पासन पंदुआरे तुन्नन पंदुए यमुकेरी मेरे सुदानम पंदु यवन ना मेरे टा तमांगे पीटिया साक्षीमीन सीर सी एक तमांगे विश्वास से गुड़ना गागन ना खारे पेनिया ने पीवर की बैक इधर भी उसे एक लाखुना आए देवल लाखुना पैदू हुम आरु करा गया नहीं मटा है क्या अगले बने वा लाखुनु देखाई मैं द මේ අවසන් පන්දු ආරය විශේෂයෙන්ම සිව්වන පන්දු ආරයට ලකුණු 26ක් මේ මල්වත්ත කණ්ඩායම රැස් කරගත්තා නමුත් මේ පන්දු ආරය මේ දක්ක මේ අවසන් පන්දු ආරය පන්දු තුනකට මල්වත්ත කණ්ඩායමට හැකියාව ලැබුණේ ලකුණු තුනක් රැස් කර ගැනීමට පමණයි නැවතත් ෆුල් ලෙන් කලාපයේ ඉතාමත්ම හොඳ පන්දුවක් එවර එක් ලකුණකින් එවර ලකුණු දෙක කරා පැති හුමාරු කරගන්න වේගයෙන් සාර්ථකයි මේ දක්ක පන්දු 4කදී ලකුණු 5ක් පමණයි ප්‍රතිවාදින්ට ලබා දුන්නේ මේ පන්දු යොමු කරන ක්‍රීඩකයා පන්දු 4කදී संख्या ලහිරුට හැකියාව ලැබෙවි ද අර්ධ ශතකය රැස් කරගෙන මම හිතන්නේ නැහැ මේ වුණේ ඔහුගේ හිත තුල මේ ලකුණු 50 පිළිබඳ හාංකවින් සියක්වත් ඇති කියා ඔහු අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම උත්සාහ දරාවි මේ අවසන් පන්දුවට ලකුණු 4ක් ලකුණු 6ක් රැස් කරගෙන තාමත්ම තවත් ලකුණක් හෝ ලකුණු දෙකක් වැඩිපුර තමන්ගේ කණ්ඩායමට එක් කර ගැනීමට සූදානම් අවසන් පන්දුව යොමු කිරීමට දිව වෙනවා ලහිරු එවර ෆුල් ලෙන් කලාපේ පන්දුව උඩ පන්දුවක් मेसमगिन निमावेनवा पासन बांधुवारे मेसमगिन निमावेनवा माला तकान डेमिनी में मूल्य कुन्न संख्या वाला कुन्न है ता एका कौन रस कर गता कर लो देखा देवी लाहिरु विशिष्ट इनमें क्रीड़ा कर में लाखुनु हाथले साधा क्रस कर गता पांडु दा हाथ के दी लाखुनु है ता एका एका लो देखा ही पांडु वार भाग का අපි මේ තරගේ ඔබේ සජීව ඉදිරියවත් කරන්න ඉතින් අපි සූදානම් කෙටි විරාමයකට යොමු වෙනට ඉන්න අනතුරු නැවතත් ඔබ හමුවේ ඔබ හමුවේ මේ බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන රැඳී සිටින්න batsman.com සමගින් got shock seeing all the sky rocketing bills switch to hutch and be shock free relo 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop any time data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill
some scintillating action starting to unfold. Twentieth interplantation cricket sixers reach the crunch stage. Quite a few big hitters on display. Just a while ago we saw from Lahiru. Number of lusty blows over the long on, over mid wicket and over long off. Really good six side betting. So one lot of plantation got themselves a big hitter, ideally suited for six side cricket. Now it's a game between Kegel the plantation and Namunukula. Kegala Plantation batted first, reached a total around 84 runs, 85 runs in fact. That's a good total in this tournament so far. We have found team scoring 80 plus runs more often than not. Went on to winning first delivery. Really nicely played all along the ground. Nice looking leg drive. In between some big hitters, we have seen uh, quite a few technically sound batters who have managed to time the ball. If I'm not mistaken, LPD Plantation got a couple of them. And just a moment ago, Malata Plantation had uh, another technically sound as well as ideally suited for six a tie, six a tie tournament size type of a batman. This time, all along the round towards long on region just a single singles never a problem for Kagala plantation 85 runs on the board which means team chasing which is Namunukula will have to get something close to 20 runs each and every over onto the pads just a single well bowled There are quite a few instances we've seen batters trying to hit the ball too hard. Losing the shape and losing the ball altogether. That was far too way outside the off stump and six more runs to the total. Namunakula Plantation getting something in favor of them given done plenty of favors to Kagal when they were betting I lost count on how much how many wides actually they conceded someone on the other hand just a single wide altogether 12 runs decent over as long as Kagal keep Namunukula around 10 to 15 runs they should do well and just like that, first over comes to an end. Namunukula, 13 runs on the board, having haven't lost any wickets so far. Tarukan, 6, and Janiru, yet to start off his account. The support is in. Team starting to perform really, really well. Edge founds another boundary for Namunukula, so moves to 17. With the arrival of the supporters and uh, each team having played at least a game apiece, realized their strengths and uh, understood their weaknesses, trying to eradicate their weaknesses and polish the pluses 
gone in favor of them. Navanakula with that two runs, most to 19. They were needed something closer to 20 runs each over. So the first one yielding only 13 runs, which means Navanakula straight away falling behind to stay in contention they will have to make this one a big one now the big man goes over mid wicket region altogether like i mentioned early trying to hit it too hard and losing the shape of that shot you just couldn't find a better backdrop to take photographs than the surroundings here so the visitors taking every opportunity this one played down the ground and uh, very well stopped by the bowler. Little bit of a sting in his palm, Himal. Done a decent job so far, staying away from bowling wides and no ball. That's obviously work in your favor. This one straight to the stumps, Himal. As we're starting to praise him for bowling straight, getting another wicket. First wicket gone down for Namunukula. Big man walks back and Himal strikes. Excellent over so far for him. Just six runs and picked up a wicket. All he needed is to finish it off. The score were on a high. The moment you think about six side cricket, you tend to think it's all about big hitting and uh, yorker bowling. But we've seen so far, if the bowlers are prepared to bowl straight, pitch the ball on a good areas, they are in a position to reap benefits of Himal benefiting from bowling straight little bit of a slingy action works in favor obviously gets the ball underneath the bat always a good thing when it comes to tackle down six side batters of the new batsman Dinuka tough task ahead 86 runs is the target straight down the ground nice shot just a single Thinking of going back for the second. Smartly deciding against it. Himal who's on who's on a, a good in the middle of a good over, just completing it. Just conceding one run and picked up a wicket. Excellent over. Take Kagala right back into this game. They are on top. New bowler Mahesh just about to start the third over for Kagala Plantation straight away down the leg side, flicked away. No fielder to come around and a boundary. Mahesh punished for bowling down the leg side. Got only a fielder. He too was in front of the square. Deep mid wicket and deep square leg on the leg side, long off and sweeper cover on the off side. That's the field for the left hander who's on strike, Dinuka. Straighter one, loud shout, an optimistic one from Mahesh. Always good to see the bowlers realizing the benefit of bowling straight. I think is the key for bowlers to not to do not trying to do too many things at once 
just concentrating on bowling in towards the stumps but more often than not benefited them another excellent delivery from Mahesh three balls just given away four runs excellent stuff all of a sudden Namunukula hits breaks not moving 24 runs on the board chasing 85 runs tough task that one hit straight towards wide long on enough time to come back for the second pretty easily done Dinuk moves to seven with that score moves to 26 Mahesh meanwhile doing very steady stop for Kagala Plantation won their first game comprehensively by the looks of it they are moving towards right directions this one however goes to the man at wide long on coming back for the second throw wasn't a good one Kagala Plantation fielders not even worried about conceding twos 28 runs on the board Mahesh just about to complete a good over so far given away just six runs Janiru still to get off the mark much better excellent stuff not a good work not a good glove work from the wicket keeper very poor indeed that wasn't quick and well within his reach but let that one go through his legs for four extra runs and the score moves to 32 at the end of third over So at the end of the third over, Namunukula 32 for the loss of one wicket, a high hanging shot, but fielder from Kagala Plantation is not bother too much about getting under the ball. They pretty much concluded the fact that they have taken enough runs on the board this one towards sweeper cover region cut that one off for just a single this game moving ahead on a snail pace we can't see real intent from Namunukula plantation to go and meet the total put on the board by Kagala plantation another one this time finding the inside edge goes towards fine leg region couple of more runs meanwhile Kagala plantation fielders doing their stuff down at the boundary pretty leisurely once you've got a big total on the board you have the luxury of do that this one however played down the ground nobody is interested or oh, nobody is quick enough to reach that one and as a result four more runs to the total Namunukula moves to 40 runs and reaching 85 runs fast become challenging fast become impossible few gray color clouds hovering around what could have been an easy run out opportunity went a begging Namunukula plantation not making great stride towards the target and Namurukula having sensed that they are at ease they're pretty much going through the motions not doing anything special not too much of effort coming down the track should be another boundary in fact this time fielder came around and prevented that one so it'll be just two runs just like that four overs done still Namunukula 42 runs on the board not enough just with just one over remaining 
Kagala Plantation pretty much wrap these games up already. As two teams doing their stuff in the middle, quite a few teams getting ready for their next game. Wide with a single run, it'll be seven runs, so it'll be 49 runs to the total of a nominal plantation. They've been needing quite a few, but bowling straight, name of the game so far. Bowlers who are prepared to do that. Ripping benefits more often than not. This is one such case. Straight at the stumps. Batsman Dinuka going for a big heave over mid wicket region and losing his wicket. Anamunukula 49 runs for the loss of two wickets. Not in contention, not making real effort. And no troubles for Kagala Plantation to wrap up their second game. Won their first game pretty comprehensively and Kasun doing a decent stuff with that wide conceding 11 runs and this is the fifth over just three just four more deliveries remaining it's Kagala plantation all the way six more runs courtesy of wide Kasun proven expensive 17 runs so far and it's over Namanukula plantation needed quite a few overs similar to that one but another wide score moves ahead pretty rapidly but not quite good enough 64 runs which means still above 20 runs to score and now Nukula batters just dab that one, goes for a single, no real intent, no real hurry. Charit off the mark. This will be the last delivery of Namunukula's innings. So Kagala team to watch out for. They got some dangerous batters as well as bowlers. Just like that. Easy victory. 20 plus runs. Namunukula Plantation never quite in that game. They pretty much moved through the motions and uh, Kagala Plantation having realized the fact there wasn't a significant intent from the opposition and pretty much moved through the motions and complete the game on a winning side pretty easily. <laughs> Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increased. Now we are ready to restart things or the resumption of the game between Balwatha Plantation and Kahawatha. Balwatha batted first, scored 71 runs. So it will be uh, another tough task for team batting second. But Kahawatha, from what we witnessed earlier on in the morning, got quite a few enterprising players, talented players. So if they show real intent they are in with a chance a 
of the big man, starting off his first over straight away, a wide way outside the off stump. Good start for Kahawat Plantation. Kahawat incidentally won the toss and decided to bat first, uh, decided to field first, in fact, with an intention of knowing the score to chase down. Now they know exactly what they are chasing. Bowler quite clearly trying to overcorrect himself, straying down the leg side, another wide. Now, big man, quite a dangerous batter for Malata Plantation, comes in and providing a set of instructions to Madira. This time outside the off stump, spank it away. Really good piece of fielding, keeping it down for just a single. It is important for teams to realize a pattern, a set a strategy for themselves, much suited for their type of play. All of the plantation, I'm sure, having played a game and won realizing the importance of sticking to a plan but a couple of wides almost ruined the first over and as we start to talking about wides once again straying down the leg side four more six more runs in fact and without much effort now at the plantation moving ahead 19 runs on the board already 18 of them came off no balls so that's the importance of bowling straight. Especially going down the leg side, you are not allowed. The moment umpires see the ball goes down the leg side, they've been very strict. A better throw would have had the batsman taken too long. And now the plantation batters completing the second rather easily. Madeira, the bowler, yet to complete his over, first over, already gave away 21 runs. This is a good start for Kahawata Plantation, for sure. Sounds like a long over for Malata Plantation. Comes to an end. Kahawata Plantation on 21. Haven't lost any wickets. Madeira conceding 21 runs in his first over. Good run for Kawata Plantation. So, Kahawata Plantation got off to a good start, chasing down 71 runs already, 21 taken off. So, their task has become a little easier. Now, Daminda ready to start things off for Malotta, the second over. Lakshan, who's on one. Kanishka, who's on two. Lakshan, the man, picking up another boundary towards square leg region very well done a short delivery asking to be hit Daminda not starting things off really well straight away if you conceding a boundary in your first delivery you more or less under pressure to complete your five remaining balls Immediately it will become a challenging task because batters get their confidence up and their confidence in return goes down another wide. Looks like Malatta Plantation having done a good job with the bat. Not sticking to a plan, not doing good enough to prevent their total. This one on the offside should only be a single. 
no intention of coming back for the second lakshan who moves to six with that single kanishka who's on two so as you can see off the bat just eight runs rest of them have been extras never good down the leg side midwicket fielder had very little opportunity to cut that run off powerful hit for a boundary kawat the plantation forging ahead 36 runs on the board haven't lost any wicket dam in the under pressure conceding far too many scoring opportunities these are the supporters for kawat the plantation obviously elated once again short one this time haven't timed it all that well so it will be a couple to kanishka who most eight with that the total 36 for nolos second over just about to complete two good overs for kahawatta this time off the back foot pull that one towards long on region just a single coming back for the second uh, in fact deciding against it initially non striker calling for it and sending a message a loud no from the striker kawat the plantation 39 for nolos at the end of second over leading planters in the country got their flags ready ready to cheer their team we've seen quite a few notable performances from few sides kagala plantation two out of two lpt plantation e to easy victors had very little trouble looks like the team to beat the defending champions meanwhile malwat finding it a challenge flighted nice bit of footwork prevented that one from going to the boundary big man does a good job down on the boundary never easy that was very well timed by kanishka with those two runs he moves to 11 41 runs on the board chasing a total of 72 coming down the track and this one goes over 6 kanishka taking the initiative the charge is on showing real intent that's good chasing that's good batting manoj straight away under pressure conceding eight runs of two ball two balls in fact He pretty much not afraid of flighting the ball sometimes working against you similar delivery similar result over mid wicket for a big six kahawat the golf past 50 53 runs on the board malwata malwata valley plantation under serious pressure and under trouble can they come out of it looks like they aren't got enough resources to do that still third over in progress kahawat plantation well within reach outside the off stump this time no turn went on with the arm worked in favor of the bowler a dot ball 53 runs on the board no wickets down kahawat the the favorites at the moment to win this game in in a style unless malata valley plantation can pick up a few quick wickets chances of them walking into this game is very very slim 
nicely done a flick towards square leg region just a single neat piece of fielding and Manoj approaching the completion of his over against Kahavatta this is expensive three boundaries taken off once again towards deep square leg region there wasn't any and a run out is taken good piece of work from the wicket keeper having realized that there are no fielders there are no quick enough fielders to reach that ball he decided to chase it and sent in a good return first wicket down for Kahavatta 56 runs on the board Enthusiasm levels inside Kahwata Plantation camp, obviously, up at the moment. They are sensing a victory, just 25 runs away. They got two more overs to do it, pretty much 12.5 runs per over. So, which means Avishka will have to do a steady job if he can come up with a decent economical over that will bring them right back into this game now young right arm seam bowler good stuff outside the off stump clip that one towards medical region will only be a couple Madhushankar, the new batsman, yet to get off the mark, haven't faced any deliveries and Kanishka, 11 balls for 24, he is going well. The left-hander Madhushankar takes strike against Avishka. This time outside the oar stump, six more runs wide. You cannot afford to do this based on the rules of this tournament. If you start bowling wides, you have pretty much ruined your chances of staying in this tournament. Avishka, at the beginning, knows just a few runs to defend. This time a much better delivery, much closer, a little bit of movement. And as a result, a dot ball. So if you are intelligent, or if you are smart enough, what you will have to do is repeat that delivery again and again. Much better one. Just be a single bowler, chasing after it, looking for the second one. Throw comes in, but to the wicket keeper's end. So eventually, throwing the other side of the Throwing, this, throwing down the stumps at the non-striker's end. Didn't work. Couple of runs taken. Kahavata under no real pressure. Just about six runs required, which means they have wrapped up this game. That's a good delivery went past the inside edge straight into the bats uh, wicket keeper's hand in fact and uh, Madhushanka was on four providing good support Avishka young man came back well but not good enough just six more runs required to register their second win on the trot for Kahawata Plantation Big heave fell in no man's land. Two more runs easily taken. 68 runs on the board. Just 
four runs away with that fourth over completed four more runs required for Kahawata plantation regulation stuff This is the final over to stay in this game. Malata Valley Plantation will have to perform a miracle. Can they do it? Very unlikely, but still a possibility. Big man Lahiru, who batted well, starting off his over bearing jersey number seven straight one loud shout no response from the umpire probably sliding down the leg side is the call from the umpire yes in fact indicating that one turns and goes down the leg side 69 runs on the board three three more runs required to register their second win Kahawata plantation another impressive side along with Kagala plantation LPT plantation quite a few sides already made a statement that they are here to win the title Defending champions, Elvetia Plantation for sure, leading contenders. Similar delivery this time, a big heave for a six. That concludes the game for Kahawata. Two out of two and proudly progressing towards the cup round. Malat Valley Plantation. I thought 71 runs was good enough, but their effort with the ball not up to the mark, definitely not enough. And as a result, Kahawata Plantation easy winners with almost uh, over to spare. Malata Valley Plantation made a mistake of conceding too many extras, never helps, and as a result, they are bow out. The winners, Kahawata Plantation, progress into the cup round very proudly. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. We are coming to you live from Radalla scenic location and uh, looks like Pusala plantation is betting first. This is Watawala plantation, that's the game number 12. We are just about to mark the beginning of game number 11. Short delivery, pulled towards Medigat region, just a single. Didn't time that one all that well. Yes, that's the game number 11, Pusalava Plantation versus Talava Kale Plantation and Pusalava batting first. Already on the board, two runs. Oh, that's a good piece of bowling little bit of movement away from the batsman basically try to back cut that one towards point region 
with an intention of picking up a few runs. No one. His partner Ravindra calming things off. In fact, Ravindra is on strike. No one, the one who's on non strikers in. Another good one. Almost a carbon copy. Two dot balls on the trot from Nalin. This is good stuff. Whenever you're starting off a game from bowlers, this is exactly what you're expecting. Dot balls, nothing else. Nalin settling into a good line. This time going straight. Should be a boundary. And it is a boundary. Very well played by Ravindra. Few deliveries went past the outside edge and he adjusted himself and got under that one, lifted over the bowler's head for a boundary. Very well stuck. Now Nalin adjusting himself, this time a lot closer to the off stump. Ravindra on the other hand, trying to pick that one away towards Vindicott region, didn't work. At times we found trying to hit every ball out of the park not going to work. This is one such occasion. from so at the end of the first over Fusalawa plantation six runs on the board for none So it's a good start for Talakale Plantation. Gave away just six runs. You cannot ask for a better start this time. Looks like Talakale Plantation got a couple of left timers taken on full towards Vidigat region, just a single. This is ideal type of start for Talakale the estate sticking to the basics to left Thomas turning the ball away from the bat helping their course this time took that one little fuller the one the batsman not being able to get under that one and Hoiked it over mid region, which was the intention originally. Sarat, meanwhile, doing steady stuff for Talavakele. Oh, that's a big one. Surely goes over the boundary for a six. Ravindra moves to 12. Sarat taken some stick after starting off well. This is something you expect from your openers. Obviously, you cannot hit everything out of the ground, but that one timed nicely. 14 runs on the board. Puss the lava getting a move on, which was needed. It got off to a rather cautious start, just six runs off the first over. Teams batting first at least should score minimum of 60 runs if not their chances of staying in this competition becomes slimmer Puzzalava 14 runs on the board now Sarath under a little bit of pressure very well bowled outside the off stump cut away for a four 
late cut well done a boundary Ravindra moves to 16 score moves to 18 with that shot to correct his line Sarath decided to go towards the off stump and this man Ravindra instead of trying to hit everything down the leg side this time deciding to cut that one a really nice back cut for a boundary This should go us out of the ground. Yes, no trouble. Six more runs, Ravindra. Brilliant. Excellent conclusion to the over number two. Sarat, all of a sudden, under pressure, started off well, two dot balls. And now, to finish things off on a high, Ravindra on strike. This time, even shorter but Ravindra spanked that one towards extra cover region for another boundary score moves to 28 this is excellent stuff this is exactly what Pusala Plantation expected from this over in fact 22 runs taken of Sarat's over a great one for Pusalava We've enjoyed good weather right throughout the day. Bright, sunny, still. 10 minutes to go to 5 p.m. The light is good. This is a good shot. In between two fielders to the boundary. Stream of boundaries for Pusa Lava. All of a sudden. They are picking up pace. 32 runs on the board. Third over in progress. Like all the teams, Pusalava chasing that all important target of 80 plus runs. Will they be able? Much better one from Nilanka. Yorker length. Couldn't do too much, no one. Played straight, just a single. Five runs given away by Nilanka so far, two deliveries. Talwakele Plantation started off really well, second over, cost them 22 runs and uh, another one, definitely a six. Well timed, well picked up. Ravindra goes over mid for uh, another big six. Thirty-three for thirty-nine, in fact, for Nolos, big man, big strong man, Ravindra. Oh, that's an excellent comeback from Nilanka, Yorker, straight towards the off stump, hitting the base of stumps, and Ravindra got to walk back. Great innings, just eleven balls for his thirty-two runs, but. That exactly the type of a delivery a bowler is expecting. A dream delivery in six-side cricket. Pusala Plantation losing their first cricket. 2.4 overs done. Yapa, the new batsman, if I'm not mistaken, scored something like 35-plus runs against their opponent in their first game. Kawata Plantation, like their counterpart, hoping to win the second game on a trot. This is their supporters out of the hut in the sun supporting bright and sunny excellent weather keeping things warm two more deliveries left in this over from Nilanka having been hit for a six over mid wicket excellent comeback similar stuff this time Hits over the bowler's head, just to be a single. An opportunity, but that was hit quite powerfully. 
Sri Lanka had very little opportunity to get his hands. Could have been an excellent catch had he taken. Japa was on one. He's off the mark now. It's up to Nuan. Another one pretty much mistimed. Clear case of trying to hit that one too hard. So at the end of third over, Pusala Plantation 41. In fact, 40 runs for the loss of one wicket. I mentioned a moment ago weather was good expecting to remain the same for the remainder of the day quite a few games to be played in fact the organizers having decided to save the time two matches conducted parallelly at the completion of the first innings of first two teams, the second team comes up and start the game. Saved time. Short stuff going past the outside edge for no run. Excellent stuff. Ravish Kadabola, right arm Seema. Probably the man with the longest run up in this entire tournament. We've seen quite a few bowlers, in fact, getting a couple of steps to bowl their gentle medium stuff. This man running in. Good stuff. Reaching deep point fielder, just a single. Ravishka wouldn't mind that. Six aside cricket singles. Never a problem. Dot balls even better. So if you as a bowler can get your strategy right and exploit, execute your skill set right, you can still come out with some success. And some bowlers have done that. And this is definitely one of them, Ravishka. Short stuff, little bit of bounce and almost took off the head. Not wearing a crash helmet. Ravishka realizing the fact that almost all the batters expecting things to be fuller. This time spurring some surprise. A short stuff, lifting. And uh, no one had no answers. Ravishka. Another short stuff this time edged. Fielder comes around really well, but he couldn't prevent the second run being taken. 43 runs on the board and Talwakale Plantation putting putting brakes on Pusalava scoring. Keep them on a tight leash. Ravishka done wonderfully for Talwakale Plantation so far. Good first game, and he's just about to complete a good second over a bumper. A good one. Batters not expecting too much of pace, but Ravishka, in comparison to all the other bowlers, generating some pace and bounds. And Luan and Yapa found no answers so far. Fourth over, just about to complete run rate isn't great puts a lava plantation all of a sudden looking down the barrel Ravishka just about to complete his, his over a great one this time dabbed it towards deep point region will only be a couple not gonna change the fact Ravishka he completed a fantastic over just five runs excellent stuff whatever the uh, bigger pardon, uh, Talawa Kale Plantation increasing their chances of staying in the cup round dramatically.
suppose all our batters will have to do something extravagant, something productive, something substantial, because just 45 runs on the board, four overs done, not enough, definitely not enough in the context of this tournament. We haven't seen teams finishing up less than 60 runs mark and winning a game. Now up to right arm Offy comes in and bowls a full toss but Yapa trying to hit it across the line not succeeding a dot ball a rare dot ball just five more deliveries left chances of going past 70 runs very very slim another single perhaps a couple this field allowing two batters to complete the second run 47 runs on the board and Jeff in is over just to give away two runs and Talavakale bowlers as well as fielders doing some seriously good stuff once again coming down the track to wide long on region just a single Jeff or Talawakale Plantation wouldn't mind that at all. Pretty steady, pretty economical. Just got three more deliveries to complete. Is over. 48 runs on the board for Pusalava. Not enough. Definitely not enough. Those are the flags of respective plantation companies. Flighter delivery missed it all together. Pretty much missed opportunity for scoring. That was fuller outside the off stump, but like all batters, one, two, trying to hit everything towards the cow corner and not succeeding altogether. Just 48 runs. This is seriously good stuff from Talwa Kale Tea Factory. Coming down the track, a big heave, very well taken and excellent stuff. Talavakale T Estate done brilliantly well. Another team to look out for. Just one more delivery left, if I'm not mistaken. 48 runs on the board. Yapa still on the crease, but he got one more delivery left which means maximum amount of runs he can add is six. That'll be, if that happens, the total will be 54 runs. Wouldn't be a trouble for Talawa Kale for sure. Jeff in the middle of a great over. Five deliveries, just three runs and picked up a wicket. Great stuff from spinners. As the day progresses, as he approaches the evening, pitch starting to turn spinners if prepared to use their flight can can clearly see the pitch is providing some purchase for them this is however to mid region and very well taken so it will remain 48 runs at the end of five overs. Pusala Plantation definitely haven't got enough runs on the board. So it will be interesting to see the reply from Talwakale T Estate. Very well done. Good job in the field. And the bowlers doing their stuff. Sticking to basics. Great stuff. Just 48 runs. For the first time we've seen team without getting bowled out. Ending up under 50 runs. Which means now Talakale T Estate requires just under nine runs per over to win this game and move to the next round. Got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill.
ಗುರಾದಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಪೀಠ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಮೇ ತೇ ಕರ್ಮಶಾಲ ತಮ್ಮ ಇಂಟರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ತರಂಗಾವಳಿ ದೊಲಸ್ಸೋನ ತರಂಗೆ ಆರಂಭವಾಣ್ಣಿ ಮೇ ದಿನೇ ದೊಲಸ್ಸೋನ ತರಂಗೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಕರಣ್ ಮೇ ವಾಟವಲ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಕಂಡಾಯಮ ಸಮಗಿನ್ ಅಗರಪತನ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಕಂಡಾಯಮ ತಮ್ಮ ದೊಲಸ್ಸೋನ ತರಂಗೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಕರಣ್ಣಿ ಇನ್ನು ಆರಂಭ ಕರಣೆ ದಂಗ ಪಂದ್ಯ ತಾಮಾತ್ಮ ಹೊದಿನ ಪಂದು ದಂಗ ಕಾಮಿನ್ ಪಿಟೇನೇನೆ ಪಿಟೇಟ ಪಂದು ದಂಗ ಕವನು ಸಚಿನ್ ಪಂದು ಎಂಬಿಸಿದ ಹಾಕೆಂದು ಆತಿ ಬೆನ್ನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಕ್ಕರ ಕಡುಲು ಮೋಕಿರಿಮೆ ವರದ ಸಂದಹ ಅನಮೂತ ವಿನಿಸುರು ತುಮನೆ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ ದಿಲ್ಸ್ ಕುಪ್ಪಹಾರ ಕಡು ಉತ್ಸಾಹ ಕರೆ ಸಚಿನ್ಗೆ ದಗ ಪಂದು ನಮ್ಮದೇ ತರಂ ಸಾರ್ಥಕನೇ ಬಹುವಿಟಾಪಿ ಮೇ ದಿಲ್ಸ್ ಕುಪ್ಪಹಾರ ದಕಿನ್ನೇ ವೇಗ ಪಂದು ಅಕ್ ಸಂದಹ ಪಂದು ಪಹಾರದೇ ದಿನ ಮುದ್ದ ದಂಗ ಪಂದು ಅನ್ನಾಟ ಬಹು ಉತ್ಸಾಹ ಕರೆ ಕಡು ಅಕಿನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೆಸಟಿ ಎಹಲಿನ್ ಪಂದು ಸ್ಥಾನಗತ ಕರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಸಾರ್ಥಕನೇ ನಮೂತ್ ಎವರ ಪಂದು ಸ್ಥಾನಗತ ಕಿರಿಮ ಸಾರ್ಥಕ ಈ ಪಂದು ರಕಿನ್ನೆ ನೈತಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಬಲ ಪಂದು ಸ್ಥಾನಗತ ಕರ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಲೆ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಲಕುನು ಹತ್ತರ ಕ್ಲಬಾಗಣ್ಣ ಏ ಪಾಲಮು ಲಕುನು ಹತ್ತರ ಮೇ ತರಂಗೆ ಲಬಾಗಣ್ಣ ಇವರ ಫುಲ್ ಟಾಸ್ ಪಾಂದು ಹಾಕಿ ದೂರಳ ಪಾಂದು ಅಟ ಸಾರ್ಥಕ ಪಿರಿದುರ ಲಬಾದಿನವ ಆರಂಭಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕರುವ ವಿಸೀನ್ ತಾವತ್ ಲಾಕುಣು ಹತ್ತರ ಲಬಾಗಣ ಲಾಕುಣು ಹತ್ತರ ಸಮಗಿಂದ ಮೂಲ ಲಕುಣು ಸಂಖ್ಯಾವ ಲಾಕುಣು ಅಟ ದಕ್ವ ಹೇಳಿಯನವ ಒಂದು ಆರಂಭ ಲಬಾಗಣ್ಣಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕರ್ಣ ಕಾಂಡಾಯಮ ಇವರ ಕೆಟಿ ಪಾಂದು ಸ್ಥಾನಗತ ಕಣ್ಣುವ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಲೆ ಕಲಾಪೇಟೆ ಲಕುಣ ಪಾಮನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬಾಗಣ್ಣ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವ ಲೆಬೆನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಲೆ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಪಂದುರ ಕಿನ್ನೆ ಕ್ರಂದವಾಸಿತಿ ಆ ಮೆತಕ್ ವೇಲ ಒಯ್ ಪಂದುರ ಕಿನ್ನಾಗೆ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಬಲ ದೆಪತ್ತೇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಲೆ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಸಹ ಮೀಡಿಯ ವಿಕೆಟ್ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಹತ್ತರೇ ಪಾರ ದಿಕ್ಕ ಲಾಗತ್ತ ದೆನ್ ಕೆಲ ಇನ್ನು ಸ್ಕ್ವಾಲೆ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿಟಿ ಪೇತಿರ ಪಂದುರ ಕಿನ್ನ ಹತ್ತರ ಪಂದು ಪತ್ತುನೆ ಪಂದುರ ಅವಸಾನ ಪಂದು ಇತಿರುವ ತಿಬೇನೆ ಲಕುಣು ನಾಮೇ ಐ ಎಹಲಿನ್ ಮಾಯ್ ಪೆಮಿನಿ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಪಾಂದು ಉಡ್ಡ ಪಾಂದು ಅಕ್ವಶೇನ್ ಪೆಮಿನಿ ಅದು ಪಾಂದು ರೆಗ್ಗ ನಟ ಕಿಸಿಂದು ಕ್ರೀಡೆ ಕೇಕ್ ನೆಹ ಲಕುಣ ದೇವನ ಲಕುಣ ಕರಾವೆ ಮಿನ್ನ ದುವ ದಿದವಾಗ ನಿಮ್ಮಟ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವ ತಿಬುನ ಅನ್ನ ಮುತ್ತ ಪಿತಿಕಾರುವನ್ ಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ ತಮನ್ಗೆ ಅದಹಾಸ ವಿನಸ್ಕರ ಮಿನ್ ತಮನ್ಗೆ ಸೀಮಾ ಹವ ಸಟಹಾನ್ ಕರಗ ನಟ ಸಮತ್ತುನ ಎತ್ ಸಮಗಿನ್ ಪಲೊಂ ಪಾಂದು ಆರೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ದಕ್ಕಿನ ಲಕ್ನು ದಹಾಯಾಯಿ ಕಿಸಿಂದು ಕಾಡು ಲಕ್ನ ಮೆತಿವ ರಾಧಾಲ ಕ್ರೀಡಾಪೀಠ ಸಿ ಟೈಮ್ ತರಂಗೆ ಸಜೀವಿಗೆ ಬಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ಮನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಸಜೀವಿ ಕಾಶ ಖರ ಅದ ದಿನ ಸಹ ಹೆಟ್ಟ ದಿನೇ ಪುರ ಬಟ್ ಮೇ ತರಂಗ ಮಾಲ ಮೇ ತರಂಗ ಸೆನಕೆಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ದಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹೆಕ್ಕಿ ಆಪತ್ತಿ ಬೆನವ ಒಬ್ಬಗೆ ನೀವೇ ಸೇ ಸಿಟಿ ದಿನ ದೇವನ ಪಾಂದು ಆರೇ ಆರಂಭ ಕರ್ಮಿಣಿ ಪಾಲು ಪಾಂದು ಫುಲ್ ಟಾಸ್ ಪಾಂದು ಹಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಕಾವ ಕಲಾಪೆ ಹಾಯೇ ಪಹಾರ ಕೆಲ ಕರ್ಣವ ಎಲ್ಲಾಕುಣು ಹಾಯ ಸಮಗಿಂದ ಮುಳ್ಳಕುಣು ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಅವಲಕುಣು ದಾಸೆ ಹಬ್ಬ ಹೇಳಿನವ ಎಲ್ಲಾಕುಣು ದಾಸೆ ತಾಂಬತ್ಮೆ ಆರಂಭಕ್ಕ ಪ್ರತಿ ಕರ್ವ ಒಂದೇ ದಿನ ಪಾಂದು ಪಹಾರ ದಿನ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿನ ಅವಸ್ಥಾವ ಇಲ್ಲಬಾಗಣ್ಣಿ ಇವರ ಪಿತೆ 
आरंभ के पांडव आरे देखा मैं, दागा पांडव ने नियोद्धा के निमित्त पांडव आवन ने यहाँ मैं पीड़ने के लिए करने उन साकरने नमूद दें लाखों उदाहरण में करा मूल्ला कुन साठ हानी हिरण अंगवा के नावसा नारंभ के पिति करवान दे देना ऐने वरा दूरों ला पांडव आक पायने निवत पांडव गमन करने निसे कम तुनक कार्डवर्क के नापान दो रेखा गत्ता विनाश स्थाने के नापान दो लाभ देना आतरतुर कार्डलाकुनु तुनक लाभ गत्ता किसे ये तात लाकुनु नाम या के कितने नए पान दो तुल ये लाकुनु नाम या समिति मूल लाकुनु संख्या वाला कुनु विसी आटक दाग वाहिरना की ना देवने पांडवों आरे क्रेत्म के मिंते बने लाखों विषय आटे मूल्य लाखों संख्या अब सार्थ कारण बया कारण में कुपित करों दिदना विषय लबागन यात्रा वारे आलंकार ड्राइव क्रीमक पांडव केलिन में दिए ना मिडॉफ कला पेट एक लाखों ना कटे आवश्यक तिबे ना पित करवां दिदना आट तारक पांडवों रैक के न नेवता दूर लग पांडव पाए ने निवताए पांडव योमुकरण ने में सीधे ये नौ युतक वाइट पांडव क अतिरिक्त लाखुनु हाया सहम लाखुनु हाया के कतुए नवा पांडव तुल किसे तत्त्व पांडवार देखा क्षिमा ना लाखों नोटिस हाया ही किसी को नोटिस होता आराम बैकला बागान ने आकर पता वाला प्लांटेशन कंडाय में लाखों नोटिस है किसी को नोटिस भी आगर पता ना प्लांटेशन कंडाय में तामत सैनिक के लिए आ हायर इंडिस्ट्री ना क्रिकेट तारका वाली आप में पहले तो मिंती बनी तुम गन पांडवा रहता दागा पांडवा ने केंद्र वाती बनी पालम पांडवा में बीते इन्हें सैनिक ने बताया ना पांडवा आत्रे का लाखों हाया लाखों हाथली स्थिति का बहुत है लाखों साठ खाना परिवर्तन एक नौ आरंभ का पांडव इनमें नौ का पांडव आवन ना दाग पांडव उनको क्रीड़ किया ये पर इवर निपांडु वाक निपांडु खाड़ रखने क्रीड़ किया डर पांडु आते हैं रिया ना या वसरे ने लाखों ना करा में देवने लाखों करा आज पैती मारु करेगा ना पीती करवान दे देना तुम्हे� उत्साह करने न मुद्द तुम्हें न लाखों न डाटा उन पैती मारु करेगा ना पांडव हाथरख करा लाखों न दाहिया के पांडव तुले है कि तू करेगा ना वा अगर पत्र है प्लांटेशन कंडायम 
यानो दर मूल्ला कुन संख्या वे लाखों दौलत हक विनिश्चित रूप में साना तक रहा लाखों दौलत हक के पांच दो तुलना बागता अगर पता ने प्लांटेशन कंडाय में यानों दें मूल्य लाखों संख्या वाला कुनो पन्ना सात रात दाग पाहिल नहीं मिलो नेवता दूर वाले पांडव आप पाएंगे निवेदन आने पांडव वाइट पांडव अक्षत हांड करना तवा लाखों नुहाय आके कत करना लाखों नुहाय अक्षत हांड इतना मत में दूर वाले पांडव ये माख में आरंभ का पांडव ये सीट में में पांडव आवान ना तार का पेन नुम करने आनवश्य खाले बल्ले आके तिकर के तिबना कार्य में आरंभ क एक लाख उन आप्पा मनाए एक बार उड़ा पांडव आपको शेन पांडव ही रहना कि नेना मत पांडव रैका करना किसी दूसरी डे केक नहीं है पांडव रखें ना दे देने का आता रहें पांडव बिंपतिवादी लाख उन उद्देश्य कर आप इतिहास रोन पैती मारु कर गानवा थावत लाख उन उद्देश्य किन मूल लाख उन सटहन शक्ति मत बनवा त आलंकार है पहाड़ के वर तावत विशिष्ट पहाड़ के इन लाखों सटाने शक्ति मात्र ने लाखों हायक लाखों हायक समग्र दैन मूल लाखों संख्या वे लाखों दैन हैत्ता वर आसन लाखों संख्या वक्ला बाग नित्य बने आतरवारे दैन पांडवारे निमावी तिबने पांडवार तूना कावसन दांग पांडव यानं थी दिन एक केंद्र वाती बने आरंभ का पांडव आरतुन है इतामत हों दिन प्रहार एक लाख करा आरंभ का पिति करुण दे देना तामत महोदय आरंभ का कड़ले संबंध व्यापार तो आगे नहीं आने दैन माध्यम के पांडव यानुक केंद्र वाते बनवा सिवो न पांडव वारे क्रियात्मक क्रीमट वाटर वाले प्लांटेशन खांडाय म मुल्ला कुन संख्या वाला कुन हैटना में पांडव वार तूना कावसानी दर्शन समय की निशान आरंभ कपित करवान दे देना वो द सब मंत्राव्य गुण नगाते बनो आरंभ कर लो इन्वेन दर्शन टला कुन विसी हाथ रखी शांत � सिवन पांडवारे आरंभ करने दें। ये वरुण द पांडव कितामत महोदिन पांडव पातित करा।
चारक नाव को पांडुओं अन्ना सामान चारुक ऐवर केटी पांडुओं डे पांडुओं स्थान का तिकनवा स्क्वायर कला पेन लाखों नुहाया है केटी पांडुओं डे लबादी तो निसिया कार पिल तुर लबादे नवा दर्शन विषय नेत समेकिन दें मूल लाखों संख्या हेल्ना के नवा लाखों नु हैत्ते पहाद दक्वा दर्शन तमान के पाउड गिले लाखों संख्या वाला कुनु तिहाद दक पहले आना पांडु दोला हाकटे पामने होता मत मुहने दीती बे न्याने तंते ईशान और आने की सहायक लबादे नवा पांडु र पहाड़ दी मसंदा चारुक माधव के पांडु ने क्रीड़ क्या में देख पहला बड़ा पायो सुपर दी नग पांडु ने � पहली मारुकर गाना है तो हाय वन लाखों लाभ गाने सिवन पांडवारे क्रियात्मक और नातर तुरे दर्शन ये तीस सेक पे न पाउंड गिले के लाखों ना एवराजस्थान का तकिरी मसार्थ का इमीड विकेट खला पे पंद्रह किन्नक सिटी ने सार्थ की स्थान का तकिरी मक्सम की निशान लाखों हाथ रख ला बागन नवाई लाखों हाथ रख सम गिन दें मूल लाखों संख्या वाले लाखों असु वक्त दाख पहल ना कि ना सिव ने पंद्रह एक्रियात में कोई मिंती ना तर तुरे चारुक होगे पंद्रह ह थर्ड मैन कला पे इंतवात लाखों हाथरक लबागने लाखों हाथरक समय किंदन मूल लाखों संख्या बे लाखों वासु हाथरा बाढ़ पातवनो मिलाकर पांडव दूर वाले पांडव आप फुल टॉस पांडव में वे नियावस्ताव का पिता का रूट त्याग या कबंद हुई तब आप लाखों नुहाय के आवश्यक हैं ईशान के पिता के लिए आपका वाणी ईशान होता लाखों नुहाय ऐसी मौत आसान पहनी ने वाह इतना मगीन सिवन पांडव आरे आवश्यक वाणी लाखों नुहाय का एक किस वे कुनो प्लांटेशन इनमें आवश्यक पंद्वारे आरंभ वाले यात्रवारे पालम पंद्वे इन लाखों लाखों का दें नवत लाखों देखा सहा पंद्व बार दी म यात्रवारे तामत में दूरों ले मट्ट में कपैव तुने
वेगवत पहराक पैर पांडुर लाखों हाथरा कर लो तेरे दिव्यन आपीति करवान दे देना यात्रा वाले तवत लाखों हाथरा कल बागन ना लाखों हाथरा समगी नगर पतने प्लांटेशन कंडाय में लाखों सीएसी में आउट फैमिली ने वा पासों ने पांडुर न तम्मा इनमें आवश्यक पांडुवारे पांडु तुना कितने रोती बेदी में लाखों सीएसी में आउट फैमिली ने नेवर दूर ला पांडु आप पाइने निवत पांडु गमन करने तवत लाखों हायक लाखों हायक इन्हें निम्न शक्ति मतवान ने लाखों एक सी हायक बाढ़ पत्तवन वा वेगवत लाखों संख्या आप कटे हिमिकम के नए नर स्ट्रेट ड्राइव पहाड़ पांडु वे दिए नवा विशिष्ट पांडु रक्षी मक लोग उन खाला पे दी पांडुर आवश्यक पांडुर तीर्थ दिव्ने वर्क के टिप पांडुर स्थान का तकनीक आज क्या ले कला पेन एक लाखुना वेगेन पितकारुण एक लाखुना कट पामना कावस्ता वाला बागन मिनी निम आवश्यक करना पांडुर पाह आवश्यक ये पांडुर सामगीन लाखुनु एकसिया अटक बाढ़ मुन लाखुनु संख्या यह लाना की ना पांडुर पाह आवश्यक नियान on the Okan diameter. We are in with a resumption of Talava Kale's innings against Pustolava Plantation. Two batters walking in to the middle to chase down what could have been the easiest target of the tournament so far. Talava Kale, of course, in the morning won their game comprehensively. Looks like another comprehensive win on the cards for Talava Kale, Talava Kale T Estate. Pleasant weather, bright and sunny, almost 5.30, still everything very bright and very pleasant. Yesterday around the same time we had quite a bit of rain, but today everything is clear. We are expecting something similar tomorrow as well. These are the drone footage of the action in the middle two teams really nicely dressed very colorful attires very proud plantation teams Talavakele one of the team to watch out for so we, we will be back with the restart Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing got shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills. Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. give more returns get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company LOLC finance 
Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. So, we are in with live action straight away. Busulava Plantation Bowler. Chaminda slipping one down the leg side. White to start things off. They are defending a paltry total of just 40 plus runs. 49 runs in play. So, not a good start at all. Six runs on the board, Taluk LAT Estate. Starting off things really well, Rabishka and Jeff. Papusalawa Plantation, Chaminda didn't start off things well. Wide down the leg side and making things easier. Having considered four more runs in his next delivery. Already 10 runs on the board, just 39 more runs required, Taluk LAT Estate. On top. That one goes to a, towards cover region for four more. Spanked it by Ravishka. Short enough, wide enough, and swatted our extra cover region for another boundary. Score moves to 14. Looks like Talwakale T Estate making a very light work of winning this game this time down the leg side another wide six more runs 20 runs on the board already just 29 runs required they got almost all overs left this is definitely not good from Pusalava Trans plantation in fact played pretty well in their first game in the morning but in this crunch game against Salak LAT Estate they weren't up to the mark at all 21 runs already on the board 49 runs is the target Chaminda straighter driven towards a long on region just a single so it'll be 22 runs still have one more delivery to go to complete the first over for Pusa Lava Plantation Chaminda expensive over for stop much better delivery outside the off stump loopy one that's when Jeff started to thinking going towards the cow corner only managing to hit that one back to the bowler just a uh, dot ball to complete the over. 22 runs taken off, chasing a target of 49, and the locality stayed on top. In comparison to the morning action, towards the latter part of the day, we have seen improved, much better fielding efforts from all the sides. Talwa Kale Plantation, in particular, during their game, fielded really well. Their field settings was nice, and their bowlers sticking to the plan, just giving away just 48 runs. And as a result, chasing down a small total, which was made even easier by... Chaminda conceding 22 runs and required just 27 more runs to win this game. Pretty easy stuff, unless of course they do something horribly wrong. Ravish goes on 10, going well. Jeff supporting him really well. And Sanjeeva, the second over. 
for Pusalawa Plantation, expecting a miracle. Oh no. One more wide, six more runs, 28 runs on the board, just 21 runs required, and they've got more deliveries than the runs they've required, to be precise. One more wide, uh, 44 runs on the board. In fact, 40 runs on the board, which means Talak LAT Estate, as we predicted, very light work. Can they finish it off inside two overs? Looks like they will. 46 runs on the board. Very, very unfortunate for Pusalava Plantation, things aren't going according to the plan and their bowlers not delivering their batters didn't deliver needing three more runs big heave nobody's interested to coming under that one four, four balls done in fact 47 runs on the board just two more runs required the chances of completing this game inside two overs very much a possibility Sanjeeva, just five balls, three wides. That one is good. S just stayed in that guiding line. One more delivery left. Just two more runs required. Pretty easy stuff. Moving on to the second round, Talak LAT Estate didn't expect that things to be this easier. But surprise to the mini so at the end of the second over 47 runs for none Talwak LAT Estate making a very light work So Talak Ali just needing two more runs. They got 18 deliveries. Down the leg side. But on its way, just touches the pad. Luckily for Sanjeeva. Otherwise, that could have been the game done and dusted for Talak Ali Tia State. Sanjeeva knows that their chances of staying in this competition pretty much gone. Lovely little flick towards Square Lake region and nobody's even interested for stopping that one. Four more runs, 51 runs on the board. Needed only 14 deliveries precisely to go over the target. 51 runs on the board and Talak LAT Estate moving to the cup round very, very proudly. Pretty good outing for Talak LAT Estate played really well in their first game in the morning and in the second game against Pusalava Plantation they were no match Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities. Got shocked seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. So it'll be a resumption of the game between a Waterwala Plantation and Agarapatana Plantation.
in with a stiff task of going past 109 runs. Agarapatana, ably assisted by some slack fielding efforts as well as poor bowling. Highest total on the board so far this tournament, 108 runs. So it'll be a tough task for whatever the plantation to go over 108 runs. They will have to bat out of their skin to win this game which is of course very very tough earlier on we have seen team scoring 105 runs and uh, easy winners Agarapatana expecting the same pull that one towards mid wicket region just a single will they come back for the second pretty easily done As the evening approaches, the energy levels from all the teams gone down significantly. Fielders not, not even worried about stopping the second run. That delivery well within the guiding light. No runs. What are the plantation needing 21 plus runs to win this game? That's surely a wide much needed assistance for whatever the plantation they will needing plenty more if they are to go past the total of 108 runs Agarapatana considerably relaxed they know they are on top so just a matter of not doing anything rash well bowled a high one, no one to come under that one, just three fielders on the offside. So not making things easier for fielders in the deep to come down, come up and get under the ball all that easily. Wicketkeeper was far too much behind, so he had no chance of reaching that one. Now Agrabatana. Loopy delivery hit back past the bowler. Good piece of fielding. I've just spoken about the fact the energy levels of the players gone down. It'll be pleasing to see for the coaches and the team management of Agarapatana to see their players putting up a hundred percent effort. Whatever the eleven runs on the board, stay in the first over. Brilliant delivery. I'm starting to wonder how did that one miss the stumps. So just like that, first over done. Whatever the 12, 11 runs on the board without losing, chasing a target of 108, 97 runs needed of 25 balls. So basically whatever the plantation needing 25 plus runs per over to come out as winners based on their past performances very very unlikely not impossible but they will have to play uh, extraordinary well from here onwards coming down the track missed that one completely not a smart piece of betting one more dot ball making things even tougher for whatever the plantation this one straighter over mid digger region still the fielder done a good job keeping it inside the boundary line just be a couple of runs thirteen runs on the board whatever the plantation without losing any wickets Moving along nicely, but taking a look at the required run rate. Not, a, not the best piece of wicket keeping from the wicket keeper. I think they have deployed a third man 
deep third man fielder in order to cut down th the boundaries if in case the wicket keeper has missed it 95 needed 22 balls required pretty much improbable not impossible but improbable down the track missed another one a dot ball Darshana the bowler approaching the completion of his first over and another team making their mark Agarapatana plantation I, if I'm not mistaken this is for the ball round segment deep third man fielder comes around picks it up two more runs easily taken just 16 runs on the board this is definitely not enough um, we can't see actually whatever the plantation making an effort now Darshana comes down the track there was an opportunity but unfortunately not being able to cut that one off another another boundary for sure 15 19 runs on the board for whatever the plantation nicely hit not enough so at the end of the second over just 19 runs without losing any wicket whatever the plantation as the dusk sets in light dips pretty rapidly things around here still good enough to play cricket those are the shadows lengthened so as a result on camera looks pretty darker but up here things definitely bright enough 20 runs on the board and whatever the plantation definitely not in contention because they are needing 88 eight runs inside three overs not possible even on theory now the era the new bowler a right arm off spinner his action pretty similar to morally the run the great slightly quicker delivery a little bit of turn get that one towards the point region only be a single Chamot moves to five with that single Tarindu who's on nine and Nadira good delivery first up just 17 balls 87 needed improbable I think what all the plantation understood that they are just playing out the overs another short one this time straight to the wicket keeper's hand opportunity missed two good deliveries first up for another coming down the track and stumps are rattled or is it for a moment I thought he dragged that one onto the stumps but it was well away from the stumps just another single Nadira in the middle of a good over 22 runs on the board whatever the plantation never in contention from the moment they have conceded 108 plus runs this time coming down the track and castled clean bold whichever way you may call it Chamoth walks back dejectedly this will be it whatever the plantation not living up to the expectations quite clearly Nadira on the other hand very promising very good stuff from the offy just about 20 minutes to 6 o'clock still light holds up just exactly the same we are expecting tomorrow same weather bright and sunny for the completion of the business end of this interplantation six side tournament 2023 
short delivery towards wide square leg region couple taken rather easily just ambling across the turf but more disappointing from whatever the plantation is they are not even making an effort to reach at least 50 runs that's disappointing they just playing out the overs just playing out the deliveries which isn't what the management and the team coaches and the supporters expected this should be another catch keeper comes under and taken second wicket for Nadira excellent stuff Morally look alike doing it brilliantly and whatever the plantation two wickets down at the end of third over not doing anything right looking down the barrel for certain the losers and Agarapatana certain victors Dusk about to set in, support still keenly waiting. Agarapatana found a new strength. That 108 run must have given them a truckload of confidence. Sharuka, the new batsman who's on not, and Tarindu just walked. Tarindu who's on nine. Sharuka just walked in, and Tusita just about to start another over. 84 needed looks like a very big winning margin on the cards for Agarapatana. Coming down the track, another wide. 12 more deliveries left. With that delivery being concluded, it'll be 8, needing 78 runs. Even on theory, not possible. Like I mentioned earlier, what's more disappointing is the way whatever the plantation approaching this game. No real intent, lackluster performance, two out of two losses. Even though they have downgraded themselves to the bowl round, you should come out with your best. On the other hand, Agarapatana lifting themselves up doing everything right 108 runs on the board highest so far in this tournament and by the looks of it they could be in with contention for the highest victory margin just a while ago we saw a game being concluded team winning by 48 runs and Agarapatana in with the chance of surpassing that another good delivery underneath the bat a dot ball pretty easy stuff for Agarapatana you can tell that from their body language elated confidence levels are soaring heights just a gentle in swinger still the batsman Charuka not managing to make any contact there was a clear scoring opportunity not taken not being vigilant, not being skillful enough. What all the plantation with this? Their stay in this tournament will surely come to an end. Charuka taken four deliveries, still on not. Tusita, five deliveries, just given away a single. This is straighter towards point region for another single very well done Tosita completed a fantastic over given away just two runs excellent stuff Matavala looking down the barrel 32 runs for the last of two wickets four overs done and needing 76 runs to win which is impossible
I'm sure the team is expecting similar support from the crowd, if not better. Good to see the colleagues, staff members, friends, family coming out here and providing them with good support. This is the final six deliveries of the day. Just about to conclude things for the day number one, day number two. It will be some exciting cricket in store for sure. Full toss, missed it altogether. Poor stuff, poor batting and to make things worse, he's asking for a wide from the umpire. Quite hilarious. 32 for 2. Whatever the plantation. Another one this time still inside the line. Elated supported. Supporters for Agarwatta plantation. Agarapatana plantation. I beg your pardon for that. Performed really, really well. Looks like a clear contenders for the bowl title. Once again a full toss. Spanked it away towards wide long arm region. Fielder was under some discomfort straight away touching his foot. What you call hiding a player but still will have to do the job for his team. Part and parcel of the game and just three more deliveries left once again towards wide mid on region. Will only no, that's a boundary. He's moving quite gingerly, not 100%. So, whatever the plantation, getting another boundary, just two more deliveries left, 65 runs remaining, which means, like I predicted, this will be the biggest winning margin for a team throughout the tournament. Just a while ago, just a few matches ago, we have seen a game concluded, team winning by 40 plus runs. This is even bigger winning margin. And a wicket is taken by Pranit. Nice out swinger. Batsman Tanidu had no intention of leaving that one. Had he left that, could have easily be a wide, but unfortunately, now whatever the plantation have lost their third wicket. Just a single delivery remaining. These are the Agarapatana Plantation supporters coming up in their numbers and supporting their team. Looks like clear contenders for the bowl title. Tomorrow morning we will be seeing the action in place for the plate segment as well as cup segment. Sixty-five runs, just one more deliveries. It'll only be a single, so this will be the biggest winning margin for a team so far in this tournament. That concludes the day number one for Interplantation Cricket Sixers 2023. We came to you live from Radella Pictures Venue. Plenty of supporters came in, supported their teams. Some of the teams played up to their potential. Some teams like Watola Plantation not living up to the potential, not living up to the expectation. And those who moved on to the next round, it will be a crunch day tomorrow. We are taking this moment to thank everybody who joined with us in this live streaming. And especially for those who are came in great numbers into this picturesque venue, Radella, to support their particular teams. There are some good performers in this tournament. We've seen teams scoring 100 plus scores twice, and we've seen teams winning by nearly 50, fly, 50, uh, 50 runs, 48 runs margin, in fact. And just a while ago, we have seen a team winning by 
65 runs. That's a big win. Young and old all coming in to support. And we are about to wrap things up from Rodella. Looking to join you 8 a.m. tomorrow morning with some exciting cricketing action. It's goodbye from Rodella. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 1499 rupees to enjoy non stop anytime data for 30 days and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Shock seeing all the skyrocketing bills? Switch to Hutch and be shock free. Reload 888 rupees to enjoy 30 GB anytime data for 30 days. Non stop social media and unlimited calls to any network. Manage other increasing costs by saving from your phone bill. Some bonds give more returns. Get more security and more interest on your fixed deposit from Sri Lanka's biggest finance company, LOLC Finance. Imagine the possibilities.